live. We got so many guests on Painkiller 100. I don't really know because I'm out of shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it. Uh, you get stuck on 100. Oh, gosh. So I have so been working through audio issues since about 2 p.m. Not just audio issues. I, I, I have a new computer, and I had all sorts of new streaming stuff to work out. It, it, it's all new to me. They told me on Twitch that I have it figured out that I'm not echoing, that the other people on the call are audible. We have so many people here. It's uh, It should be a good show. Okay, let's go and get this shit out of the way. Mm. FuckGodHatesFags.com <laughs> <laughs> um. And FuckF150Forum.com oh <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Tell me they just said echo in my stream. They're getting an echo? I don't think so. Also, just a heads up, I've been really naughty recently. Go crash my YouTube channel, all of you at once. You can do it, I bet. No, they oh, yeah. Somebody. Crash my latest video. <laughs> F5 a lot. They're trolling me, you say? Yeah, you're good. All right, thank you. There's a lot of people. Oh, oh no echo. There's a lot of no echoes coming through on the chat. So, uh, thank you for you guys who aren't trolling me. Uh, you mean the most. And, and if you have disliked my video, you can flip that over to a like if you want. But, dude, let's get the show started. We got Taylor, the guest who's been on the show for the last couple of weeks. We have yeah. Merka Durka. We have FPS Kyle. We have Wings of Redemption. We have me. And then coming later in the show, we're going to get Syndicate. We're going to get um, White Boy. And then we're going to get Dan from PKA, get an update for him. And then we're going to get uh, my wife, instead, because uh, Redneck couldn't make it. He's working tonight. And then we're going to get Only Use Me Blade. So this should be a super long and hopefully a super good show. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Kyle. Do you guys, do you guys see we're all getting checks? Oh, for having like uh, 100,000 subs or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, you're getting the plaque. It, that thing is a goal <laughs> for me now. Here's the deal. For you guys that don't know, YouTube sent out letters to everybody today. And if you have 100,000 subs... You get like a five hundred dollar gift certificate for B and H photo, so you can make better videos, I presume. And you also get um, a camera bag or something like that. But if you have a million subs, you get a gold like play button from YouTube. And I saw that with your logo on it, I think. Really? Like, you get like whatever. I think you get to send them like a PDF of like what your logo is. White boy's gonna make it the gold medal, I bet. Oh, dude, I. Like, I saw, so I don't have a million subs. I have, like, 840 subs. So, White Bull actually will be a gold medal champion gamer at this point. <laughs> he will. <laughs> he's, literally, he's a gold medal champion. He's already a gold medal champion gamer, let's be honest. He, yes. Now he will be a gold medal champion YouTuber. Dude, I, I've been thinking about doing something to commemorate my time on YouTube. Like, people who've listened to me forever know that, like, I don't expect this to be my, I don't expect to be doing this for the next 20 years into retirement. At some point. Just like your favorite sitcom, you'll have heard all my stories and you'll move on to somebody else. But this like couple year span in my life has been magical. And I thought to myself at one point, like, I might want a YouTube tattoo. Like just to sort of keep that with me forever. Just like you know I'm making a scrapbook. There was a time when I was kind of a big deal in a fairly irreverent social media site. Like <laughs> Woody, Woody, get you a P.O. box. A P.O. box? Dude, I've, I've been doing this thing called fan mail, mm -hmm. and I have people send you know, letters into me, whatever, and I'm putting it in a scrapbook. They send me pictures, letters, and when, when ever, if my time ever comes up, and I'm no longer this you know, important person or this medium for people's information or entertainment, mm -hmm. I have a book that's probably going to be thick as a, like an unbridged dictionary that I can go back and look at it. Look here. One time, my star shined bright. Dude, hold on a second. I, well, I'll be right back. He's going to go get a P.O. box right now. Be there? Uh, nah. You need to yeah, put well, this in really, it. I was really excited about my 100,000 subscriber present of $500 until you guys started talking about plaques and medals. And Dude, I'm excited. I, I didn't realize I was getting it until I just checked my email. I Wings. checked my email yeah, all I didn't day. Know. Your scrapbook was... reminded me of this. I have like this gigantic bullet with your name on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's on my stream if you if you catch it. Yeah, but um, I was supposed to get that and pimp it out. <laughs> <laughs> they asked us to wait or something because he has a new website coming. But okay. uh, but yeah, that it, I don't know. Your scrapbook idea just kind of reminded me of of your. I've got it in this velvet bag. Someday I'll send it out. But I don't remember the password to my YouTube. So, so this five hundred dollar gift card, I could actually use this to upgrade my camera, which I've been wanting to do. Absolutely, absolutely, man. Be a step in the right direction. 
But, uh, dude, episode 100, I've been so psyched for this, like, getting guests and, like, I, I don't know, like, like, can it possibly be you know, as good it, as we want it to be? I, I'm going to take away nope. from it now, because if you think about it, if we waited till episode 108, that's actually bigger. That's two years. In then theory. Was, excuse me, 104, 104. Yeah, 104. I'm not bad at math. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... Okay, yeah, they're still talking about my echo on my stream, but it's not there. Uh, yeah, man, 104, you think that's a big... Dude, it's been more than two years. I, I think it took us over two years to reach episode 100. Yeah, I guess, but it's two years worth of shows. It is two years worth of shows. Dude, that's the big thing. Like, the hardest part about making this podcast... Well, I, the luckiest part, I want to say, and it's really Wings is doing, is getting the people on it that are willing to do this again and again. Like, so many podcasts fall apart after, like, the fifth or sixth episode. Because the guys involved, you know, they've got other stuff. Talk about. I don't know, like, I don't know about uh, you, Kyle. No, but I would from the guy. Me. It's because of my work ethic that I come on. It's my work ethic. I don't know about you, but I've, I've went out of my way to make it to Pankill already more than once. Yeah, yeah, of oh. course, occasionally. But by and large, it's like eight o'clock every Thursday night. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> uh, Kyle, did you what see that guy that, that did the shooting at the Internet Cafe? No. No? Oh, dude. Yeah, so, so there's an internet cafe, right? And if you could picture, I don't know, like three rows of like uh, poker tables or something with computers just packed on them. And uh, these two sort of hood looking guys go through the front door. One has a baseball bat and the other has a gun. And they, they want to steal everybody's like wallets and watches and stuff like that. Like that's the nature of the robbery. And it just so happens there's this old guy with a beer gut sitting in the back corner, and you don't really pay attention to Nobody hears me on the Skype? I think that I'm broadcasting now, though. Uh, can you hear me, Woody? I can hear you. Yeah, I hear you. All right. Okay. Oh, I th do the other guys have to call back in? Maybe that's it, Taylor and, yeah. and Wings. Kyle looks like he's here. Kyle? Yep. All right. Oh, so back to the story time, and we'll let Wings and, and Taylor come back. Um, so the, the old guy who was in the corner and nobody really noticed, he comes up and he starts popping bullets into the bad guys. And uh, he shot them both. They, like, found him at the hospital later and they're charging him with robbery. It was every concealed carry permit guy's dream scenario. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out the guy with the gun, who was the, uh, like, the robber, he, uh, he, it was an unloaded rusty gun that didn't shoot. Oh, wow. wait. Yeah. Big mistake. <laughs> well, meanwhile... Farmer John over there has got a fucking high-capacity Smith & Wesson that he polished that morning. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the guy looked like he was into guns. Like, you know, he held it right. Him run. Holy crap. Are you guys seeing the video? Yeah, yeah I'm watching the video. I'm watching it, too. Yeah, did dude. Did it just, like, flake out? My internet? Did it flake out, you say? Uh, it seems like everyone got dropped. And yeah. Yeah. I think it was, I think, I'm not positive, it might have been me getting attacked, because my stream went down, my, my Skype call went down, all that stuff. I'd like to apologize, I forgot to hit the start streaming button <laughs> earlier on my channel. We, like, counted down and did it together. Uh, yeah, but I hit the streaming on XSplit, and I didn't do it on YouTube. Alright, so wow, it is... He guys up. He kept fucking them up. <laughs> yeah, that's the beauty of it, man. This... This old man literally ch starts chasing these bad guys, and every time he rounds a corner, he kind of points the gun at him in like, like a military hit fire and gives him a couple rounds. <laughs> Dude, and you know he's hitting them from there. There's no way he's missing. Yeah, if, if nothing else, they're bouncing off the ground and spraying them with shrapnel. Like, they're getting fucked up. Those guys are he's like, You mess. motherfuckers fucking with my World of Warcraft session. I've <laughs> waited all damn week for this my fucking retirement. To to there we in. go. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, these motherfuckers thought they were getting something, too. They came in with a backpack, a gun, and a ball bat. <clears throat> Come on, you fucking nerds. Give me your shit. Come up with it. <laughs> they came with a backpack and left with bullets in their legs. Oh, man, dude. I'm surprised they're still running. I bet, I bet it fell. I can never tell in situations like that who's getting shot. <laughs> like, I can tell who's struggling and like slipping, oh, I, but I I'm can't just tell. Watching this shit connected. over and over again, dude. He's like, he's like, he just rolls out no nonchalantly. It's like, what? Somebody needs to ass beat? <laughs> yes, I'm the man for the job. <laughs> I like how he the first guy trips over the second guy on their way out. You don't, you don't miss from that range. 
That wasn't Sorry. like a trip. That was like a deliberate knee to his face. He's like, if I can <laughs> run this guy, I'm good. I'm golden. Yeah, really. Just leave him on the floor to die. See, he's, That's what he's I'm getting brave now since he ran him off with a gun. Look at him. He's like, yeah, I would have beat the ass too. <laughs> 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 so who's going to see Batman tonight? Anyone? Man, I really <laughs> want to, but I think we're going to be doing this. We're going to be doing this for probably five hours. My daughter is a huge wow. Batman fan. And it's weird because she's 13. And sometimes I wonder, like, is she a Batman fan because Batman seems cool? Or is this a genuine interest? But uh, anyway, she's... um. She asked me. She wanted to do a superhero weekend. She wants to see Batman and Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man was good. Spider Man was good. Was it? I love Dark yeah, Knight. I liked it. I love the Dark Knight, but I think Christian Bale is the worst Batman they've ever put on. In Disagree. The game. Disagree. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. I, I think he did a great George job. Clooney. I like him. Dude, Clooney was better. He was, and also uh, Clooney. Michael Keaton was way better. Michael Keaton is like widely regarded as the worst Batman. Yeah. He's Steve the worst. Is the worst Batman. Michael He's Keaton was a shit at. Batman wings. He was a shit Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing Michael about Batman. Keaton. <laughs> he was no. goofy. You, you didn't think make of a Batman, good Batman. You, think of two people. you think of Adam West, you think of Michael Keaton. You think of the Tim Burton movies. Dude, Adam West was a shitty Batman. Dude, Adam West is a boss. Yeah, dude, Adam West or not. Makes let me, let me describe it. Like, I guarantee a lot of our audience has never seen the old school Batman TV show. So let me just lay it out there for you. Kaplow. You had, you had <laughs> a, 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 a he, guy's not overweight, okay? But he's not in shape to he's be a rotund. superhero. He's in shape to ass uh, Yeah, yeah. He had the barrel chest look to one to one. Okay, he's yeah. a little bit overweight. Now, he, look, little... to wear the tights that he wore, to wear that skin tight, like, unitard thing he was rocking, you need to be in seriously good shape. And that guy's body was like, and he wasn't that young either. Was he like 45 when he 35, played that? 35, 45 years old, somewhere in there. Yeah, he looked like a good 40-year-old. You know, like it, look at your dad. Is your dad in shape? You know, uh, no. All right, so that's a normal 40-year-old. <laughs> but if you grab like the other, like the 40-year-old that looks good with clothes on, he doesn't look good in tights. You know what he reminded me of? He looked a little bit like maybe your gym coach. <laughs> like, he still does the basic calisthenics, but at this point, he's 40 years old. He I don't slowed want to talk down about a few that guy, Kyle. I don't want to talk about uh, it. I, I would hey. not trust my gym teacher on that to fight diabetes, at the much less crime. No... <sighs> yep, Jeez. so we've got audio issues. I don't know if I'm streaming or not. But... I'm, back. I'm back. You're back? All right. I'm back here. Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> it's not my fault. You know, it... here are the... Um... The things I before this stream, I changed my IP address and I configured my firewall to try and protect us. And uh, and I, you know, if you're hiding your IP address and you're protecting it, I'm almost out of ideas on how to make this better. I don't know, but uh, I wish people would start <laughs> knock it off. We're trying to do a thing here. Hey, we I got mean, what, going on. Um, look at it this way, and let, let me just put it out this way: if we can't protect ourselves from getting knocked off the live. We're just going to have to go back to doing it privately and uploading it. I would hate that. Yeah. It would su it would suck because the live element is part of Painkill already, but the fact is if, if people want to you know show their e-penis, it's the only option we have unless somebody can figure out a way to protect us. Oh, you know what we should have mentioned, by the way? Syndicate is here. Syndicate? Yes. Hey, what's up, man? Can't I mean... Hear. Hey, what's uh, up, guys? This is Syndicate. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> he's here! I see him in the Skype. He's not talking. He, he's definitely dialed in. Oh, he's in, but he has no mic. He just typed it to us. So, uh... It's really, really crappy right now. Damn it. Um, yeah. It is really crappy. Maybe like 30 seconds breaks off. I like can't believe I said Michael Keaton was the worst here. Batman. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> Michael Keaton was a crappy Batman. People generally agree on that. I, Batman. I'm... I'm surprised that you don't see it. Dude, Christian Bale, I'm Batman. You know, he puts that fake mouthful of dick voice on. Or Not to mention, I know what Christian Bale is like a, as a person. He is a, mm -hmm. He's a horrible person with rage oh, yeah, he's issues. A, he's a dickhead yeah, in real like, life. I, I like and he looks, he, looks like a, he looks like an anorexic guy that tried to get in shape. That's what he looks like. Well, I mean, I he, he looked like movie a movie that starved himself. Fit in, I mean, when Michael, Keaton, when Michael Keaton played Batman, he had the eyes for it. Go look at any of the old Batman movies and look at Batman's eyes. He he could pretty much had the body language down to a T. 
And when he was out, when he was Bruce Wayne, he was a believable Bruce Wayne because he had that homely middle age guy look, you know. But I think of Bruce Wayne as a handsome playboy. Yeah, Christian yeah, Bale. My, you, my, you ain't got to be handsome as a playboy. And yeah, Christian does. Bale is by far no, not handsome. He looks like a crackhead. Be, to be perfectly honest. Christian Bale is a beautiful else. man. <laughs> 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 And I just lost everybody. No, we should be back. We should be back. I mean, like, everybody's audio is, like, on the lowest possible setting. How is like, it right now? It, I can hear. It, it, it's, it, it's audible, but it's below par. Does that oh. make sense? You sound good to me. Okay. Maybe it's just me. Uh, it sounds a bit muffled to me as well, but I, I'm I'm here. Uh, well, I, I, just, I just don't see it. Michael Keaton was a much better Batman. I'm sure a lot <laughs> of people there would be with me. I like how you pointed out, like, uh, Christian Bale fighter being unattractive, but you forgot about Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> Beetlejuice was a good role. Jesus. I was, but, Jesus. But I, don't think of the, I don't see how the same guy who's Beetlejuice can be the best Batman, too. He was just the worst Beetlejuice, is what Wings is and saying. Look here. Nobody, only... gave, nobody gave two shits and a fuck about Batman Begins. They didn't. It didn't really sell well. It made Dude, much. I love that movie. It, yeah, it was it awesome. Back at it now. Batman you know, it Begins? Was, it was a big deal. No, Batman Begins was a big deal. People like Batman that Begins show. was huge. No, no, no. Batman Dark Rising is huge. They have they the tickets are sold out for like the previews for like months. Batman Begins. I went into it on opening night at like eight o'clock, and the seat in the theater was nowhere near full. And that's because Christian Bale is not a guy that can pull audiences. Heath Ledger pulled audiences. Wait in a the dark minute, night. isn't Christian Bale also in the current Batman? He is the current yeah. Batman. He, he played in all three but of them. You're claiming that because his first movie was less successful than his third, it sounds to me like people didn't like him until they saw him. I mean, let's just be honest. Dude, I, I you just looked it Dark up. Knight the Joker. Dude, yeah, Batman Begins was huge. I just looked up their Wikipedia. Batman they Begins, have a they had a box office million. of three hundred and seventy-two yeah, million yeah. dollars. It did two hundred million the first. Uh, what on the oh the on its fiftieth day, day? It's the sixty-first movie ever to cross that milestone. And it did it, it in 60 days. It had Liam Neeson and Morgan Freeman. Seriously. What do you expect? How, what, what more do you want? Liam Neeson is like a god in two religions. <laughs> he it had a $150 million I mean, budget. It's, it opening weekend, it did $48 million on 3,858 screens. It grossed overall $372 million, So it doubled its profit. Merka Durka, I have a question for you. Yes. Is I'm it a, Batman related? No. <sighs> Every time I talk to you... You seem to have a friends with benefits situation working. Possibly oh, too. That was just a one time thing. It was not. No, <laughs> you lie. You lie. You're too modest. The reason is that like it, like sometimes he writes me and and it has been a little while, but he was sometimes writing me for like relationship advice is kind of pushing it. But it's just like, you know, if a can girl I, can I say one last thing with Batman? No, that topic was horrible. This topic was horrible. Let's get Batman rolling here. Shit about Burke and Durk is Batman really, Batman. really, because the next Ford thing I was about to say is, if a girl blows you, does she like you? Go ahead, no. please. Let's talk about Batman does and his she, weight does issues. She love hey, me? <laughs> Batman movie was made for thirty-five million dollars and it grossed four hundred and eleven million dollars. That really should prove the star suddenly, power. I'm searching my whole warehouse, not a single shit to find. I'm, I'm <laughs> uh, comment here. Nope, not a single fuck. Nope. <laughs> It's completely depleted. If if she gives me a blowjob, do I? Does she love me? Is that what you said? Like, yeah, yeah. We've talked about that before. So, how many friends with benefits do you have right now? Like, if you were to say text somebody, um, zero, zero right now. I'm actually surprised. Like, legit. If if you wanted a blowy right now, you couldn't get any. You can have my phone uh, I'd, I'd have to. Yeah, I'd have to give Kyle a call. And it's quite a drive to Georgia, honestly, and it's not really worth it there. But Wait, am I having to personally perform this, or am I hooking you up with somebody? Oh, I thought you were offering again. I mean, offering. No! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where is he going with this? That was a one-time thing, Mirka. <laughs> yeah, and it was a secret till PKA100. <laughs> yeah, so, people on the internet don't get sarcasm. What happened to you? <laughs> they don't. What happened to your most recent Friends with Benefits situation? Oh, that was a while ago, and it was, it was. you know, kind of... Kind of iffy. Just I, mean, I knew that she was just kind of using me, and I was kind of using her, and it was fine. Well, that's and how friends with benefits for work, the, right? For the summer, mm -hmm. and it's been rough. It's been a, a, a wasteland of sorts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go back to school. Honestly, it's just so many more people there, and way more fun. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. Huh. Yeah. What What year are you in school, Taylor? I'm going into sophomore year. Oh, cool, yo! Awesome. 
Wait. Um, but I would say no to the whole question of yours. The does she love you? Like no, definitely not. Would anybody take the yes side on that? No, I wouldn't, because blowjobs nowadays are given out as means of like abstinence, and when she's just not ready, she'll give you the blowjob instead. Yeah, it wasn't like when I was in high school. If you got a blowjob, you scored. Now it's <laughs> kind of like you know. That's yeah, like for, that's it's like a before first date shit. It's a makeout session cap of some sort. Hey, right? I, I like that more almost than the full on horizontal mambo. Maybe it's just a dominance thing for me. I don't know. Hmm. But oh, yeah, yeah, it, it yeah. blowjobs are way easier. The blowjobs are better because you're expected to come quickly and you don't have to hold it. No, you make them work for it. No, you don't <laughs> make them work, George. <laughs> we for it. We want to get the bitch give lockjaw or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, I seize the moment, my friend. Yeah, do, do, Wings, you, do you give tetanus with your blowjobs? <laughs> Why are they getting lockjaw? No, dude. He, a girl, like, you've ever looked up in, in, any girl can talk about blowjob. They talk about guys that want to make it last so long that it hurts their jaw. And you eventually, they're using muscles in their jaw they don't normally use. I can say, yeah, you're welcome to them before. for working that out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but, like, you know, making your girl last a little bit longer because you can, because it's easier to last in a blowjob because. It's basically dictated about how much friction dictated. there is, and unless she's going at it hard and serious, there's not going to be a whole lot of friction. You got to sit back and think about it and relax. I don't know. This if hard evening and we'll be covering the physics of sex, hosted by Wings of Redemption. I'm just saying, uh, the blowjobs <laughs> guys, guys really like blowjobs better too. because they're expected to perform with the orgasm instead of just you know hold out, hold out, hold out until she gets hers. See, the reason I like blowjobs better is because I'm a man and I'm the one on the receiving end of a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is a new point you bring up. <laughs> yeah, but I think a quick, like, five or six minutes is how long a blowjob should last. See, I've watched a lot of videos online that tell me otherwise. Really? You, See, yeah, I, watched I, a lot of video, I watched a lot of videos online of guys eating pussy in porn, too, but they, they're just painting the fence. They're not really doing no techniques. So, so hold on. Coming into sense. this, I wouldn't have expected to side with Wings over, you know, Captain Friends with Benefits on a sex <laughs> topic. But I think Wings is right on this. Like, the, the objective on a blowjob is to finish. You're not supposed to last for, like, 15, 20 minutes on this thing. So well, it's yeah, funny if you do on it, purpose until they like, give up. Like, you don't want it to go to, like, for, like, two minutes and just not enjoy it because you're so worried about her not wanting to deal with yeah. it. I, I can see Merck and Durker over there rubbing that fucking anti-sensation cream all over his dick like, yeah, bitch, come on. I can let go all night now. Wait, <laughs> shut up. I told you that in confidence. She's like, why is my, she's like, why is my mouth numb? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, baby. It's just aura gel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You got me on this aura gel <laughs> thought is, process what is, here. What is aura gel? It's aura gel stuff that like, sums your, your teeth. Gums. Yeah, they give it to babies who are teething. I think that's, to me, its primary purpose. Ah, and, or and Dirk has found a, uh, sleep on, you know, yeah. it's benzocaine, sleepovers. so it's a really strong topical anesthetic. Woody, are you having right, trouble? Dirk um, huh. and Dirk gives it to his friends, who uh, his older friends that are uh, that are also teething. Woody, are you having yeah. trouble? <laughs> On my stream? Yes. I was. It's working now. Okay, because I got like 7,000 viewers right now, and I was wondering why. Yeah, dude. I it, Hackers, man. It's really unfortunate. All right. So, uh, but yeah, and I'm, I'm back up. We're very bad at segue topics, by the way. <laughs> we like no. We purposefully insert an awkward silence between each topic. It's not a. We're not sloppy. We're It's just a point where you can hey. pause and go get a drink. Yes. Real, real quick, quick, you know, transition. Can we go back to Batman again? You know, just for like a few minutes. Are you yeah. serious about? No, Batman? no, I'm kidding about Batman. I was just <laughs> <laughs> like, I actually had a problem with my taxes. Believe it or not, <laughs> <laughs> I was want, I was want to parse through that with you guys. If you want mine? Let me just go to grab a W four, and we can have a good old conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Roundtable discussion about your 1099. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Full disclosure. It's amazing what people. Well, I'm not even going there. <laughs> Until I started doing this, I didn't realize how much taxes I paid. Like when I was working for the other people. You didn't realize how much was being taken out of your check, you mean? Well, being taken out of my check plus what they had to pay for me. Yeah, like the. Well, same thing. 
you know, uh, you're talking about all your like, you know, healthcare and all that shit. Healthcare, just, like you know, employment rent, taxes rent. and things like that. Yeah, yeah. side of social security. Yeah, here we are. We're literally talking about taxes now. <laughs> we just we just segue to taxes. <laughs> oh God, God. God. <laughs> God damn it, Wings. <laughs> it worked. Me, buddy. He tricked me. Tom, do you have I your mic on yet? Do what? He's working on it. He'll let us know. Jesus when Christ. I just see He's Merka a, as, like, yeah, Mr. Burns. Oh, oh, you're here! One yeah, of the here. gold plaque certificate <laughs> yeah. guys How's it going? <laughs> struggling with Where's his it? mic. Dude, how psyched are you about the new YouTube, like, gold... Didn't get one. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get one. Oh, wait, yeah, you're right. I looked for you on the list. It, it's because it takes a little while for them to ship a helicopter over to where you live. <laughs> you know, that's, that's your gift. Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't make it on the list. Like, I noticed as well, like, PewDiePie, who just hit a million as well, he's not on it either. And I think Toby Games as well, so... I'm not the only one. Toby, I mean, Toby has to be on that list somewhere. Dude, Toby's, oh, yeah, he's, he's, how, he's, how is Toby, Toby going to get by without his gift? <laughs> it's totally a, <laughs> it's so, three. so for it's people like, who don't know, at the start of the show, um, YouTube did this thing. They're awarding people uh, like a gift certificate if you have 100,000 subs and a, like a genuine piece of gold and a plaque if you have a million subs. So we, we thought Syndicate would have it, but I guess he didn't. Well, whenever they did the cutoff, he didn't quite have it. So is this real gold, or is this that kind of gold that you got on those card. fake Pokemon tablets and like? <laughs> Probably most likely plated gold. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm carat. talking about there? Oh, I got. I know what you're talking about, Merka. I have like. Is a news report that said it was 24 carat. Yeah, 24 carat. So it's gonna be really yellow. YouTube money. I would want a 24 carat plate to be perfectly honest, because what you don't know is the higher the carat, the more brittle it is. Soft. No, it's, no, it's, it's a softer they're, metal. Yeah. That they're opposites. So from this. Handing out like gold-plated plaques. Can I understand that they're moving away from the YouTube money standard and going over to the gold standard? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Ron Paul fans in the comment sections changing. <laughs> you know, segue off into money. Like I don't understand the American system. We 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 pretty much hand money out with have nothing to back it up for. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Four hours later. Oh wow, PK is still on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally glad I jumped in. Like I was waiting for ages to to join the call, but because it just kept crashing and stuff like that, I was just like, well, I'll rather it wait until you know it sorts itself out because it took forever. But where I, are we, where are you streaming from now? I it just dude, I change IP addresses, I mix it up, I do everything I can. But um, are you getting dosed? Most likely, yep. yeah. Oh, that dude, that sucks so bad. Does it happen to you as well? No, luckily not. I don't know how someone would get your IP address though, because I don't exactly give it out unless like I joined a Minecraft server or something. Then they, you know, then they find your IP address. So that's why I don't really join them. Other than that, I can't see someone actually getting my address. Generally, people well, that are um, hackers if, are on you, power trips. Yeah, and there's weird ways they can get it. They can get it through your Xbox. Like if you join a chat or a party with them or a game, they get it there what? too. There's yeah. a glitch where you can get it through Skype as well. Yeah, I wasn't gonna tell everyone how to do it, Jackass. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't. don't. <laughs> I don't know what I was just saying. <laughs> if, if you stream, that's the easiest way to get it. There's a handful of different ways to do it. You can do it by streaming on Twitch. You can get it by stream by Xbox. You can get it by Skype. There's a bunch of different ways. It's pretty hard to hide your IP address. So yeah. Um, can you not just ring your provider and get a new one? I I have I got a new one actually right before the show tonight. So yeah. Oh, yeah, my my, my provider right sucks now. dick. That's what it does. Uh, and there it goes again. It's like, uh, <laughs> You guys still here on the stream? Can you guys still hear me? Am I, am I falling off any? It seems like the uh, call has dropped once more. Okay, now my stream health has actually went down. Okay, Dr. Chia said my stream is still up and I can hear him. Uh, we're experiencing technical difficulties. This is number four for Painkill already. Um, sadly to say, this was a show it was a big hype. And um, through it being a big hype, more and more people want to crash it. This is what you call butthurt people. I 
I'm unsure if I should drop the call and try to call back. I don't know. Let me type here. Hmm. I'll pick my nose. Picking my nose is fun. For everybody out there, I am streaming this still. We're trying to figure out, go through the process. I think they they they've knocked Woody offline at this point. Like he is completely off. I think he might be trying to get a new IP. You want me to start rhyming? I don't know. I can throw you some pre-written stuff. I'm the heavy metal metaphor meditate, you know, it's whatever. So what you guys doing, guys? You guys got any questions? Any questions? can't see my video um, my video only goes through at 360p so if you if your if your YouTube goes higher than that by standard like you said it to put it the highest setting you won't be able to see my video but you will be able to hear my audio and um, so you guys said at 360p to see my video is there anything you guys would like me to do while we're sitting here waiting on painkiller ready to come back Kind of wish the comments would update faster. Look at oh, I don't uh, have All right, we're back. Oh, there, the there we go. There's we. Yeah, I don't have Kyle Taylor or you added, so that's why you can't see it. I gotcha. Yeah, officer talking to the stream. My stream is still up, by the way. Okay. So, we all right. Okay. Um, Woody, then? Is he I, th I completely think I think they completely him wiped him off. off. Do you want to carry it on on yours then? I'm I'm still going. We can still keep going. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Then. I'm just sitting like Woody's chat, just seeing what everyone's saying. So back to taxes. Back to taxes. What profile picture we find? Really? Oh, really? Like, I can't see it. <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> I'll add you guys here. I'll add you. This is a, wow. Do you want me to share what the profile picture is, Kyle? No, no. There's, okay. There's no need to do that. Okay. <laughs> it's a very it's, it's a picture of a transsexual picture. jerking her penis. No, nah, right, it's a picture of Hitler, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not a trans. Kyle is Hitler. Uh, Kyle, I had a fucked up dream that involved you. Volume up. You can't hear us, apparently. Whoa, right. Wings, did you say you had a weird dream about me? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to hear my weird dream, Kyle? You scared me. Yes, I, I want to hear it. To hear this you were playing basketball. Naked. All right, you're playing some basketball, and your ball fl goes out into the into the street, and it hits a nice Mercedes Benz. All right, so you go up to get your ball, and get out comes a tranny that wants to punish you. When does this get weird? <laughs> it's not already weird. It's not because Freud would have just had a heart attack. <laughs> There's yeah. so much text here. The old, the my only volume thing too low? that would make it better is if the tranny was your mom. Oh my god. I, I don't I don't want to continue this stream anymore. I'm a little creeped <laughs> out. About, please. <laughs> and then what happened? There we go. Oh, my, <laughs> my stream should have just increased violently in length. What? Where are Something you streaming? increased violently in length as that happened well, in the dream. Well, I mean, I'm or saying, for some reason, my computer <laughs> auto compensated when the oh, thing yeah, dropped. Oh yeah, you got nine thousand. And uh, now it's back up. It should be. You at might want to feature that, uh, Wings, because people can't find it straight away when they go in your channel. Um, I'm very bad at YouTube streaming. <laughs> there you go. 
So we just kill time till Woody gets back. Is that, can anybody hear us? Yeah, we. I think uh, we can just we're on the uh, wing stream for now. Yeah, wings. Did you turn us up? Because apparently we are super quiet. Um, on, um, I'm waiting for the people to acknowledge if I've turned you up or not. Sweet. Um, wings. Can I have a link to your stream? Uh, yeah. It's uh, just go to my channel page. But here it is. Oh, okay. Thank you. Believe it or not, I stream Painkiller Ray right alongside Woody every week. I don't think a lot of people know this. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, follow me on Twitter. I'm almost at twenty-five thousand. Damn, you've almost nice. caught up to me. What? You've almost oh, caught up to me. In Twitter? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. You have a way bigger channel than me. Uh, I only shit. tweet really stupid things. Oh. <laughs> Merka, when you tweet, it always makes me laugh. I'm Like glad. that one, you were like, um, I'll have uh, an order of topics for videos, hold the haters please, or something like that. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'm phenomenally clever. You should continue to follow me, you know, just to <laughs> make sure you don't miss out. All Tosh right. put a couple of mine on his blog, so that was my big E fame, really? like 15 seconds of fame moment. That's cool. So, Kyle. Yes, sir. What do you think about this guy who broke out the hepatitis C outbreak? He was a hospital employee. I already apologized. I, I mean, it <laughs> <laughs> I, I have not heard that story. Tell me more. Yeah, right. Um, so you don't want to hear about trannies, but you want to hear more about Hep C outbreaks. Uh, apparently, a new, I mean, a new Hampshire hospital employee is indicted for causing a hepatitis C outbreak that infected 31 patients in the hospital's cardiac catheterization lab. David Kowalskowski, 32, was arrested and charged with acquiring controlled substance by fraud and tampering with a customer product with reckless disregard for risk of others, according to the affidavit filed by the U.S. District Court of the District of New Hampshire. Evidence gathered to the date points irrefutably to Kowalski as a source of the hepatitis C outbreak at Exeter Hospital. U.S. Attorney General John Kakis, Kakis said in a press release with his arrest, we have eliminated a serial infector who posed a public health and safety. Would you do this kind of thing if you had this type of power? I think this is relevant to our case because right now we're down one Woody because of somebody <sighs> abusing power. So you're asking me if I would willingly infect a bunch of people with yeah. hepatitis C. It's, 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 it's the same thing. You, like, why would you do this? Because it's a power trip. That's why you would do this. The same reason why you know a boss man fires a guy with like four kids because he shows up late ten minutes. Because he has the power over another guy. Same reason why you know police officers like kick somebody in the stomach and beat them down when they ain't got no weapon. Because they have power over the guy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and answer no, just because I'm not a tool. Was the question, would you do it? Yes, would you do it? I mean, like, oh, no. personality. Dude, that's fucked up. <laughs> it is fucked yeah, up. Yeah, no, I'd never do that to people. Oh, Tom, you're a UK guy. What do you think about the British police officers? Um, some of them, a lot of people get the job, and I can answer this because I know a lot of people, I've actually had a, not a lot of run-ins, like, getting in trouble, but I've actually spoke to a lot of police officers, and you see them on TV, but a lot of them just do it, want to become police officers to make them feel like they've actually got power, and you've only got the few handful who actually want to do something, because, like, most of them are just lazy, and they'll sit in, you know, like, the middle of a lay-by waiting for a car to go past super quick, and they won't actually go around looking for, you know, trouble or something like that, and they're just lazy. Like, if you ring the police and say, like, we need them now, they'll be, like, 30 minutes late. You know, after they say, right, we'll be there in 10 minutes, they'll be there another, like, 40 minutes later, so... They're not too good, the British police. But, like, the higher guys, like, we've got the SAS. I know that's, like, a bit stepping up, Isn't but, that, like, an Air Force service? Um, it's, it's like, I think, the way I imagine it is, like, is our equivalent of Delta Force. Yeah, they're, they're like, they're, like, uh, the, the best... The SAS doesn't best. do with, like, civilian crime, do they? Uh, no, it's like, say, if someone was, like, robbing a bank fully armed, then maybe. No, SAS this is, is the equivalent of the SWAT, SWAT team, though, right? Kind of, yeah, but, like, more <laughs> superior to that. Because we have, like, riot squads and, you know, like, gunned policemen and stuff like that, but our police are pretty lazy overall. I don't know. I can't really our, say that Every cop I've ever walked to has been a <laughs> has been an armed policeman. What? What, in America? Air, yeah, every there one are auxiliary of them. cops, though, Wings. No, there uh, aren't real law enforcement, though, without without guns. <laughs> yeah, that's like, like like mall oh. cops aren't law enforcement; they're rule enforcement. Those those are like wannabe cocksuckers. But like, like as far as like real legit law enforcement, police, sheriff's departments, all they that all shit. Have guns. Oh, of course, all of them right, have guns. Right. So if if we had, it was like a, a situation here, the police would just turn up and like most the average police officer would just have a pepper spray and a taser, 
and maybe not even a taser. Maybe if, just pepper spray. If somebody trespasses on your and property, fire. four cops will show up. They'll all be armed with a handgun and a shotgun in their car. Well, <laughs> we'd probably get a police officer with a torch. <laughs> a flashlight. Like, hey, you guys, you better leave. <laughs> oh, Jesus. For a second, I thought you meant torch. Like, he's just going to burn you in your houses alive. And I'm like, Jesus. I'm I always wonder, why are they called Bobbies? About a taser here or there. Bobbies? That, but I've always uh, heard them called Bobbies. I think that's a. I think that's just a really, really, really old school uh, London term for it. I gotta try to find out. I'd never a call Bobby. That. Is that a cop? I know a slang term from in the UK is called five zero. Well, that, that's, but I don't that's, know that's why. Too. Too. <laughs> why is that that? It's a police code. Why five zero? I guess I don't know. I don't really. They're like it's five zero. Really good show. I mean, it did. It it, it must originate from Hawaii five zero. You know, it couldn't be. It's been what? It's probably been used. To, what? Someone. <laughs> five o. <laughs> oh shit, man! It's five o. That's just all I can think of. I would ask my dad. My dad used to be a police officer, but he's not here. On the oh, hey, on the subject here's the answer. of the, it comes from the why the police American show Hawaii Five O. Five O is being a slang oh. term for the police. In the show Five O is the police unit, but the name itself doesn't really mean anything. Oh, okay. No, it must mean like the, they're in the Five O precinct. Yeah, the like, Y five O was the five O precinct, yeah. and now it's just like slang throughout. Yeah, so it was like a made up precinct, and now it's just yeah, okay. That makes more sense. It also could refer to the five leader in the Crown Victoria. I found Bobby as well. Was Bobby? Um, well, I found it, but now I've lost it, so I'll go find it again. So how's the uh oh, going back. without me? I am back. We're talking about we're talking, we're, we're talking about the no, British. No, we went movies. over. Yeah, we're talking we about British police taxes. and uh, taxes. Oh, and more. We got oh, into geometry. We talked about geometry for like twenty minutes. And, Why are you uh, streaming that shit? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, we, we came to the conclusion <laughs> that that I'm a big rhombus fan, and Kyle is just a pompous parallelogram lover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all, right. Right. Boys all the way, bitch. Octagon Master Race. We're talking about Batman. I didn't dial back in. <laughs> we didn't talk about Batman. Oh, my. What? You, you couldn't get off of Batman. No, because Michael Keaton is a superior actor, and he proved it. He did more with less. I rest my case. How do we define more? He took $35 million in that movie. That movie was made for $35 million. It grossed $400 million. Batman Begins took in $150 million to make, and it made double, $372 million. How, wait, which money are you talking about with Keaton? That made $400 million? Batman, the original Batman, 1989. Ah. Uh, so in 15 Bat years, Batman did Forever pretty good. made even more money. 20 years, 23 years or something. What the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> You're talking about Batman again. Batman is Wings key, makes dude. us talk it, about Batman. Batman. I can't tonight, stop. Woody. Wings. Wings. In hindsight, you wish you hadn't uh, 1v1 Syndicate. Like, What do you think of that? How'd that whole thing boil down? It's a bit of a transition. What? <laughs> yeah. I was a different here person it. back then. When I 1v1 Syndicate last time, Good. It, uh, uh -huh. I was... I was a different person. My channel was built around gameplay. This is before all the guys that came up with the multiple Moabs and stuff like that. And um, I'd like to go ahead and use the scapegoat now before people call me on it. One of the reasons I lost that 1v1 was you, Woody. Oh? I made mistakes. Oh, yeah, right. I had to push engagements because of a timer that went, shouldn't have been there. <laughs> How uh, about the Mets? I can't... <laughs> I need to restart Skype. I'm uh, leaving in October. Right back. Look, he's dodging. He's dodging like a cum dodger. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is between me and Wings now. This is oh. between Woody and Wings. Go go go! One v one. Cum dodging. On book. I, dude, I, no, I'm not dodging. I'm coming back. People can't hear you, so I'm gonna restart Skype, and I'll, I'll be right back. Right. At this point, Woody is ddosing himself so he doesn't have to answer your question. <laughs> yeah, he just starts going. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting ddosed. I'm, I'm gonna go. Bye. I get, I get, I get. Bye. It's so true. I, uh, I'd be more than happy to answer these questions. I just don't want the world to miss it. So. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh man. I mean, if anybody's butthurt over a one v one loss, you can always one v one me. You can. I'll let you beat me, man. I don't mind. I don't, I'm, I don't really, I'm a benevolent I don't really, 1v1. -er. I used to care a lot about being considered really good on YouTube. Now I don't give a flying fuck about being considered good on YouTube. 
Well, it's because people know that even if you make a though. mistake, I don't do you're... Call of Duty gameplays because that that stress it puts you under to try oh, to go it, and get them gameplays and stuff is horrible, stress, dude. It's, it's... That's why I love doing like Skyrim, Minecraft stuff like that. It's fun because you can enjoy it and you can actually enjoy game, you know, like live commentaries, you know, which is easier, but as well at the same time, you get more into it and it's entertaining gameplay rather than being like, oh, I fucking hate this game, fucking yeah. rage. Oh, dude, how many times have <laughs> you sat there that and clip. just started one, just cussing at the screen trying to get a gameplay, I, and then horrible. it doesn't even fucking matter when the video goes out, because people just talk mm -hmm. about the subject you talked about. And another yep. thing I noticed, that all the successful channels, none of them were really good at the fucking Call of Duty game. It's like, oh, so you don't have to be a godly guy with 4KD to win, to be actually be, t you know, accepted in the community. Uh, dude, it's horrible. Like, I'm, I'm so glad that for you, you know, yourself, you've said you ch you, you feel like you've changed as a person because I'm glad. Because back, you know, like when it all went down, you were like, you were pissed. You were like so pissed. And I, was, I just couldn't understand like why, you know. You got so annoyed about it, but like thinking about it, I do understand why you got annoyed about it. I'd be pissed off if I was like a hardcore Call of Duty player, but because I wasn't, I didn't have anything to lose, sort of thing. <laughs> it was like a, pff, whatever happens, happens. You know, I don't really give a crap, but it was good. I think that was a good. I think it was a good thing to happen to you then, almost because you know it got you to where you are now in a positive mindset. Well, what actually changed my mindset was when Modern Warfare Three, to be perfectly honest. Bad game. <laughs> Bad game. It is. <laughs> Terrible game. <laughs> it's like I have to get out this series. I have to segue something. I do not want to get stuck to this series when they're going this direction. Yeah, what about Black Ops Two then? Are you going to get oh, into I'm that? Oh, I'm getting Black Ops Two. It's not like I'm not going to get and not going to play yeah, it. Yeah. But I, I am by no means going to be, you know, oh, I'm going to be the first one to get the Moab. I remember when I first got into this game, <laughs> my I wanted I wanted that nuke without without the chopper gun at AC-130. I ended up getting it, but I got what? it number two. Sam Five Thousand got it before me. Wait, what was that? The the nuke without using the chopper gunner. Oh, really? Yeah. And, oh, dude, and the YouTube community's changed so much, though, hasn't it? It has. Like, remember, like Sam, Sam Five Thousand, like all of them used to be on top and stuff like that. Yeah, Sam Five Thousand got it before me, and then then it became to the nuke without kill streaks. Yeah, so, dude, I've always C had much respect for them UK guys. C Nanners got the first one. I got the second one again. So I was back in second place again. <laughs> So, Damn. Who, who would you say is like the best player on YouTube now? Like, be, I know it's like a really strong YouTube, thing to answer. That, uh, I, that, I, I'm going with XCal. I mean, like, there's people that can go out there and do 177 kill games, but you got to understand they're in optimal settings. You put like my gameplay up against somebody like in Simulus or like, uh, ex, you know, what, what's that one guy? Exquisite XBL. They're killing people yep. in like three bullets with a P90. My P90 kills in nine bullets. I don't know where he got his at. I always get the host, though. That's the problem. Like, what about so Onslaught? You get the host, like, you try to kill someone, Onslaught, it just doesn't work. Onslaught's a really good player. Onslaught's a, Onslaught's a guy I love to play with because he's willing to he do anything. He always has a plan. He's willing to do anything, and he's versatile. Whereas somebody that's that pretty much puts their... And I, I put X-Guy in that same category, too. You see x Cow shooting down air support. He's a versatile player. And he's the... I would mm -hmm. say Fearcrads is the best uh, is the best. I'm, I'm going to say right this, now, and I'm going to get a lot of flack for saying this. I don't consider Fearcry as the best. He is a great player. Don't get me wrong. He is he's, a he's, fantastic I, my, player. When he's back in Fearcry as well, he's, he's so hardcore, though. It's like it depends on the lobby you get, but all the time, but, no matter what, he's playing to his best. He is a great, fantastic player. You can't take that from him an inch and shred. But in the back of my mind, I always think about it. This guy pulls host against Americans. He Fearcry? Yes. Mm. Uh, I mean, sometimes maybe, but the thing the thing that always impressed yeah, me is how like I played the top with him. Like when Black Ops first came out, challenges. and like X Jaws had just shouted him out, and I started doing a um, a series where I was actually attempting to get you know zero points on the enemy team. So Fearcraft was one of the first people to send me an invite, and he was always on the top of the lobby. I mean, I, <laughs> he, he was almost like Socrates in Call of Duty Four. If you played Call of Duty Four with Socrates. You'd be mm -hmm. doing good, and you'd be happy as shit, and you look, and Socrates is twice your kills. <laughs> yeah, he does that all the time, man. It, it's impossible. It, it and just, you're sort of scratching you know, your head wondering, what the fuck am I doing wrong? And Fearcraft has that yeah. same effect to, on you. You have to watch one of his gameplays, and, and then you realize what was going on. You were getting a decent amount of traffic, but all the traffic that you were getting were respawns from Socrates. <laughs> like, they just... <laughs> Like, because he was going in and killing four of them at once. I've never One seen One of them it. would respawn near you, and you would kill it. That's why you were getting a decent amount of kills. They just had respawn from him. 
and they're all it, running it, away. They're like, "Fuck!" It was get a out whole here. other thing for me to learn to play with good players. Like you know, when I first started my YouTube channel, I didn't have like really good. I had lots of friends I played with, but they weren't like YouTube what level. What happened to? Do and, you still have those friends, Woody? Like the guy who throw all the care packages and stuff? Fuck! Am I getting dosed again? I don't think so. What was no, the name of the guy who used to get to give all the care packages away? He just never used kill streaks. I don't. Is he gone? Uh, Wait, but who's Socrates, uh -huh. by the way? Have you, has he got a channel? He's one of the Kyle's. Yeah, uh, he used to have a channel. Yeah. He um he's in the Air Force, so he can't he can't really, play oh, really? And upload as much as he used to. But he um I, he he him and a couple other buddies of mine. I mean that they were a top ten like game battles team on the team ladder, and he was just a really really strong player. Um, I don't know. Especially like you, you play. I don't, with him. I don't know what his KD is. I think it's probably like three and a half or something like that. But when you watch his play style, he 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 just one hundred percent rushed. By the way, like, by the way three and a half stopped. KD is epic. I mean, don't don't people don't people put you down. Five is not the benchmark. Five is exceptional. If you have a three and a half Shit, KD, I'm happy with a one. You're you're fantastic. Got, well, but I've got like a two like on a KD wise. I've got two point one, and that like I st I don't consider myself a bad player. No, you because two, I just play to win. You're twice like as that. better than the yeah. average player. I'm the benchmark for the average player. Average player is one. Like one point one. Well, then again, on my new college, you know, I'm doing a college at Race to Prestige, and on that, my co my kill to death now is like four point something, and I'm like level thirty. Three or something like that. Yeah. Damn. You know, so I've been playing it quite a while. You know, and I'm playing against some good guys. You get the ten prestiges who played the other games. You get, you know, want to come back on it. I play against them, and you know, like I, I randomly won like a forty kill streak in one of my games, and I was just like, damn, this was beast with an M60. You know, you, the game is so like flawless in my opinion. Even though it's got you know free frags and jug, like the gun weapon, oh, it's all oh, balanced. Oh, but call, then I jump up on one three. It's just smooth. That's it what rapes it is. me. Like, I just get raped on other games though, like. I always go like a kill death of like I might get thirty kills but then fifteen deaths. Yeah, but Call of Duty, it, Call of Duty Four, I really, I really enjoyed Four and World at War because how smooth they were. I mean, they didn't have like the granny shot. You know, most people wouldn't notice this, but the drop shot has degraded as the games got more susceptible to newer players. In Call of Duty Four drop shot was instantaneous. You were on the ground, you were shooting. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two, you went to a knee, then you went to the ground. Modern Warfare Three, it's even longer animation. And that's one of the things that made Call of Duty 4 a much better platform to play on for a good player. Yeah, I think I liked the drop shot for Modern Warfare 2 the most, just because Modern Warfare 3, it is noticeably slower, and then uh, Call of Duty 4, it's just, like, silly. It's like they just jump up in midair, <laughs> prostrate themselves, and then just slam down, and then just start firing wildly. Like, it's just, it's too much. And I know I'm questioning realism, <clears throat> where I probably shouldn't, but still. I also like to point out that I mainly play on PS3 on Modern Warfare 3, and one that always bothered me is people always throw my stats for the Xbox up. My Xbox stats aren't bad though. I'm two seven. I think like I'm two seventy two with like a four and a half win loss. Where my PS3, I'm a three twenty one with a twelve and a half win loss. Oh, don't get me started on win loss. I back out of too many games, like because it's either lagging or you know bad team or something like that. I, I mean, just one leave. of the things I play Call of Duty now for is the team play aspect. I love, you know basically overcoming adversity. Yeah. Like, the last Call of Duty gameplay I put up was me versus a full team with a recon juggernaut and trying to show how good the kill streak is off. Did Did you... Do you play with a full team, though? Because, like, I don't... I play I, Twitter I, guys, I really mostly. do not want to play. Yeah, I mean, so, like... Do you guys actually play for win-loss? I hardly... No. Have, I hardly ever have the same team. I mean, I, I grab five yeah, guys from I, Twitter every time I get to play Call of Duty. I, I never play. Like, if my win loss ratio or my blood alcohol content I wouldn't even be buzzed like it's that low <laughs> it is that phenomenally low like I, I got like a point oh six probably I remember, I remember white boy saying one time on PK that his win loss is like point one just because he rage quits all the time oh yeah white boys oh whore. yeah dude if white I die boy, first I'm I got white boy on my leader. playstation friends list he's something like 354 wins 6,000 and some losses oh my god <laughs> <laughs> dead serious <laughs> <laughs> he he rage quits all the time. I, I invite him in parties from time to time, and like he's gone within like the first five minutes of the game with a full party. Oh Jesus! I mean that's just the way See, he man, plays. I mean that that's just him. See, I don't take gaming that seriously anymore. Like if I do bad in Call of Duty, it's like oh whatever. Because like to the point for me for gaming now is the social aspect of it. It's like who I'm playing with, having a good time with them, and not you know like I fucking gotta get a 18 kill death on this game or <laughs> and shoot myself. You should play Daisy. Daisy's a fucking fun game. Dude, I ah, would play Daisy if I had slow. Too slow, dude. I love I love I, it, 
it, it is a slow game. If it's not game. zombies from Black Ops, then it's not zombies. <laughs> it, oh, it is a slow game, but I don't play... The zombies are, like, irrelevant to me in DayZ because oh, I love the player mess, interaction. Okay. Like, it's that, play am I going to go through this town? Am I going to die? You know, that, what, I love what's that. What's the longest you've had a character alive so far? Uh, my last character would be that. I had a guy, he was alive for about two days now. Two days? Seriously? No, no, I was I start, I started the game, but I just walked around and I was bored. I like you don't even get a starting weapon. What's that about? You guys yeah, did it. I tried Daisy uh, last night for the first time, and first of all, like it took me a while to set it up, and that was unfortunate. I ended up having to run Steam as an admin, and the, I yep. didn't know that right away. Know. And um, and then even after I did, I did some reinstalls. And stuff. I'm not sure everything was necessary, but once I got it going and I got into a server. I run, 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 run. I find a town, and then the zombies kill me. The zombies <laughs> wouldn't stop chasing me. You gotta go through like, a building. Uh, zombies, you have to go through a building? Yeah, zombies Is there a way are, to open the doors? The only certain <laughs> buildings you can go through, like the big orange ones or like the fire stations. Oh, you you, you eventually through. learn the landmarks, but zombies are required to walk on anything indoors. And like the, so I... I eventually took to Google, and I found out like running uphill in a zigzag is a good way to drop zombies. Running through buildings, like you said, they're forced to walk in them. Uh, and you have to break the line of sight. So open fields, which is pretty much what I was doing, running through open fields, <laughs> you have to run forever before you drop a zombie. Where I was doing all this building. as well. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to like you should play stack a lobby, for lack of a better term. Yeah, wings or subs or... Someone who can hold my hand and help me get started in this thing. Dude, I, I think I played with the worst Daisy player ever today, and I'm pretty sure you you were no match to him in his back, his newbiness. Really? No, I don't know. I, I was pretty bad, but um, this guy was so bad he was hindering right. me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a broken hand right now, so. Uh, um, Are you still using that excuse? It's still true. I got my MRI this morning. No, you actually went and got an MRI. <laughs> Wimp. Hey. My dad breaks his hand I, I got a question with you. Um, this might be a little personal, but like, <laughs> like, um, what what are you using for like insurance now? Like, did you actually go buy third party insurance? I I need to right now. I'm uh, there's something called Cobra. Like after you leave your employer, you can just pay for it on your own, and that's what I'm doing right now. I, I'm wondering because like, if Obamacare passes, I got to get insurance. I'm thinking maybe I should jump the gun and buy insurance now to have like a little cushion. Like, also, Obama. I, I thought it did pass, though. It hasn't. It passed, did it. pass. It just hasn't taken effect yet. Yeah. Um. Basically. <laughs> then it just passed in courts. Uh, mm-hmm. They made a contract. Yeah. Yeah. It was only passed. That the if he loses law. the election, it's 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 out anywhere. It just depends. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. No, it's very also hard to remove it. it. Everyone says it's mm. bad. <laughs> it can be it. not it. not everyone says it's bad. UK because people don't like change. Well, here's like, here's the thing. Take your socialized the, medicine over there, and then make it way more conservative, but still be kind of socialized, and that's what we have here. here here's the thing. <laughs> Obamacare basically says everybody has to have some form of insurance. Unlike the United mm-hmm. Kingdom, where you live at, where you you pretty much pay extra taxes <laughs> to get free health care. Yep. We still have to pay for the insurance, but our health care still isn't free. So you, every does that mean every person like has to pay it like? The mandatory. They have to do it. Correct, or they get, or they yeah, get just fined. Like you do. What? Except that, well, you, yeah. So you know, no, you have no, to. No, it's, it's, it's a tax. It's a tax. Yeah. All right, all right. You yeah, guys have to pay for insurance. It, am I muted? You guys have to pay for insurance through your taxes, and we're going to yep. do it through private companies, and it's pretty similar. There's some exceptions, like if you're really broke, you don't have to buy insurance, but that's the core of it. It's it's going to have the same benefits as your system, but there'll be some more capitalism injected into it, which hopefully is good. Who knows? That's what we always need. Hmm. Yeah, and and the Republicans have painted this thing all wrong. Ah, oh, man, but now we're getting side-talked on a, side-tracked on a boring topic, but the Republicans have acted like, you know, oh, it's socialism, it's this terrible thing, I'm going to be paying for you, etc., and they're wrong, right? The, the truth is, and this is what the Democrats should have told the world, it's finally to the point where we're entering an era of personal responsibility. The way it is before Obamacare is you don't pay for yourself. You're broke, you just go to the emergency room, they take care of you, and then someone you know who is insured has to pay triple. Going forward, everyone's going to be paying for their own medical care, or they have to pay this fine tax thing. And that's, it's a step in the right direction, really. Hmm. I think, I mean, almost that- almost half of the Supreme Court justices didn't think it was constitutional. Yeah. And more than that. Wow. I, I just want to say, that here's what I, here's, that's, 
this would is... you do it? Would you use a drug that had the same sort of uh, accredita- uh, accreditation? Would it be like, well, almost, ha- almost half the FDA thought this would kill us, but almost more than that didn't. Supreme Court five. Four, I want to just say three. this: like Master Brooks in the hospital right now, and he's going to have to stay there about three days. His bill is mm-hmm. going to rack up to be about forty or fifty thousand dollars. What the fuck? What? He'll pay for it? He won't be able to pay for it. He ain't got no insurance. He yet. He pretty much doesn't have a job. So wait, in future world, you know, pretending that this guy's not totally, totally broke, that he does have income from time to time. Yes. He'll buy his own insurance, and then people like me won't be paying for him anymore because you know that it, everyone's well, going I, to be. I paying I think you're for missing the help. point. I was the point I was trying to make is. Lawyers have fucked mal, mal, like malpractice suits so many times that the, it's astronomical what they charge you for these hospitals to begin with. I think the government should step in and like regu- regulate the prices as well. You shouldn't have to pay fifty thousand dollars for a three night hospital stay. That's all he did. What about supply and demand? Supply and demand should and factor in healthcare. Obviously, if you have like a heart oh. attack, you go to the front of the list. If you have something life threatening, you go to the front of the list. Somebody with a common cold goes to the back. But if you drop all the regulations whatsoever as far as the uh, this whole thing, then the prices would drop anyway. If you look at surgical procedures which are not covered by any type of health insurance, things like breast augmentation, in the last 15 years, the price of that operation has plummeted. It's a fraction of what it once was. While you look at every single thing that's covered by an insurance company, it's the complete opposite. The price is double, triple. Like you, A fucking heart surgery is going to run like a quarter million dollars now. It's because of the interference with insurance companies. It's because there's not a free market system that can balance itself out with supply and demand. If, uh, if all of a sudden you stop, stop with this bullshit and people stop paying a quarter million dollars, they just drop the fucking price. It's not really fair to compare topical surgeries like breast augmentation to open heart surgery like kidney yeah, transplants. Uh, open heart surgery right, well, you they have com- to have. Compare it to, we'll compare it to fucking... Um, Something that is that, that's that's uh, covered by insurance, but is you know a, a more minor operation. You don't think like malpractice that suits the affects these prices any? Oh, absolutely. Th- th- there need to be tougher um, tougher restrictions on the uh, on those. Those are ridiculous. When the, when people sue and just crush them for hundreds of millions of dollars, it's insane. And I think have you ever tried to sue anybody for medical malpractice? No. I think the, I, I, I read I read an article the other day that an average doctor or surgeon makes around two hundred forty eight thousand dollars a year. He spends about one hundred eleven thousand dollars a year paying for insurance for malpractice suits of his personal income. Is yes, that he? accurate? That's like half. It's, it's yeah, literally half of his income. <laughs> That's why he charges so it. much. I believe it's a lot of money, but I don't think it's like fifty percent of his income. That, I, that's just what the article said. It was out, it was on um, MSN homepage. <laughs> <laughs> so straight from the source. <laughs> well, this is, this is average mediums. Obviously, every doctor is not the same, and every doctor has different malpractice suitcases and such. And different companies actually I- issue the insurance, but I can't really like speak up about any of this for you guys because ours is simple. Like I think ours has been the same for so long. Of if you know you pay taxes when you get a job and you know like when you when you start earning a certain amount of money you pay taxes you know you pay the higher tax rate when you earn more money you pay more tax and you still get the same health care let me ask you this syndicate do okay. you hate your health system no i have no reason to hate it whatsoever have you like ever, my syst- have you ever had to wait unreasonably long periods of time to get health care um myself no do you know anybody in your personal family that's had to wait unreasonable amounts of time? Nope. My sister broke her back. She needed to be operated on. She got operated on like straight straight away as soon as they could. What is same with my dad? My dad. Away well, like, well. Days? Here's another question for him. Uh, how many people do you know close to you who have died for lack of health care? Um, none. But like, <laughs> ah, there's, there's only what? Yeah, that's a good <laughs> point. But my, my grandma at the moment, she I, my got point, my point is proven. Neurons, why so. don't we go to the British healthcare? Can't do anything with that. That's why I don't understand why you're not doing that, though. Because I understand why we don't do it. Because pharmaceutical companies have all the money, and if you and insurance companies employ so many people, pharmaceutical companies are going to spend every dollar they in lacing pockets to try to stay relevant, while insurance companies are going to throw like you're going to ki- you're going to kill all these jobs for all these people. That's the way mm-hmm. that's working. And I don't like that. Like, the fact that just because 
X pharmaceutical company doesn't want to go out of business because of new government, like a new healthcare system, then it doesn't change, even though it may be better for like everybody. That does that that doesn't sit right with me. Hmm. I just wanted to prove the point. I've had a couple British guys tell me that they love their fucking healthcare system, and then I, all mine, of a sudden, honestly, when, when I come here and read on an American newspaper, they're they're acting like we're you know Nazis for even attempting to go on to it, and it pisses <laughs> me off. <laughs> People yeah, that's like true. It because they can't like I don't know. So maybe they might need you know like a heart transplant or something like that. But you know, th- not everyone's willing to give out a heart. You know, not there's not always a heart hand. You know, well, a hand ready mm-hmm. to give to them, is there? So you have to wait for these things, and then people get really pissed off that there's actually a waiting list. And I know that happens here to the too. families, but there is a waiting list. Not everyone's got a heart ready to give. You've got to be like lucky to receive one, and you, you know you might need a new kidney or something, and not everyone's got one to give you. People get really pissed off, and then they attack the healthcare system when that's not fair to do because I mean, they just simply don't have one to give you. Yeah, you, you know what I realized the other day that I don't know. I guess I'd never thought about it before, and I and I I base most of my knowledge on TV shows. Is that um, what, like if like if say your brother needed a uh needed a kidney you know in the movies and the tv they always had this thing where they like test you to see if you can donate it and they're like no you're not a match but that's bullshit because the way they do it now is you donate one of yours and they just they put him to the front of the list and give him one that that works like he doesn't actually really? get yours you just throw yours in the pile of kidneys and they give him one that works <laughs> i didn't know that are you sure yeah yeah, yeah, it seems like a better system no, no, because no, no, even no. if he doesn't, I've seen too many episodes of ER to fall for that bullshit. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it seems like a better system though. Even if your brother's not a match, Obviously. you can get a kidney that is a match. I mean, you know, I have to be right because it makes too much fucking sense for me to have come up with. <laughs> <laughs> like it's genius. It's like, yeah, that makes so much more sense than actually having to give it right to him. True that. Yeah, that works. It's that just that I thought the whole purpose of getting your brother to donate was that your brother was uniquely qualified to donate to you. No, it's I, that's usually blood type when it's when it's stuff like that. Just, you know, I think if you're O negative, is it as kid, simple as blood type? I think. I mean, I think, I think on some others. stuff it's more. Uh, yeah, on some stuff it's more specific. I know with like bone marrow, I think it's really. Yeah, different. you have to be like a blood relative or like some like. You have to have like a perfect genetic match to be able to give blood. Yeah, marrow. I think that's only like your mother and father, and maybe your brother or sister or something. Dude, I've watched so much House, I know all this. Shit. <laughs> yeah, right. We're all doctors. <laughs> I don't know. What? What is? It? You need a new topic. People are bored of. Moral of this story: Kyle MD. Mm-hmm. Fuck Kyle. I, 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 I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to look up Kyle. something right here. Yeah. I'm, this could be skepticism. Somebody sent me a message that Game Battles is bankrupt. Anybody heard about that? What? Hey, everybody. Like I said, this is... Oh, Peterson. no. Bye, boy. Oh, hey, shit. man, this is bullshit. You talk about my win-loss ratio. <laughs> Fuck this. I'm rage quitting. Fuck Kyle. Fuck PK. I'm done. Rage quit. Dude, Wait. Just rage quit at PK. <laughs> Who talked about your win-loss ratio? Oh, we did when you were gone. He, oh. No, Wings did. Wings did. I didn't say a word. No white boys just playing around. Nobody, everybody knows white boys' uh, loss ratio is horrible. Dude, <laughs> 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 loss ratio, man. Like, white I, boy I has a gold of... medal win loss ratio. <laughs> for um, dude, got clock. For Black Ops Two, I was thinking about rocking a like a white boy win loss ratio. Here's the deal. Like, I use a lot of crappy guns, and I play to win. It means that like in an hour long session, I might play what, six games, seven games, and half of them are with crap. And then I see, like, the best players on YouTube, with some exceptions, often using, like, ACRs and, like, really great guns. And I'm like, damn it, why am I wasting my time with the, you know, stupid shotgun or this or that? It's, uh... <laughs> um, it's... I, I was really thinking, thinking maybe I'll use better guns. Moab, Woody. Don't see no, a trip. Uh, Moab. Where I'm not being- Oh man, Woody's dead again. Can I attack again? Yeah, Woody's down again. Is everyone else okay? I'm, o- I'm okay. I'm here. Dude, mm. man, this sucks. I'm fantastic. You're right, Alex. <laughs> I've never called you that before, but there you go. Lol. <laughs> I, I prefer Waypoint. It's, it's, 
It's not that it's my YouTube persona, it's just a nickname that I had oh, growing up. I prefer, I, this might sound weird, but I prefer Syndicate because I've got four group of friends who I hang around with like every day, well, every day I would do. I got a and question for Tom. you, white boy. You put a video out recently called, um, it was a song, I forgot the title of the video. Did you actually it create doesn't... that? No, um, uh, Vanos Gaming made it uh, for me, and uh, yeah, it's pretty epic. Yeah, I had it stuck in my head like all day today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so catchy. yeah, man, that that catchphrase, I love it. I love it. It gets Where's people it every time. Uh, are you familiar with wrestling? Uh, WWE? Oh, I've never been into it. There's a character uh, called The Rock. Rock. Yeah, oh, the okay. Rock. I know who The Rock is. Don't, don't, you don't need to get into it. I know who The Rock is though. I'm gonna search yeah. it. The Rock. Yeah. yeah Dwayne Johnson. I watched him on Oh, there you go. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I was thinking if I ever, I don't know, maybe somehow I'll get into an interview with him. I'm like, what's your name? And he's going to answer, and I'm like, I don't want to call you the rock. Uh, what's your name? He answers, I'm like, it doesn't matter what your name is, and then he punches me. White, white boy, I think you could probably get that done at this point. You don't think so? His real name's Dwayne, by the way. Yeah, yeah Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, I think you could so, get that uh, done, white boy, if you just pulled some strings. <laughs> I mean, a yeah, million, a million viewers on... Think think about it. Look at this way. So he works with Machinima as well. Yeah, a co like, a, um, like a show like King of the Hill, on average, gets around 4 million views an airing. And that, that's based off rerun, syndication, and everything. You do more than 4 million views a month, easy. You don't think you can get Should some premise to get an interview with The Rock? Look at Toby Turner. He does, four, he looks, he does 4 million views some videos. Yeah. I got a motherfucking plaque coming. Yeah, I'm just saying, but like, yeah, that's just but, an example. But <laughs> didn't The Rock also play like a super protective babysitter in a movie? I think he's got that on him. That was oh, that was Vin Diesel. Wait, no, that's Vin Diesel. That was the, the, pacifier. the pacifier. Yeah, what? dude, that movie oh, it's was just, legit. It, I just I get my bad actors just kind of swirled together. Vin yeah, Diesel's but... <laughs> not a bad actor, dude. Vin Diesel? Dude. No, he's not a bad. Can actor. anyone confirm? I heard that he's gay. What? The Rock? Uh, no, Vin Diesel. I've heard Lexi's yeah, been still is gay. That's just people hating. No, he's gay. Let's is see he? No, I'm, I'm pretty gay. sure he actually is gay. Let's see this. It was like a behind the scenes. I don't. I'm not like knocking him or saying that he is. And there's nothing wrong with it. But like there was a thing of behind the scenes or something, and he he did seem really, really, really camp. But then again, that can't prove he is gay. But he the is one person that watched the behind the said he is gay. The one person that watched the pacifier extra scenes, it was like there was a little documentary. He's like, yeah, I'm gay, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Why, why would it matter if he's gay or not, dude? Oh, no, it doesn't really... I don't care. That's just, Even I, if he it, is I, gay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't dictate him as a person. He's still a badass. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I just think it, it's kind, it would kind of be inter interesting or more of a big story because of who he is. You know what would be interesting? Yeah. If he was actually gay and his boyfriend was Anderson Cooper. Oh. oh dude, wow. a Coop. Dude, that would be the power couple of a century. Yeah, it would. <laughs> Imagine yeah, it them would. together. Mm. You know, people, what if they, people are watching this. What if they went on the air together? Anderson Cooper is. Oh my god, <laughs> that, was, that would be great. I like that there were people who didn't know Anderson Cooper was gay. Yeah, how, are you living under a rock? Jesus yeah. Christ! <laughs> like when he announced that he was gay, I, I was like, "Wait, I, wasn't there someone on the news about this like five years ago? Like this isn't yeah. a thing yet, really?" It's it's <laughs> it's like what? And Richard Simmons too? My world is collapsing. <laughs> yeah, it's like so obvious. What well, a lot of people. I mean, if someone tells me Elton Diesel? John is gay, I'm gonna flip shit. I mean, it's just... <laughs> it, I, I can't Dude, he's a knight. You can't be a gay knight. Everyone knows that. Th that's a rule. Syndicate can back this up. They have to, like, burn him at the stake if they're a gay knight. Dude, Syndicate's but, a knight, too. You, you, can, you can confirm. Syndicate, so are you knighted? Uh, no, I'd love to be. That'd be cool. <laughs> Sir Syndicate. Can I get knighted? Can, can somebody else that's not British origins get knighted? You've got to do... No, um, no I don't think so. I think you've got to do something like crazy, crazy important to the El, UK. To El get John got sure, knighted. He didn't Connery. do crazy important. Yeah, Sean Connery's a knight as well. Yeah, I think uh, Bono's actually a knight. So for all we know, yeah, you can just like... parade around being an irritating loudmouth faggot for a while and you get one. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, shit. Snap. Wow. So Hold you're out. a you too fan, Oh, huh? my God. I hope, I hope Bono doesn't listen to this episode. <laughs> Jesus, guys. Little <settle> down. <laughs> I'd love to be Sir Jordy Jordan. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Do they have to call you sir when you're knight? Like, is yeah, it, no, is it's it like a doctor? It's like 
so that's where they call you. Yeah, so <laughs> like, you're proper is name, that like, sir? No, I feel like that's like after you become like after you become president, everyone has to refer to you as Mr. President. Sir, Mr. President. Hello, Mr. I want to see president. how many titles I can accrue. Doctor, sir, Pete. President, Doctor, Mister, Professor, what, what else can you get? Speaker. Esquire. Esquire. <laughs> <laughs> Does the plaque give you a title? Yep. Or is it, what yep, is it? It does. We get them. <laughs> You're on the list, white boy. I'm not even not even jelly. I didn't get put on it. I'm, I don't make it, man. You get there. They're you get, bad, you. Dude, I you hope. get a 24 carat plaque off YouTube. It's like that, real man? gold. Yeah, it's, it's real gold. Carat. There was a news oh, article boy. about it. I thought it'd just be fake, but apparently it's 24 carat. I'm gonna put it in a in a, like a, on a necklace. <laughs> like right. flavor flavor, be like white yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Just you know smash it out the glass. I don't really. give a shit. I got a fucking plaque around my neck, bitches. <laughs> Wait, is it? This yeah, is a plaque you put on your wall, song, not like something you're gonna neck. make into a plaque around my neck. Dude, that's so crazy. Plaque like plaque, plaque, plaque around my neck. What do you think about that? Though? Do you not think they try to bribe the YouTubers? Jumping in the swimming pool, hating on the motherfuckers. <laughs> like, okay. It seems like they try to stop people from complaining by going, hey, you've reached 100,000 subscribers, we're giving you something in return. Like, I get it, it's a really cool gesture, it is, but like, wouldn't you rather, these, instead of giving that money out, like, wouldn't you rather they actually fix YouTube? Here, here, like, the sub boxes and Here's stuff a video. Like. Oh, fucking plaque is cool. Uh, white, no, boy, white, white boy, white <laughs> boy. Video idea, white boy. You wear the plaque around in public areas and have, have people ask you questions about it. <laughs> okay. Like, hey, do you know White Boy 7th Street, the number one uh, source for Call of Duty videos on YouTube? Uh, what the fuck is that you're wearing around your neck? Do you know White Boy 7th Street, the number one source for Call of Duty videos around YouTube? <laughs> they can rub it and, and Syndicate, touch it. If you're, if you're against this in favor of them fixing YouTube, you should make a video about you refusing your plaque oh, and then don't hit me say, up on oh, Skype pretty cool. and then <laughs> get a send it like to me achieved, it? and I'll have one on my wall that says Syndicate <laughs> and then I'll have a long convoluted story of no relevance when people ask later in life. Yeah, actually, I, uh, I, I dueled Syndicate in an old Western-style duel and stole it from him. Oh, snap. <laughs> well, what's cool about the plaque, you can get your uh, your logo engraved in it. They gave you an option to upload a, a picture. So Which, yeah, that's, that's what Kyle was saying. What if you change your logo, though? Oh. Because I'd rather just have the plaque. <laughs> that locks you in. Be like, you better like your logo. Yeah. You know what's going to be fucked up? Like, if Kelly and Alex had, like, this fallout later on in life, and she, like, burns it or sells it at a pawn shop. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? These gold medal things? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Dude, what one the of best those so bad? Of pawn stars. <laughs> like, K-pop be like, I want to sell this piece of shit. I fucking hate him. <laughs> <laughs> you get it insured or something. This is a gold medal from the gold medal champion, White Boy 7th Street. And oh, then he's like, let me get my... It. Then the guy yeah, from hold on, I have like, a... Let me get I have my a buddy who's an about, expert in White yeah. Boy Seventh Street attire. <laughs> and then he pulls in White Boy. He's like, "I wouldn't give you shit for this." And then comes in like a like an eleven year old kid, like I looking at like care. the way the stuff is like, oh like, shit, printed on the on the on the shirt. And he's been like, "Yeah, this looks really nice, but I wouldn't say it's a legit White Boy. You got a really maybe really a rip off Thunder oh, Toro going White here." Boy's logo. He's like, yeah. <laughs> "Can do is fifty bucks, man." You know what I White forgot boy, to do? You guys been dating? Um, almost a year now. The the year anniversary is coming up in uh, at the end of August. Live streamed at eight. Wait, what are you gonna put a ring <laughs> on it? World wants to know. Wait, what's that? Uh, I don't. I'll put a plaque on it, maybe. <laughs> a gold medal on it. <laughs> like, hey Kelly, I got you a plaque. <laughs> um, I don't know. We're we're looking to actually uh, about getting a house now, which is exciting. You gonna move uh, it again? Like, you're gonna change the states or your same state? I I'm sorry I cannot. It's like roboting for everybody. I'm. Oh, can you hear me? Okay. I'm terribly sorry. I can't hear anything. Oh, so no one else is roboting for me. I, I, I know it's just him. People are such douchebags. You know uh, what I promised to do tonight? I haven't done yet. What's that? What? Eat a ghost chili pepper. Oh, oh are you serious? Dead oh serious. yeah, I was gonna call you out on that actually. I'm not Wait, like in a big fancy way, but what? I'm going to your live stream right now, Wings. I gotta go yeah, get really. him. You'll keep talking. Hard scope in that. Oh my god. I'm this so gonna be great. Did, did anyone else gonna watch eat a the ghost chili pepper? pepper. Are you gonna do it live for episode 100. Yeah. I've already shouted yeah. out your stream, by the way, Wings. Oh shit. Uh, no. <laughs> 
This is ridiculous. We just keep switching Skype hosts. So, I <laughs> I think that <laughs> I think that Wings' stream is up, right? Why did he just get up and walk away? Oh, I see. I see. You have to go into his feed. Yes. Here's what you do. Go to that time in the video, and then in the middle of the video, right-click and choose Copy Video URL at Current Time. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Tom likes me. <laughs> I want to set up the game with like a two minute time limit. <laughs> Is he back? I have him not back. Wings, you here? What do you say? What the? Go get ghost chillies come back with an AR-15? What the fuck? <laughs> that, that's in case shit goes wrong. <laughs> what are you gonna do with an AR-15? In case I gotta end it all. Shoot the pain away. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> in case this goes south, I'll do it on the live stream. That hot. Okay, he's like, guys, he's gonna be like, this hurts so bad, I bet it would hurt less if I didn't have a pinky toe anymore. And then, um, damn. This, oh my god, which one should I pick out? The biggest. No, wait, trick question, all of them. Uh, wait, before we do this, apparently the stream is silent on Wings' thing. I'm getting silent. tweets and messages. Oh, uh, maybe because I just called no, back he's Scott. Got, well, he's got audio, I'm watching it live. Okay, okay, false alarm. Hold up, oh. That looks like a bag of something else. There it goes. That yeah, be not it. <laughs> Don't even eat it, smoke it, see what happens. Oh, <laughs> these I, are I got a question, I got a question. Is there any way we can set up one of those chip-in things, and for every $100, Wings eats another one? Oh, hmm. uh, uh, wings, wings, wings! Before you go any further, no I'll, one can I'll hear link us. my no PayPal. What do you say? No one can hear us since the call dropped. You've got to adjust your call again. Oh, I, I, I knocked it back up. That's why. How many do you have, Wings? I have nine here. Nine. Right, so I how about a hundred dollars per one? No, he's gonna eat the first one for free. But after that, for every hundred dollars we raise for Wings, he eats another. How about that? <laughs> I like that wings. idea. Wings, do you want to put your PayPal out there so they can send money to it? Yeah, it, um, should I say it out loud? I don't <laughs> see why not. It's yeah, uh, dside82 at hotmail.com. D-E-C-I-D-E-82 at hotmail.com. Here, tweet it out and we'll all retweet. <laughs> I'm having a good... Does anyone have any funny links to be able to send to people to like, insult them? Like I, I'm joking sweating way. just looking at this thing because my nose are burning from sticking it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Show the stream how big they are. Uh, okay. I, I didn't see him. Yeah, can you hold them up to the camera longer? <sighs> That's right. I want to see him how big. How they much are. money? How much money to poke one into your eyeball? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we raising this money? Wait, no, 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 they're no, sending no, it to Winx's PayPal. Down, I will give you a hundred dollars if you grind a, th a third, a fourth, a quarter of it down and sniff it. Oh my god! <laughs> Snort <laughs> it like. Yeah. It's not ground the car. How about, how about, how about this? He tears the tip of it off that's, and he cramps like it up a, his nose. I'll eat this whole thing without milk for 500 bucks. Just eat it without milk, wimp. Yeah, don't be a <laughs> bitch, Wings. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ready? Y'all ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, wait, God. did, he, did, wait, did wait, you wait, tweet no out milk, your PayPal? No yeah, no, no, tweet out the PayPal. Wait, you actually. <laughs> 
I'll give him the thirteen thirty-seven dollars. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> no, this going to be like good. the fastest thousand dollars ever made. No, this, Dude, ain't, got, this ain't going to be. Have, this might be my. Uh, this might be my retirement for my funeral for the casket and all. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wings of, in loving memory, wings of redemption. Fuck ghost chili peppers. That's got to be your wings. Make sure you do a, a, a tally of how much you get sent so far. So what's his PayPal address? I, I tweeted yeah, it no. out. Oh, I'm retweeting. Then you I didn't. I didn't get it yet. All right. So so what's the deal? What's the deal? At every he's hundred bucks, he's gonna eat he's... one for free, and thereafter he eats another one for every hundred bucks. Right, wings? <laughs> yep. How much does he get in your nose or your eye or your ear? <laughs> wings, I got I got my next paycheck if you shove one up your butt. I'm not <laughs> shoving anything on my butt because it's got to come out the butt <laughs> at, anyway. Sound reasoning. White boy, what happened? Not... Happen? I mean, dude, there's some serious YouTube money in this phone call. Like, it, it, <laughs> if Wings White boy move, will give you his plaque. If no. Wings is like <laughs> put under my eye for one thousand three hundred thirty-seven dollars, I can totally see Syndicate being like, "Done, make it happen." <laughs> <laughs> I got that. I got that in my pocket. I raise you. Thirteen thirty-seven. Okay. I'm gonna eat this one right here without milk, and I'm gonna suffer through yet? it. Wait, what I if we eat the whole food. pack? What, what you if say? we chip in together if you eat the whole pack at once, all of them at once? I don't, I don't think you can, like, physically do that. Yeah. You, you can, can try. one way to find out. <laughs> Have a little bit of faith in your stomach, man. I don't even know what <laughs> this tastes like yet. Now, I, I'm not, that's why I don't want to... Let's just do, like let's it, get, it, let's it, get it, the first one out of the like, way before we start like chipping pain. money in. No, yeah. you'll eat that first one and you won't even touch it. You won't even they touch taste it. Like, they taste like the devil's, like, oh, God. All right. See, like, the whole point is it's going to be so phenomenally unpleasant for you that you're going to have no <laughs> option other than to continue to eat them once the money starts rolling in. All right, here it goes. I say this. One sec, a big shout-out to Trout, you legend. Fucking hell. That was funny. <laughs> Go on. Shout-out to Trout? <laughs> yeah, we're having a bit of, like, a link war between each other. Yeah, on your mark, get set, shoe cool. nice. Get it going. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing it? Mm-hmm. Oh. Do it, Craigit. Say you got You got to it up. I can't. You haven't put it in yet on the. Oh, there you oh go. he just put it Trust. in. <laughs> oh. He looks calm so far. Yeah. It's the calm. I'm waiting for the storm. sweat this time. Is his forehead a little shiny? Well, yeah. yeah. Well, let me ask you. Yeah. Do you think it he'll happened. continue this well like he did in the first three seconds of the challenge. You think he's gonna maintain? He's done it. Um. So good. Yeah, I think so. Oh, no. It's, it's about to oh, go down. No. <laughs> here, oh, here it goes. It's oh, my God. <laughs> He's got the hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You're not allowed to drink. You're not allowed to drink. <laughs> <laughs> the hiccups are rolling in. Oh. Burping or hiccuping or something. <laughs> this is a meme. Oh, my oh God. shit! <laughs> yeah. This is a meme. There's two thousand five hundred people on your subscribe. <laughs> 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 oh my God! Wing, oh. you gain like a couple thousand subscribers from this, oh. and like twelve thousand dollars. Oh! <laughs> right, eat the next one. All right, what's the money up to? Check it. Take the money. You got work to do. The next one. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, oh, all right. We oh gotta send God. some money. We gotta send some money, dude. I, I can, I can put gonna, twenty bucks in. I, I, I'm, I'm sending. Yeah, I, I'm in too. We gotta get this man eating some more of that shit. Oh, he's <laughs> fucking banging his head against the wall. Oh my <laughs> God. Shut us. Oh I feel like <laughs> would be an act of cruelty. What is no, he doing? Like, he's, oh. he's struggling to maintain. He's lost control. I'm behind. I just saw him bang his head on the wall. I'm gonna refresh the stream. Uh, he's just put his head down for me. Yeah, me too. Oh yeah. my god, my jaw is like on fire. <laughs> I, I'm not lying. He's not ghost pepper. Right here. Is your jaw <laughs> on nine hundred dollars in like ten minutes? Fire. <laughs> <laughs> because it's about to be. Oh my god. <laughs> next one. He's like massaging wings. his lymph nodes. Next one, wings. Next one. Go, 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 go. I see it. Wait, we need to see one. how much money's been sent in. All right, I just send uh, $133.70. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, <is> uh, <laughs> this is fucking good right now. I, I fucking love this. Plaque. You deserve a plaque for this. 
Rock boy just sleep handily got wings and a pepper to eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I told you it happened. All the All right, if he eats another one, if he eats another one, I'll send in the other play. 70. <laughs> <laughs> this is too good, man. I'm not sure sending him money is nice to him at this point. It seems like a mean thing to do. Yeah, that's like Woody tipping a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> just Your pain is only worth 70 bucks to me. Wings, you just peon. throw it down. Just throw it down the hatch. It's going to be fine. Oh, he's falling off the chair. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, no. All right, hang Wait, on a minute, guys. Let's Hang on. Wait, what if he's really something wrong with him? Yeah, I know. This, uh, this is like... Eat more! Eat more! <laughs> Does someone have so his address to call 911? We can't kill him on Wink. We can't kill him oh. on PKA. Oh shit, he's down. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what happened? Talk oh, to he's us. He's back. Oh, he's back. Oh. Wait, we, I want the play by play. <laughs> yeah, we've got to describe oh. what's going on. We thought we lost good. you for a second. <sighs> it's <laughs> over 9,000! I can't talk, I'm lightheaded. <laughs> Alright, Wings, we got, oh, you, we got your money in there for another one. It's time to do the next one, man. We got the money in there. Money oh back. God, this is a heartless bunch, man. None of us, none of them are like, "Are you okay, Wings?" All of them are like, "Do another one, faggot!" <laughs> All right, man. Time for the next pepper. Do it again. But do Wings, again. are you okay? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> then do another one, faggot. Oh God! Oh God! Oh, Somebody make a gif of that. Somebody make a gif of that. This <laughs> 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 my Tarzan. <laughs> you just, of wings, that. wings, you just went full Tarzan. You never go full Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking funny. Oh my god, this is. Woody, you Man, were worried about this wings, not being the best PKA be, ever? You need another one. I wish I had it on my channel too. Either way, Wings is put on a show. Ooh. He'd have all the views right now. Dude. Ooh, I feel like I'm having a baby. Like a... <laughs> <laughs> you go eat the oh. next one. Show us the packet of actual peppers. How wings? How much was that to buy? It was given to me. Shit! If you guys are giving a hundred bucks a pepper, I'll do it. <laughs> I want that milk so bad it hurts. I'm fighting it. Uh, Dude, you need to eat another pepper. We got another hundred bucks in there. There's already enough money in there. You got your second hundred. Wait, wait. Check and see how much you've made from actual donors. How can we see? Can someone give me the link? It's his PayPal. Yeah, it I don't think we can. Oh, just his yeah. channel address. Oh, he went for the milk. That's okay, I'll forgive uh, Yeah, no, no. There's no judgment from here. Dude, I love that he's got milk, like, on his mustache. Or, like, <laughs> <laughs> you drank that milk with total abandon, with this reckless abandon. He's, he's, How about you ready to put the milk on your head? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see this on camera, but my hand's got, like, slight tremors in it. Put that shit up on camera. How much to cut a finger off? <laughs> <laughs> Sharpie and Pooper. Uh, how about this one? How much to shoot a gun in your room? <laughs> how much to re at your TV? <laughs> Wait, no, how much do we need Why to give you to sniff Wing, it? Uh, Wings, like, Wings need to get involved in this conversation. Oh, We're throwing yeah. money out for random yeah, things. Really? And I need to know the prices. <laughs> <laughs> Let me set up my YouTube live stream. We'll get this going. Yeah, really? <laughs> I wish I had some... I have an ice cream in front of me. What will you pay for that? <laughs> What are you gonna Fresh, do with it? We could be child. like Woody for every thousand dollars. How much would you give Woody if I sent him a couple like of these ghost lemonade. peppers? I do it. I wouldn't be such a person about it. You need to get a camera on oh. all of us and simultaneously. A push. Do it. <laughs> I last like five minutes without anything. Dude, you're a better all right, man. man. Than it's time for that right. second pepper. Dude, what you need to do is just eat them quickly, happen, so then you have one like period of really. Whoa! Awesome. whoa. Pepper's gotta have. My hundred thirty-three dollars is out there, man. It's yeah, no, I haven't told y'all to the first one down before you donate. He sent you $133.70. It's a leet amount of money. Yep. Come on, Wings. Just do it. Oh, Just yeah. do I'm it. I'm not even going to do the first one yet. Do it, Fraggot. It it's done tomorrow. Tomorrow you'll be like, you know what? The pepper pain is gone and the money's still here. Oh, Are you kidding me? This time tomorrow, his asshole's going to be on fire. Yeah. Shut up, you. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, Rocky? More, 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 more. More, more, Peer pressure is a good thing. <laughs> I would never encourage someone to eat more unless, of course, they were getting paid gratuitously for the experience. So you should go for it. Just you know how many people have eaten these peppers and not been paid? Look at the position you're in. This is rare. 
What is wrong with his ears? Why is he doing that? <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> He's fighting away with the peer pressure. Is this how he, he, like, combats peer pressure? He sticks his fingers in his ears and takes his <laughs> ears he's a big He's a big proponent of the Just Say my No campaign. <laughs> Man, I wish I had my video. Am I broadcasting right now? Can somebody check? Yes. Because if I'm broadcasting, I'm going to look for the dog collar. Oh. Oh. Yes. <sighs> oh. That was funny as hell. I'll give you, like, 20 bucks to do my intro. Wait, you are broadcasting. Full. Full right, yes, sir. All right, well, I'm going to send my wife on a scavenger hunt. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, screw me. God, I wish three, two, I had something one, really one, gross two, to do. Five, six, eight. Wings, Wings, my friend that has done this says you should wait about ten minutes between peppers. That way that the first one won't, like, compound with the fir the second one. No, you got to get them both out of the way, because yeah. then his, his mouth has got to heal, then it's going <laughs> to get hot again. It's yeah, white gotta... boy's got the strategy down, I agree. No, don't worry. I'm going to ask for addresses. I got eight more of these motherfuckers. Y'all can do one. <laughs> We're trying to do it. you to do them. calling us out to do the challenge. Dude, I'll do it. I am I'm calling you guys out. If someone sends me a bag of 10,000 ghost peppers and says... This is going to become a thing, walk, though. <laughs> there will be an empty bag there the next morning. <laughs> Taylor, I say you wrong. <laughs> you don't hey, know what wrong. this yeah, is like, you, dude. You know you what I would do? I would, I would bring a tube of Orogel with me. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Remember how Homer, Homer Simpson did that one time? He, like, coated yeah. his mouth with wax. wax. Yeah, Circa, circle, that, that'll be the second time you use Orogel to last for hours. I know. <laughs> the first time on my mouth, though. Oh, really? It, it affects your breathing. It does. It literally, like, you could feel it all the way down your esophagus. Like, I'm talking right now. It's <clears> making <throat> it worse. It's like moving. All right, I got to know, Wix. Wings. So we there's a lot of people in this car right now, and we have pretty decent incomes. And we're just wondering if there is a menu of bad things that you'll do to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> now, now let's say I'm sitting down at a nice restaurant. You know, there's there's like five different kinds of steak. One of them's thirty, one's forty, one's sixty. Then there's that hundred dollar steak. And I'm just wanting you to lay it out there. Like, what can we have you do for certain amounts of money? Uh, <laughs> you got, I don't know. I'm kind of lightheaded right now. I'm not thinking real clear. Yeah, he's not in the right state no, of mind think, talking think, about this. What about, something, what about well, something random, like like throwing a glass of milk on your head? <laughs> no, no, fight, fight chickens in your living room. Fight chickens in your living room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that how Wait, about... Hold on, let how me was, jump for a second. Guys, my stream's going up and down, and my audio is a wreck, so I think it's a good idea to listen to the audio just on Wings' channel. But... Um, because in, in my chat, it's just echo, echo, echo. I get that my audio is terrible. Whew. You're over on wings. But I've got a dog collar in my hands for the video. I don't hey, know if that's interesting. I gotta, yeah, I gotta say I this. Both. At one point there, when I was putting my fingers in my ears, it was to keep myself from blacking out. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you know, technique? Wings, you make sure one of us knows your address so we can call 911 if you actually do go south. Woody and Kyle both have my phone number, and they know where I live. Okay. Which, if you pass out, that would be so profitable. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> what if he Wait. passed out, but he's still in the chair and was just out drooling on himself? <laughs> 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 and got the show going. Wait, take, I have piece, a... take that piece of video, upload it separately, you'll get a million views on it. I can't. I there can't. Yes. Yeah. Whew. Wings, I have someone that says they'll give you $300 if you run and, like, bull rush through the door that goes to your room. How much? If you smash the door down. Three hundred dollars. All right. I do it for if you. All right. All right. Look here. I'll do that for. Um, <laughs> He's bargaining. I want a really nice tonneau cover for my truck. <laughs> Five and a half foot bed. Dude, you hit up Jack, the guy that was doing the uh, the wings memes during that one episode of PK. He was like three hundred bucks for him to run through that door. How much to drink to the pee? The stipulation oh, is that you have, to break, you have to break through the door. Drink yeah, you gotta like. I do that for a thousand. And it, yeah. can't, and it can't be your. <laughs> See, this is what I'm looking for. I need prices. <laughs> how about, oh, how about oh, we Jack. get like three, three chickens in your room with you? You close the door. <laughs> <laughs> Feed right. the chickens the ghost peppers. I did my end of the bargain. I said I'd eat a ghost chili pepper on PK100. I know, and now we're buying things from you. <laughs> <laughs> you have piqued our interest, good sir. How much does your PayPal have? It's two hundred two dollars and fourteen life. cents. You fed oh, so two that's... peppers worth. Yeah, half that's white boy. 
Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I just think Wide Boy should decide what you do next. Yeah, I'm not eating another one. Right. Like, I almost blacked out. Those All right, well, you got to do horrible. something else then. Can you, you dolphin almost. The, can you dolphin Dude, you make a big deal out of that. Wow. You make a big deal about yeah, passing I'm, out? There's nobody in the house. Up on my chair. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's nobody here. I've been choked out before. It's not that bad. Can we get a dolphin dive somehow, I somewhere, to do something? Kind of <laughs> yeah, no, Wiggs, you dolphin dive. Kind of choking. Thing. Dolphin dive into a tub full of ghost peppers. No, uh, that's still a under- serious thing. I mean, we got you 200 bucks, so what, what, what can we get out of you for that 200 bucks? I'll use that 200 bucks to do a giveaway. Oh God! Give away extra money came from, so you might as well send it back. Full <laughs> give away, no, give away one of the ghost peppers. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I'm going to do for that 200 bucks is I'm going to personally send everybody in this call a ghost pepper, and they better eat it on their channel. Hell yeah! No, I'm totally down. Do it! I'm a bitch when it comes to <laughs> spicy food, but I'll do it. I don't give a shit. I'll find a way to cheat. How is that going <laughs> to cost 200 dollars? You guys are losing the point. <laughs> That's no, the most they expensive get more, pepper ever. The fact is, well, I mean, I didn't donate enjoyment. anything, so in some, I'm up one ghost pepper, so I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah. You guys want to try like, But I've always wanted to try one, too. Like, Will you shoot your gun off in your room? No. Into the floor, man. What do I? It, dude, <laughs> bullets ricochet. How much funny? No, dude, it's going to go straight to the floor. Yeah. Like, no, 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 bullets ricochet. I have thousands of dollars of equipment in here. No. It'll go right through the floor. Yeah, but don't worry. You've already smashed a TV. Just break another. Shoot. Fire <laughs> shoot. We <laughs> won't you at that, shoot a bullet. White boy, were you at my house that time I shot through the floor? Yeah. We didn't have any ricochets, did we? I just shot through my fucking floor. Know. Yeah. Hey, well, I wait, said, wait, wait, pop, wait, motherfucker, and I shot through the, the door. door. <laughs> wait, wait. Let Wings shoot through the door that he's going to run through, you know? Only destroy yeah. one. No, I shoot. Th- no, oh, Wings. That bullet's going to go out the other side of the door as well. They're ruining the surprise. I have full metal jacket rounds in this gun. It's going to go through the house. They got the full metal jacket rounds. I don't have anything. Are you insane? Shoot the door a few times to weaken it, and then dolphin dive through it. You got some wolf in there? Yeah, I got wolf. Order a, order a pizza and have him come back into this room and have him greet you as you hold that weapon. I bought a I bought a whole bag Ooh. of Wolf FMJ five five six for like a hundred bucks and it's like a thousand rounds. That's that's not bad at all. That's like a third normal price. You should get your forty five out. Just shoot that through the floor. That's gonna stop. My forty five is in my truck. Hey, we can wait. If you're gonna be I don't shooting, think I have if my gun gun seven hundred here. He's already in danger of blacking out. We don't need him to like leave the webcam so we don't know what the fuck's going on. Like he it's never part of comes back. I'm good. I'm good <laughs> now. Yeah, really, it's gone. Do another one then. No. <laughs> man, glad I didn't send my money. I'd have been disappointed. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, I feel like I don't got my money's worth. There's nope. 130 bucks out there. You want to bag What are you gonna do? How are you gonna make it right? How am I, how am I gonna I make it right? I, I can just send everybody their money that. back. That's a, that's that's a, that's a thing I can offer. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, man. You for your money? White boy has let you off easy. Of All you need is like a, um, I don't know, a dolphin dive or something. Yeah, can you set a something door. up? Put a put a card table out there and dolphin dive that shit. Right, I'll Give yourself a paper cut on the dive corner of your tomorrow. mouth. Oh. oh no, you sick bastard! I no, think it that. might be time for Woody to get the dog collar out. Woody stream hat has been and is still up. Um, it just like has bad audio. I got the dog collar out, and the battery seems to be dead. If you guys want to do something interesting, what you do is you open two windows. One's Woody, one's Wings. And they're that's what they I'm doing. Up. Yeah. Woody's on my... Out. As a matter of fact, here's what I'm going to do. I challenge you, Woody's gamer tag. Mm-hmm. Oh, snap. I'm going to send you ghost peppers overnight. And me and you are both going to eat one next PKA. And we're going to see if we go the <laughs> longest without milk. Just Probably don't need to, to send it overnight, then. What? <laughs> I was under the impression I'm, that all of us would be receiving ghost peppers. Yes. But see, Tom um, won't, won't get his in time for next week because he's in another country. I could buy some. I could buy some for next time. That's true. They do sell them outside. I, I want to try it. I do not like peppers at all. I don't eat standard ones, you know, like in curries or well, anything let, like that. Let, I just let do me not tell you this. Peppers. There's a place here called Carolina Wings and Rib House, and I'm on the fucking wall for eating their insanity wings. 
and that wings eat, wings. isn't even a factor of what I just ate. Mm. I beat so the blazing again. challenge yeah. at Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> what do we have to do to get you to eat another one? Though? I'd kill like, Buffalo like, Wild Wings. I wanted to, to crush one up and then like just sniff it because I'm sure like, that'd have a crazy effect on you. You know? Yeah, you would look die. Here. I got. No. I got the same. I think I got the same dog collar you did. That thing hurts. I have the world's fuck. I got. I got. I got that fucking hot sauce still here, which is like over a million BTU. Will you drink a whole bottle of Worcestershire sauce? <laughs> no. Is that how you say that word? Worcestershire. 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 Oh, no, that's British, isn't it? That. Worcestershire sauce. Like, see, like... You can go with Worcestershire. Like, I can do this shit care. right here all day, you know, just... I think what we should do right now is Wing should muscle down one more of those, yep. chase it with a bit of Franks, and yep. then Woody can go grab a couple <laughs> double A's from upstairs, yep. throw them in the dog collar, <laughs> yep. make this a party. Yep. <laughs> How, hey, how, come Kyle, how come Kyle and all these other guys are not doing something? What the fuck? Hey, I, I, I dolphin dove over a car and almost died. How, I, I put in my dues. I no, put in I'm my dues. If it was possible, I'd be doing it already. This is the, if you can see my stream, this is the type of battery it requires. It's something, it's like a big fat watch Wait, battery. You guys have Walmarts everywhere. It's What's Walgreens, going out, go and get a new battery. Because <laughs> we all three don't live in areas where Walmart is like literally a mile away. Dude, what? Walgreens what? is literally like three blocks away from me. I oh, could I run up. Yeah. I don't know. Would they have it? Uh, Walgreens might not have watch batteries, but they have every other type of battery. But they might have watch batteries. Call them and ask them. Call them right here and ask them. Yeah, yeah Adam of the PK. And get a rape kit going as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you don't have that. <laughs> well, do you have any watch batteries? <laughs> black gloves, lube, and duct tape? <laughs> that was amazing. That that oh was. Oh my really god! Deep. We can we got to do that again, please. It was so. There are funny. people in my day to day life who don't really who don't know any of you who talk about the rape squad killers. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my two buddies were talking about getting motorcycles the other day, and I jokingly said we would all get like matching patches on motor motorcycle jackets. <laughs> One of them goes, "Yeah, we'll be the rape squad killers." <laughs> oh my god! I wasn't even on that PKA. And on every video I make now, because they think I'm the tailor, I get uh, tons uh, of people going, yeah, Rape Squad, for a while. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck, guys? I don't want this top comment on my video. I don't even know what this means. Some sort of weird cult. Oh, yeah, that was great. That was so much fun. Wow, I think I'd fuck it up, though, if I, if I came on and I was like, oh, yeah, can I get this? Just a random British guy. <laughs> That would uh, the challenge is like you ask for something subtle, right? Like latex gloves and pantyhose, yeah. and put them to put it together, and then some yeah. guy just runs forward at a million miles an hour. Yeah, yeah they're like, like oh, caskets? Can I get a casket? Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to call him out specifically, but yeah, that, he, he's one of the guys on my mind. If anybody wants to chip in, the rape squad killers need a conversion van. You it just says got free candy. In, God damn it. <laughs> We're going to need a lot more ghost chili for that to happen, Wings. Yeah. Vans aren't that expensive. You can get one about two or $3,000. Again, that's a lot of ghost chilies. Yeah, it is. <laughs> My audio is getting messed up. It keeps resetting. How about you cut yourself? <laughs> I, wonder what, I wonder what people... Oh, Jesus. I wonder if cops would stop you if you had a van that was white and had, like, free candy written on the side of it. Yes, <laughs> they would. <laughs> you think? Uh, and then yes. you just have boxes of boxes of like crunch bars in the back. Be like, what? what what's <laughs> and then like a bunch of calendars with little children running through meadows hey, and shit. Like really. I, I got a question. Can anybody like rip that off clothes. the stream for me so I can actually upload it later on? Rip what? Me eating a ghost chili. Just just use um just use the uh, the standard YouTube downloader thing. Oh. I can't use that anymore. They're trying to put the kibosh on that. Why is that? They're trying. Not I used it earlier today. It's it's still good. Yeah, it wasn't working for me the other day. What was this for? But it worked. It eventually worked, but it was weird. What was it? Oh my keep god! It. Keep oh, it. keep it. Why don't, why don't you use um? If you get Google Chrome, there's actually an da uh, extension download you can get. So it's right below like where you like and favorite the video. Just sit, click download and it downloads it in like yeah. whatever setting you want, and it's perfect it's quality. It. It's an actual Google program thing. I'm, I might have to do that. That sounds slack. Why is you two trying to put the guy Bosch on KeepVid? Um, so because it's a, yeah, I they're like, no, 
you can't, you know, you can't download our stuff because you have to give us all the traffic. Hmm, They're getting yeah. mad. It's it's kind of like why um, broadcasting companies were getting up in arms about people like videotaping live stuff and like you know like on VHS back in like when VHS was a thing. If that makes sense. So basically, copyright the right rules going VH. through the roof. Yeah. There's also uh, there's a guy. I want to see you eat some more shit. <laughs> you eat some more shit. I think we all do. Is there anyone in this? Call is it that entertaining, Kyle? Oh, it was awesome. Yes, it dude. is. I'm I'm sitting here with a girl, and like we were both like just, whoa! I'm gonna be great. visibly angry if you don't eat something else. Uh, yes, there's got to be. I, I, let's segue to another topic. <laughs> What Speaking about Batman? Eating, have you seen Wings with a Chili Pepper? Yeah, see, we're segued. Now, we want you to do another one. No. No. Was it that terrible? Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Kyle, turn on your le- le- webcam and eat something. If You have, you probably have a bunch of I ne- exotic no. foods. I need right, I need at least a week so what? I can forget about it. I'm I'm not like Homer Simpson. So I don't masked. grab the barbed wire and like, oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! What about the bottle of Worcestershire sauce? That can't be that bad. I don't got none. I know you got it. You don't have Worcestershire? I don't like fish. <laughs> Worcestershire? No, you ever put it on french fries? No. I, I'm fat. It's the I best. can't eat carbohydrates. You use it for, like, steak seasoning, but I don't, like, use it as a condiment. Oh, yeah, dude. You pour that shit right on french fries, like the golden crinkles that you make yourself. It soaks them up, and they turn black. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's a sign you're using too much, actually. So no, that's, that's you how you know you've used enough. Dude, it's they like a, soak it's like up the Worcestershire sauce and then you then you slurp them fucking down. I'm a I'm a French fry connoisseur. Trust me on that. That's not nasty as shit. That's do you gross. do that like chilies and shit? Ugh, dude, it's good stuff. You got horseradish. Horseradish is good now. I don't like oh. horseradish. No, not a fan. Wasabi. Wasabi. Oh, do you have any wasabi I wings? No, I don't. But I well, wasabi, wasabi is. You, mean, no you don't have any wasabi laying around. Oh, I do. <laughs> I ain't shoe nice. Don't you get you it? You get shoe nice and do some of this stuff for you. What about uh, you have duct tape laying around? Yes. Oh God. How much yeah, like my duct tape bags? is currently how occupied? How, how much like duct tape your beard? Like get in there good. And <laughs> oh, <go>. No. No. <laughs> how about we not we stop giving wings money and start giving somebody else money? <laughs> I think everybody here wants How to... How much to shave your eyebrows off wings? <laughs> how much you willing to pay? Oh, dude. <laughs> you guys like <laughs> enough of the money. Wait, wait, wait. How much? <laughs> how much you willing to pay? Well, you got my 100 <laughs> already. Yeah, that's you got one plus 130. That's a half an eyebrow. <laughs> yeah, no, that's <laughs> one eyebrow. That's one eyebrow. I'd rather shave all my eyebrows than just half of one. Okay, no, I'd keep the one, dude. You would, too. You'd keep your lucky eyebrow. No, uh, I, you're right. I'll, I would I'll pitch you in at 13.37. Like what White Boy did if you shaved both your eyebrows off. Yes. Both of wings. That would give you three hundred and forty dollars. That still ain't enough for my tano cover. And well, how much is your ta- how much is a tano cover? Yeah, let's name a price here. Well the tano cover <laughs> I want is about four hundred and ten dollars. So you're telling me that we're only about a hundred and thirty dollars away from getting you to shave your eyebrows off right now. Maybe. Please do it. Is that it. what you're, that what you're saying? Because you've got 200 bucks right now. You need 200 more. No, I'm, not shaving, I'm, I'm not shaving my eyebrows off. No. Oh, hey, you bitch. Oh, think oh, of oh, oh, man. So, so think of this investment. Woody, I'll send you white boys $130 if you shave yours off. Dude, oh. I'm so handsome. It's a really huge loss for me. <laughs> How much for one of you Have you actually seen eyebrows? the pictures of people with their eyebrows, like, photoshopped off? That shit's creepy, man. Taylor, right, so, Taylor, you're not helping this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> so, look, I had this video idea for Woody, but he seemed to completely kibosh it, so I think it's okay to, like, give out the secret now. I was, since everybody's always telling me his hairline, I was like, what if every day you make a, vi- a vlog and you shave your hairline back a little more? So, like, no. Who's getting turning it off and on? So, have you ever gone to in the okay. bathroom? Like, you ever gone to, like, the bathroom at a gas station or stuff and it was so dirty you just peed in the sink? No. 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 I've been on the floor a few times. <laughs> See, that's what a lot of people go to. Ha- All right, let me ask you this question. Now, why was I was just heavy if you peed in the floor instead because it was so dirty? But wait, wait. No. Why would you why pee would you somewhere else? I'm talking about t- like I can understand Dude. taking a poop bad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
I've never encountered an object in my life that was too dirty to pee on. I Let me tell you a story. No, the other day. Go pee on dirt. No, the other day I went into a bathroom and the person huh? who had previously been in there had literally shit on the walls. <laughs> I've seen that before, unfortunately. Oh, oh, I've, I've. I've, I've told you guys about the poop bandit, right? At my <laughs> high school, I told you guys about no. that. No. no. Have I not told the the story of the poop bandit? Really? That's, that's okay. So there was this this really strange kid that was in my grade, <laughs> and uh, what he would do, and this sounds so like so much bullshit, but he took pictures and sent them to me and a buddy of mine because we were like, that's bullshit. You don't do that. And uh, he was like, no, no, I get dressed up in a full tuxedo and then go into school really early. Then I take a shit into a napkin and then write obscenities all over the bathroom wall. Oh and my so there were God. multiple times where it would be like an insane asylum where I would walk into a bathroom early in the morning and it would say like, fuck cunt bastard in fecal matter on the wall of the bathroom. And one time, because oh the, the guy God. was like, he was a nice enough dude to me. And so, like, I was walking, about to go into the, one of the bathrooms that people didn't use too much, and then he came out and kind of crossed my path early in the morning, and I was like, hey, what's up, man? And he goes, hey, uh, you know, you might not want to go in there right now. I'm like, why? <laughs> and he goes, oh, well, let's just say a uh, certain bandit struck again, and then he just went out to his car and did more drugs, and so then the janitors had to come and clean it up. That's just weird. The, weir the yeah, weirdest experience I've ever, I've ever had with, like, shit that sort of thing is um i went and get on my school bus like when i was back at high school I used to get on a bus to get there every day and uh, we went upstairs and someone had literally shit in the hands and smeared it across like think of a double decker bus they're pretty big they'd smeared <laughs> shit from the front window all the way to the back and it was just like Aww. and then took a shit on the actual seat at the back think what? how much shit that must have been yeah just smear it on every single window and you, and you know they what have me? taco bell in the uk no <laughs> You know what puzzles me about that whole, like, poop bandit thing is, like, I couldn't get into the bathroom to even take a piss without someone walking in on me. How the hell did this dude summon a shit into, like, a paper towel and then manage the articulacy and the, the you know, the dexterity to write in his own feces on the wall? It, it's mind -boggling. Why would he do this? Did he, did he like the attention? He, he was a mystery. Nobody knew who he was aside from a few people. Like, I don't know why he did it, man. Like I said, he was weird. He was, he was a strange bird. Really nice dude to me, but just kind of strange. That's too funny. Fucking ridiculous. So the, the other weird thing I had is the guy actually got expelled from school from it. Um, he thought he was like a you know like a badass. He thought he was dead funny, and um, he took a shit in the head teacher's cup, like in the you know the, his mug, his drinking mug, and he Fuck took up. a shit in it, and then he came out, and then uh, the teacher went in and went went in and like looked at the cup and just had a shit, and he saw him walk out of the room though, so he caught him like straight away. And he, imagine that, try to get into a new school. Why did you get expelled? A shit. I took a poo <laughs> in the teacher's cup. I had a... Why? Uh, I, I think it was the year before I got to my high school. So, um, oh. Sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Um, but yeah, like the year before I got there, I had heard someone that told, like a friend of a friend heard about a special needs kid that um, just took a giant steaming crap in oh front gosh. of the front office. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Dude, that's not that uncommon. Why, why, how did we get some fucking <laughs> shit? Because I was talking about dirty bathrooms and if you guys had ever peed in a sink. Because I make a regular... <laughs> that's my thing. Uh, you like, know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with dirty. You are a I'm shit. I'm in your sink. Dude, it doesn't even have to be dirty. It just has to be all urinals are occupied and, and I'm a little yeah. drunk. I went, I went, I went to Charleston recently. Is, <laughs> think about <laughs> it for a second. The sink is a much more natural thing to pee into than a urinal. The urinal, you got to like aim down. The sink, I can lay my dick right on the sink. Go to work. It holds it for me. Both hands are free now. I can, Wait, I, you know. Okay, okay. Wash you, your face you with this big right? lunatic. I'm not gonna put my penis on the counter. <laughs> you better not, cause mine's been there before. Well, I mean, you know, there, if there, you, the there's an art to shitting in public, though. The art's the kangaroos. Kangaroos are are great because they're usually clean, and they're single personal bathrooms. What's a kangaroo? So it's a convenience it's the, store shitting. Yeah. No, no, he's not talking about, like, actual kangaroos from down under taking a shit. <laughs> I know the marsupial look kind. Look at that photo. Look at that photo. This is the worst it's conversation without eyebrows. that I've ever been involved in. That's a, that's a link of uh, wings without eyebrows. Okay, because I, I was going to say, are you linking me pictures of shit, Syndicate? No, <laughs> I've just retweeted. Dude, wings, oh. you look alright without eyebrows. Oh, my God. Yeah. I think Dude, it works for you. I look like a fucking cancer patient. 
<laughs> it's, it's a patient with a ravishing beard and mustache. Yeah, you and been, a been, brand been, new been, truck cover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is this, dude. Like, I think I, my theory is that eyebrow hair grows at the same rate that other hair does. So how long does it really take to get a centimeter of eyebrow back? Like a month? Three weeks? Less than that. If you see my I, facial month, hair, I shaved it two weeks ago. Month, my, hair seems to, my hair seems to grow like a <laughs> inch in a month. I think my eyebrow would be fully normal in two weeks. And in, in this mystery land, I would have a new truck cover. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like where you're going with this. That. Yeah. I lost, I, I lost yeah. the eyebrow for a little well, bit. Are you trying to back down talk of this, this challenge I issued you earlier? That, what, the, the ghost pepper thing? Yeah. Dude, you got paid to eat peppers. Oh. I work for money. That's... That's what incites me to do work. What do you got? I, I think I can outlast you with the milk. I, I don't work for manlyhood. I work for money. <laughs> what you got, Wings? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to say, I do the dog collar again before I do the pepper, and I'm willing to do it again just to... Free, yeah. I, I, I wanted to do the dog collar tonight just to make the show epic. I wanted Painkiller Ready 100 to be the best one ever. And, I'll uh, do both of those things at the same time. <laughs> uh, if somebody hey, buy right me a right dog collar, I'd do both at the same time. They're saying that my video is lagging, so I'm going to try taking off YouTube 720 yeah. and see if maybe that helps somehow. I don't know. But, uh, uh, yeah, Wings, man. I, you want me to do this thing? Let's do it. Oh, oh, is Loomis on the call yet? Yeah. I'm here. Yes. Yes, he is. All right. So we got PKA Dan on the call. I don't know. Do you guys remember him, the legend? I don't. I'm sorry. Oh, I remember. I'm, I'm evidently, I'm not that legendary. <laughs> <laughs> He's the pussy tamer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, right now, my smoking high girlfriend is on her way over here to listen in. Hell no yeah. talk about pussy taming, about this little <laughs> sport I've got. <laughs> That's the whole point of bringing you on. <laughs> Please. I'm begging everybody. Well, yeah. then get all of it out of the way before she gets here. I'm, I'm, I'm just yeah. fair warning. I'm gonna bring it up. So, dude, here's the deal. <laughs> here's the deal. I'm so, not even bullshitting you. It's coming up. Uh, <laughs> can, we, can we talk about shit instead, please? <laughs> Dan was on the show like a year ago, and um, he had like the worst divorce ever. Like his wife was on Facebook talking to other guys. Like that was it, just chatting. But uh, in the end, he decided that if she, you know, her heart wasn't in it. That uh, you know that, that he was out, and then he started pulling tail on a legendary basis. He, he would have like five girls in one week. He, uh, he and, and, and he became a uh, a sight expert, like an eHarmony. Um, Dan, what else is there out there? Am I still on the net? Plenty of fish. There's plenty, plenty of fish. Yeah, there's match. There's eHarmony. So it's and okay, Q for this one, right? Come on, come on, Dan. Say you say you do Christian right. Mingle, please. Uh -huh. Dude, there are, some, there are some repressed bitches over on Christian Mingle, I'll tell you what. I'm not sure who right. has the kind of girl that Dan's looking for. No, no I'm no, writing no, that no, down, no. actually. Christian, Christian churches are where you want to find the freaks. Straight up mouthful oh. of dick suckers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, did you say a mouthful of dick, comma, suckers, or a mouthful of dick suckers? Mouthful of dick suckers. <laughs> Do they take the cum or do they dodge it? No, they, they, oh. there's no do cum dodging in the Catholic Church. No, you read, read Leviticus. There is no dodging whatsoever. You're not going to use a condom in the Catholic because Church. Because someone tried to dodge. There's pleasure no. dodging, but no cum dodging. What do, they call, what do they call that when like a Catholic woman has to have sex at certain periods? The rhythm oh, method. Rhythm method, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about like the like the Red Wings of Courage. If you, you know, go down That's on them when they're wings. off the back. You, you got to get your blood wings. Oh, blood I thought wings. it was called your... Don't call it blood wings. Jesus. Like, blood your red wings, wings, right? Yeah, the red wings of courage is what I've understood. Not that I've ever done it, because that would Every, be horrible. You know, I've, I've, never heard, I've never heard the of courage before. That's more encouraging. Yeah. I, are you guys talking about having sex with a woman while she's on her period? Yes. No. I'm do it. Uh, Actually, go down and eating a girl while she's on her period. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, that's ridiculous. Why would you yeah. not do that? I mean, it doesn't take bravery to do it when they're on the period. Okay, it's it's Everybody when the river runs. Red wings being sex while she's on her period. No, That's it's not. 
monkey mode, right? That's not what it is. That's what? Pearl sex. That's what earning your red wings is. Don't don't oh. uh, get cheap. When, the, when the river runs red, go mudding. Yeah, it's like oh. saying you're the, the Mile High Club because you had sex on a greyhound. It's cheating. <laughs> so you're telling me that like intercourse doesn't count. You have to go down on the... Yes, the sir. Computer. Yes, sir. And... And the girl like, the whole point nodding, of the that's freaking me out right now. Wait, he's, he's like, nodding. oh, yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> Have you participated in something like that? Me? I, I tell you what. Wow. I don't like, I don't like I going down there. That's how he lost his eyebrows, Kyle. Either. No, I'm talking to the girl next to me. Wow, I cannot believe. Oh, really? So the girl next to you has your blood wings and you don't. Time to step your game up. <laughs> <laughs> that's messed up, sweetie. Uh-huh. I can't look at you the same. Well, look, you we're going to go back to like there are positions for that. <laughs> yeah, if you're doing it right, you don't have to look. Dan, Dan. You don't sleep on the couch tonight. Yeah, man. So what's an update on your social life here. So you're no longer dating five people at once. No, no, that was that. Look, that's not sustainable, brother. And um, <laughs> just to bring everybody up to speed. And by the way, I haven't seen you, Woody, since our trip to to the DR, that surfing thing we did. It was a fantastic I've been time. Schedule. A uh, a hooky day, like will you guys all ditch work and we go to the movie? We should see like Batman or something. Prometheus, I don't care. Let's sneak into the movies with beer again. <laughs> How old are you people? <laughs> <laughs> Too old. When you say movies, do you mean like an eight millimeter like flicking show, like World War Two style? Like where are you going to see these movies? <laughs> Dude, let's go see the new Charlie Chaplin flick over at the uh, the cinema house. Yeah, <laughs> stay, man. You. you you can't stay young forever, but you can always be immature. Like I, we, we we did that back when I worked at Cisco a couple times, actually, maybe two or three. We just like ditch work at two p.m. and get beer and sneak into the movie theater and do our thing, like for right. a matinee. That's okay. I call do. bullshit, Woody. It wasn't beer. It was some raspberry Mike's hard lemonade. <laughs> it was. <Be> <laughs> yeah, no, no, Woody, you're sneaking in like O'Doul's. What are you trying to pull over <laughs> one with? No, no, it's woodpeckers. Do you guys know what that is? No. No. Oh. It's not regular beer, but it's it, it looks like beer, and it comes in a beer-like glass, and it bubbles like beer, but it tastes like a apple cider version of beer. It's much better. Woody, but, you were at my house about, I think, three or four years ago for New Year's Eve, and you didn't even drink then. You're like the, the biggest teetotaler that I know. I've gotten, <laughs> Woody, I've gotten Woody drunk once. Oh, once was it the I, hard yeah. lemonade stuff? Yeah. Uh, was no, that when we were on that mixing- stream? No, he was mixing four loco. Um, he was drinking four loco. Oh, in Vermont, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you were drinking yeah. that four loco with uh, with five hour energy drink mixed in. Uh, I was. Because I was going to oh say, like, that's what you I, need <laughs> with a four <laughs> loco. <laughs> a little bit. You know how you get like one or two drinks, and if you wanted to behave, you could. Um, that's where I was. You know, but I would have acted stupid anyway. For what Kyle's talking about, like it's been a while. I'm like, my face is numb. Like, I forgot <laughs> he does that. Oh. I'm, like, touching Oh, good, my... it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the so, question. How much money are we willing to pay if I get drunk? You've got $200. Start drinking. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Like large sum of It's just the, I, it's the worst PK ever. They're, they're just like bouncing back and forth. Like when I'm yo, down, I wanna, they go to you. When you're down, they go I'm to me. I'm gonna stream. I think I'm gonna stream the call. No, what I want to know is how no, this no is gonna video, work with a recording stream. later on. Because like usually, Woody, your um, videos auto public here, and like it's just gonna be weird. Oh shit! Yeah, it won't. <laughs> it, it won't. It won't be perfect. But it is what it is. Maybe next week will be an awesome show. I mean, it's not like you can control this. I think it's been a great show as far as content. It's just these oh, yeah. rat bastards won't. <laughs> we'll try to do another. Alone. I can't even get anything to come back. Alone. Like I'm you're back, wings. Yeah, I'm you're back. back I can see you now. I'm back. Yeah. yeah. yeah that was come so back. Bad. All right, wings. How about this? You eat the I'm pepper. I'm trying to see myself, and it's not showing me back. Wait, wings. I, I'm not sure this is really you on the camera. Take a big pull of that rum, and let me make sure this is you. You talking about this? <laughs> this isn't rum. This is uh, this is Crown Royal. I can't see it. Oh, well then, Wait, back for me. have some. All right, how about this? You shave half your eyebrow off into the Crown War Royal, oh, cr- uh, crush up a pepper, put it in there, and you're fucking shit on shoe nice. 
Wings is drinking some sort of like madman concoction. Damn it, I can't get his stream to come up. Wings is drinking like a Skyrim <laughs> he's elixir up for me. right now. Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> I, think it, I think he's down for British people because he's people is in the chat saying they can't see it from the UK. An elixir of courage. Yeah. They're Wait, telling Wings, me in my chat that Wings is still down. I can't see it. Yeah, Wings, put it as your featured tab on YouTube. You can make it straight away whenever you stream. I can't get it to stream, period, for me. <laughs> Dude, I'm watching you right now. I'm not, though. The fuck? Half the people aren't. Yeah. Wait, who who can't see Wings right now on the I call? I cannot. Kyle. Wait, apparently now that you guy uh, from the UK Kyle can cannot. see. I, I can see him. I can. It I'll just refresh just... again. An error occurred. Please yep, try again later. <laughs> Guys, can I just congratulate you on PKA? Because PKA is like a proper thing within the community. Like no matter what, it's been around for so long. You're like you've had Hutch on, you've had people like that. It's been such a big thing for so long. It's like it's, it's one of the biggest, the probably the biggest podcast if you was to ask me. So I tip my hat to you, American folk. It's a pretty <laughs> big deal. And to get to 100 episodes, that's crazy. That's two years. It's crazy, it, man. 100 episodes is a big deal. Oh, by the way, I, I can see in my chat that it says fixed audio. It's fixed now, so. Um, yeah, mine should be I, up now too. Hopefully. Yeah, but um, yeah, a hundred episodes. Like I'm kind of proud to have made it to a hundred episodes. Like, Never be beat. It's a lot. Hey, so my my girlfriend just walked in. So we talked. Remember we talked about before? Yes. About, not we, talked about you, we talked about your ass. IRA and all the money. Yeah, <laughs> ChristianSingles.com. What was that website we were talking about? <laughs> I've got a question. Dano, yo. This this is kind of a tricky thing to bring up, but does your wife still think the alimony is about to end this fall? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Let's don't bring that up, please. Bad topic. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is ending this fall. There's no question about it. There's no controversy. It's ending. I have to tell you guys about this in private. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, show. oh show. All yeah. right. All right, quick question, shooting okay. it out there. How's the love life, Dan? How's the love life? It's fantastic. So I got my smoking hot girlfriend sitting right next to me here. Picture, um, I don't yep. believe you. I don't believe yeah. yeah, you. Yeah, picture, get the fuck out. Can you not see the Skype chat? I can On see my stream, chat. how do I share yes, video? Over to it. My wife just handed Dan. me the greatest drink I've ever seen. Dan, There's you are literally streaming video. A pastel. Um, umbrella sticking out of it. What is that? Oh, I'll hold it higher. Um, is that like a virgin daiquiri, Woody? Is it a margarita? I think? That's not a margarita. That's oh, like, like a, a virgin daiquiri kind of plus... I mean, it that looks pretty good to me. Oh. Yeah, that dude, looks this like a shaved good. ice... That's like a lemonade flavor shaved ice with an umbrella in it. You talking shit on shaved ice, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm what? telling you, this is how to drink. Yeah, I swear, all these guys drink these horrible, horrible things and think that like it makes them manly. It doesn't. Oh no, act alcohol tastes bad. Food. I don't drink. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not, you don't drink it for the taste, man. Nobody drinks it for the taste. <laughs> you drink it for the lack of memories. Yes. <laughs> oh, the best drinks are the fruity drinks, hands down. Yep. The gayer, the better. <laughs> Apple teenies all the way. My boy Seventh Street, the gay the better. We were in LA the other day and I ordered a drink and I told the waitress I was like, bring me the fruitiest, most homosexual drink that you can. I want what Elton John would have. I remember somebody uh, was in Myrtle Beach one time and he had a fucking pink drink with a butterfly coming out of it. Wait, yeah. Elton John so, is gay? What did what did she <laughs> bring you, Kyle? Just a Sheep. cup of semen? <laughs> she brought me, no, she brought me. Let me tell you what it tasted like it, and looked like. It looked like she took a, a glass, filled it three quarters up with vodka, filled it the rest of the way up with like orange juice, and then put a bunch of strawberry seeds and, and fruit on top. That's yeah, like that a, was the worst I mean, that, drink. That sounds yeah. Pretty good. White boy tasted it. It was Talk terrible. About, I got like, like four a, seeds in my mouth. I did the actually. Yeah. I did the uh, the Woody thing. I tipped her a penny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get any kind of service there. It was like an no, hour. That, that, that was horrible. was a bitch. Yeah, it was terrible. Not only was she terrible, and she was, like, beyond terrible. Like, she'd mess up your order two or three times in a row. And your attitude, like, you had the audacity to have any problem with her messing up your order. Instead of, like, the apology that you normally get from a waitress, she's like, like, I'm going to remember your hamburger. And uh, <laughs> I think they encouraged white boy to do, like, the penny tip. That was <laughs> my you busted? 
It felt kind of cool, tipping a penny. <laughs> but I did run out. I ran out. I didn't want her to look at me like, a penny? I ran out. <laughs> white boy, for things like that, you got to get your own pennies like made up where it's just a white boy penny. <laughs> you should have just dined and dashed. You should have oh, gave, gave her something her. like a foreign currency was, that's worth yeah. less than a penny. I was staying in that fucking hotel. We were not dining and dashing. And they had my credit card, which they almost lost like two times. Yeah, that was horrible. That was bad. Where were you? What were you just doing? That we just staying out? Oh, you at an event? It was at E3. Ah, oh, damn it! I wanted to go. I'm pretty pissed Where's about Codex P not happening this year. I really wanted to go. We're gonna make our own Codex P. That's oh, what we do. shit. Kind of to go. happening this year? No. Just, no. just no pulling the name out of a hat here. Let's have it in, like, St. Louis, Missouri. No, let's have it in Europe. No, dude. Let's go to <laughs> Atlanta, <laughs> Georgia. <clears throat> no, no, man. Like, no. We keep going to these crappy places. Like, not, not, I don't want to say anybody's place is crappy, but they're not, whoa, like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I want to go to, like, the Caribbean or Nicaragua. Or, okay. Um, yeah, let's just ship how... a bunch of COD fanboys to Nicaragua and no, see No, we're not bringing them. What, Woody no, and no. Kyle, how many peppers do I have to eat for you to take me to the Caribbean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand. We can go to the Dominican Republic again. I don't care. Oh, I love it's the Dominican awesome. Republic. It's awesome. As long as you stay yeah. in the white section. Let's, you want to go to Canada <laughs> hang out with after meal time? There's no white section in the Dominican Republic that I've ever seen. Dude, yeah, we're it's, there. It's, it's the hotel. hotel. It's the hotel. <laughs> That's about it. The big mafia is like shaking down the surfboard rental people there. And, uh, you know, like, the last day we're returning our boards, and they're like, no, nah, you're getting to us instead. <laughs> like, what else does it get a shot? Not only that, we were we were surfing, and I think the militia stormed the beach like it was Normandy or something with machine guns <laughs> and, like, confiscated all of the boards. It was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Dominican Republic trips are awesome. You're making Those it. Guys, it does making not sound cake. appealing at all to me. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it is appealing. It's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm fat. It, I can't surf. What else is there to do? Uh, you can go to little exactly. shops, and they have a bunch of pipes that look like penises, and they're really phallically oriented in their consumer art, apparently, because <laughs> everything looks like a cock. And uh, also, you can run into a really sketchy guy named Tobias who will try and sell you a half pound of the, you know, just grossest looking weed you've ever seen. Is there you know? any <laughs> four-wheel drive trucks or guns on this Dominican Republic island? Uh, American guns? Doesn't matter. It's like well, there are plenty of guns. They're just all pointed at you. Yeah, yeah. there's guns. Dude, every convenience store has a guy with a shotgun out in front of it. This is like the personal security. Oh, that'd be like I'm right back home in Atlanta. If you <laughs> want to do, like, someone in my chat just had a great idea. If you want to do like the DR light, like the safe version of it, we could go to the Puerto Rico. <laughs> Dominican Republic light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Why, why, why don't we just go all out and just go straight to the Gaza Strip? Why are we bullshitting? Yeah, really. You want to go? You want to go Dominican Republic heavy? You go to Syria. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna steer clear of Syria for the next couple of years, <laughs> just to be Dude, safe. You know, I was planning Literally. my Christmas vacation in Syria, but yeah, fucking my Syrian <laughs> tradition is ruined. Every Dude, year they I fucked up my entire spring break. Those scumbags. <laughs> it, it sounds crazy, but it's not. We could go to Beirut. Like it's a nice place. <laughs> How much of these trips cost? Let's go to like, let's go to like Bangladesh. Drop yeah, like fuck it. Let's just go to North Korea and be kings. The whole just point is to go some place you, you don't like go or hear about all the time. How about and some place that like, hey, I know. Why don't we go to Canada and not get kidnapped? Exactly. Well, we'll all be making fucking YouTube videos. One million dollars. Or pay us to come to Canada. <laughs> Click the chip in box. <laughs> how, how about we go let's, eat no, an no, epic meal? Uh, let's go to Mexico and we can have like a thousand dollars donated and wings will take on the cartel or just like something like that. <laughs> <laughs> we can just go so down for and every thousand dollars, yeah. wings will take on a mafia member in one on one fisticuffs combat. A thousand dollars donated and the cartel will release wings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how Another thousand dollars, we capture them and make them eat a ghost pepper. Yeah. You know, we we went to Canada and it was pretty cool. We we had a fan meet up. There was like 200 people that came to the mall. Canada was pretty awesome. I'm down for Canada. Yeah, or I want to go to like Canada's nice, but it doesn't have green water and white beaches. I don't care green about that. I, I live at the beach every green day water. of the week. It sucks. It's sand and water. Yeah, the beach gets old. The I live beach by the beach old for quick. life. What, a, what about <laughs> backpacking? Somewhere? Let's go backpacking in Europe. 
Yep. I have a cousin Every... who's backpacking in Europe. She's in Italy right now. Come and see me. Wait, doesn't make me as much of a backpacker. Let's canoe I, I don't across have very the much Atlantic Ocean. I don't, don't have very much Pacific. constitution when it comes to walking long miles. No, there's no back. I don't think there's actual like backpacking up a mountain involved in going, you know, to Europe. It's like from city to city, to city to city to city. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You just have one backpack, I imagine. Can we kill a hooker? Yep. <laughs> I'm Somebody sure in Amsterdam. In Amsterdam, we can. Japan is expensive, man. Japan is crazy expensive, and like, like I'm willing to go to some place cool and, and spend a buck, but Japan, it was like thirty dollars for scrambled eggs in the morning. It, I mean, it's crazy. Expensive. Yeah. Oh, like, every day it was like. Were you eating know, at the hotel or something? in food. Uh, yeah, some of it was at the hotel. And um, but like everything you wanted was just stupid. It was like, oh, I didn't pack any uh, like a brush for my hair. Seventeen dollars, really? Son of a bitch! Like this is crazy expensive. I guess my hair's not gonna get brushed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So just to establish, no more challenges tonight, wings. Nothing. Just to establish, gonna... I am still feeling the effects of the ghost pepper. <laughs> we don't want just, excuses. We want at solutions. Least, at least give yeah, no white boy his hundred and thirty dollars worth and and drink Wings. some or get goofy. Wings, you just trolled us into making you hunteds. <laughs> yeah, man. Hunteds. You took some of you too much. <laughs> How much to punch a hole in the wall? In the wall? Or at least at least the yeah, door. Yeah. The door is cheap to fix. No. How about your Xbox controller? Like hold your Xbox controller by the cord and just smash it into the wall. <laughs> yeah, I've like, already punched a hole through the door flail. though. Wait, wait, well, okay. Oh, I, I got then just finish the job, Wings. Rip the door I off. Idea. I got an idea. For the 137 bucks or 133 bucks, you won V1 Syndicate. No. Winner takes all. I think I've earned 130 bucks by eating that, that ghost chili pepper. Oh, you said that you were doing oh, that for free. Don't try and bullshit me. No, no, no. You guys said I was Don't doing it for free. Don't try and bullshit me. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's you go back and it. check the tapes. Wings said I'm pretty sure the first one for free. And Wings, then this, is cum dodger. this is cum dodger behavior right now. This is now. cum dodgery. <laughs> <laughs> Come dodgery. <laughs> hey, am I still here? You guys able to oh, hear me? There you go. Oh, yeah. Is, is F150forum.com yeah. went down yet? Oh, God. You're just giving free ads, man. Yeah, really? <laughs> now you're just giving them views. <laughs> those guys get like a $12 CPM on those ads. You're raking it in for them. You know, I'm going to start, I'm gonna start a website and Don't. then block wings. You go block wings? Yeah, so I get you the hate on my website and I get all the views. <laughs> hey, so I got a question for you guys. Okay. So, again, I'm dating this this girl here, and I don't know if what your experience is as far as, you know, you're trying to figure out sexually where you can go. Zero to none. Zero to none, right okay. Right to the golden shower. <laughs> oh, <But God. laughs> and it's one of those things where you try to feel it out, and, you know, she she keeps bringing up this topic time and time again, and I'm thinking... Maybe that's the go. Maybe that's my green light to do whatever she's talking about. But it's she's talking about something called furries. Motherfucker, oh, oh, no. you don't want to mess with that. You're joking. I don't want to mess with that. Motherfucker, is up. Get what out is a now. Furry? Have you guys heard of such a thing? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. go hog, go Elaborate. Hog wild, I say. Get out while you can. <laughs> no, uh, guess what? No, guess what? Even if no, they're wearing no, a no, I he seems to be into the furry thing. Oh, I, oh, I was, oh. <laughs> Wait a second. Dan kept talking about, you know, um, what is it? Dressing up as fog yes. Foghorn Leghorn. Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> well, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, that is the biggest, biggest chicken wing I ever seen. <laughs> so I just kind of went with it. I did a little research, and I'm like, okay, well, gosh, I really like this guy. If that's what he's into, then maybe that's where we need to go. <laughs> So well, this isn't I mean, real. I don't I, know what it is. This is not real. There is no We're way not this is talking real. about having him dress up as Foghorn Leghorn. Uh, you know what? I was thinking Tweety Bird for me. <laughs> no, no, you got to complete it with the the stuttering Porky Pig. Well, well, well that, that that's all, folks. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. Was, there's lots of room for squealing I, I, I jokes should, in there. <laughs> you know the Moby video with the the whole the whole um, furry thing. No, nobody knows. No, that. everyone here is like 22 or something. I don't think Okay, so well, okay, so there's a Moby video with the whole furry thing. Y'all need to go there. Anyway, yeah. um, Dan seemed to really enjoy it, though. <laughs> yeah, and look at this guy. He's got thumbs up. <gasps> Excellent. <laughs> so, anyway. But white boy, your your picture is like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do got a, I got a, I got, the, I got a beaver. I got a uh, Teletubby over here. 
What else? I got a turkey. Dude, put the Teletubby on the web. <laughs> Dude, which one is it? Uh, the purple one. I had to go to the purple one. Tinky Winky? Tinky Winky. <laughs> Tinky Winky. Isn't that the one they and considered it, gay? Dude, his they name is Tinky Winky. Gay. Bullshit. <laughs> and then she brings up a hot Carl, which I had I had to yeah. Google that. Oh, oh uh, you don't want a hot Carl I, now. Oh, no, what? For the hot Carl. Ex- and then he well, you it. explain what these things yeah, are. Yeah, no, you got a go. Cleveland steamer after that, right? The fuck Dude, is up? Alabama Bill hot pocket? Cosby sweater up the in fuck here. Is up? How about a zombie? You want to do a zombie owner? You know, what, these what's, in a, the UK. what's a zombie? Gonna eat, a zombie is where, where you take your nuts and you slap it right in the eyes <laughs> while you fuck what? your face. No, that's Jesus, not even that's a name. Called... That's just... That's like a bat... That, that or, sounds uh, like you could, if you want to... Hey, if you guys want to rape your Hey, if you guys... Hold right. on, if you guys want to be safe, you can do a glass bottom boat no, wait, instead stop. of a hot Carl. Glass bottom boat. You know I am. I don't think she cares. I don't think they no. care. <laughs> Back to the original topic when Dan came, you can do a uh, an Alaskan chili dog. No, what? I don't even want to know. What? Don't make me look yeah, good. Uh, to... Don't, no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because, like, the whole, what was it, with the testicles in the face. Did someone just say glass bottom boat? What the hell is that? Yeah, it's where you good. lay under a coffee table and somebody shits on the glass above you. <laughs> 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 spam a drink. <laughs> it's safer than a hot Carl where it's just straight poop to mouth, which Kyle and I have a good deal of experience with from that video on Motherless. My yeah. God. Oh, the gobbler? Never again. The gobbler. <laughs> yeah, the gobbler. That was the worst game ever. Oh, yeah, I remember that video. I haven't favorited. <laughs> Isn't there saran wrap or something involved with the hot Carl, or is it just straight poop to mouth? Oh, no, son. This is street rules on the hot Carl. Hey, the <laughs> next time we're all together and we play the motherless game, we need to film it. What's that? How about next time we don't use my computer <laughs> for all of them? <laughs> so the motherless drinking game is basically this. Uh, everybody pours a shot in front of them. you got two judges and a computer. And the players watch the most disgusting videos on the Internet of like people eating poop and stuff. And if you react, you have to take a shot. Oh, God. And here's the other part of the game where afterward, when someone reacts, they get called out and they go, no, no, I didn't do it. And it was like, come on, stop being a douche. Just take the shot. And like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. And then it's a huge debacle of a bunch of assholes not taking their drinks. Kyle. But so what kind of videos are we talking about here? I mean, is it just to your the point? The poop gobbler. Poop gobbler. Uh, Kyle, poop can, you, can you send him a just link to that. one of those? It's really hard to find that video because we tried to find it later on. It's basically a woman pooping into a man's mouth and him eating it voraciously. You know, you know, you don't worry about it. I'm gonna find that for you. He kind of ate it like Epic Meal Time eats like the sandwiches. Yes, you know, he, imagine he went at it. eating a sandwich, <laughs> but it's poop. Jesus! <laughs> oh God! Muscles and this lady, come after you now, Kyle. I don't know what this lady eats, but she's had so much poop. I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my God! It was, it was really like, my poop. It was like a bowl of poop. Like if you imagine like a You're big taking those soup fiber bowl. supplements and shit, huh? And I don't mean oh, like oh. like even with the rim. I mean a heaping bowl of poop. Almost like it a was big raw bowl of ice cream. And it yeah, it was like the consistency of soft serve ice cream oh, that you like no. ice cream machines. It just kept coming. And he's just like oh 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 like um, fucking Pac um, Man. Uh. <laughs> it was uh I gagged a little because it was kind of liquid too. Oh, it was bad. Oh, I'm gagging again. It, oh, like it was, oh, Jesus. Do you remember? Oh. oh Wait, how much Chicago poop? Wait, someone's <laughs> watching it right now? 50 grand. 50? He's like, that's I it? Oh, hey, fucking anything in this call. Sorry. Mute him up. I think I've muted him up. Skype. 50 grand gets that done. 50 grand for you to eat shit? Yep. No, he has to gobble shit. Gobble. Oh, of course. I, I probably couldn't gobble. I'd probably vomit halfway through the first turd. Oh, <laughs> you don't get paid. So. You get it all down. <laughs> Dude, Origel is your friend, Wings. Hey, what was the Alabama Hot Pocket? Someone mentioned that, too. I, I had to Google you, that one. It's going to be $50,000 tax-free. I don't know what it is. I just make words up. Like I just name like a state. <laughs> okay, like a okay random... hold on. I, I know An Alabama Hot Pocket is when you poop into... The vaginal canal, and then have sex with it afterward. See, that's yeah. where you start getting urinary tract infections. That's not. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. That's where she starts getting urinary tract infections. Dude, that's actually, on, it's that's on you know, YouTube. Well. Yeah, that's, you know, you're getting I, poop up in there. I'm wearing a condom. Trust you me. You guys know about what about the Alaskan <laughs> rubber? Alaskan, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, Alaskan chili dogs where you shit on the man's dick. No, 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 no. That's where you. That's where you poop in a toilet, then freeze it, and then use it as a dildo. 
So yeah, Jesus. Life in Pipeline. What did you just join back? This is horrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These I joined back. Things. We were talking about Kyle's urinary tract infection. How is that, man? Are you better? <laughs> oh, I have never had a urinary tract infection. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I have Talking either. about taxes. Yes. Jesus. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Like even the topics get horrible. Dude, what kind of fucked up is that sex position is that, Marco? Kyle, did you give that get that video? Uh, yeah, I'm clicking it right now. It just loaded <laughs> and pressing play. Oh, it starts off the thumbnail. Is she, all right, first of all, this video starts out well. She's hot. She's been over. Go she's to 50 like, seconds. Go to 50 seconds in. I, I mean, oh, right, oh now she's you sending stuff. him videos Wait, privately. Yeah, link it. Yeah, what is wrong with you? Oh, sorry. Oh, Didn't mean to. You got to watch it all at the same time me. so we have the same reaction. Yeah, wait, my stomach is already upset watching. from the ghost pepper. I will not oh be watching this video. Oh my god, that was not good. <laughs> it, and this, this is like um, nothing compared to the videos we were watching. What from the, the fuck is that thumbnail? What is that? Just press play, man. Don't don't go press, play. go press play and go to 45 seconds in. But You're gonna love it. It's pretty erotic, well put together. The script is <laughs> great. Oh like no. Java? Oh wait, there we go. I think I see nice. where where this is headed. Oh my yep. God! The thumbnail yep. syndicate. Why? Oh, you warned me. Why didn't oh, I listen? Oh, here it comes. Oh! <laughs> oh, my, oh wait. <laughs> forty-five seconds. That's what? where I'm aiming for. Yeah, forty-five oh, seconds. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. Is this? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God! Oh, 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 oh. oh geez, syndicate would be so drunk right now. <laughs> I bet that she ate. Ten boxes of fiber well, one bars dude. before this. Uh, this oh, like a, oh no! I see it. Here it comes. Oh, no. it's not hardcore. You get to a minute fifty, boys. <laughs> no. Oh, oh God. Oh, it's like soft serve. Someone shout cast it. Uh, oh, thank you. Oh, all right, all right. Okay. So I am at one. I am at two minutes and five seconds. I'm she has say. double handfuls. No, no, of no, don't. No, 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 no. Go back. All right, all right. Let me start. Let me start from the beginning and just shout cast this okay, for you guys. Yeah. We're on start oh, at forty on, seconds. Just, just go to oh, two minutes. No, she's picked up. She's picked up. All right, we're we're at two minutes and eight seconds no. right now. She's <laughs> proceeding to smear the feces all over her body, covering <laughs> both nipples and her entire chest. She's shoveling a good deal of it into her mouth right now. So I'm getting on the tongue. Can you turn your webcam on? She seems <laughs> to be enjoying it. She's got like oh, Indian kind of spider stripes of feces on the side of her face. She has a really unattractive tattoo. Probably a drunk mistake late at night. Look at how much is on her neck right now. Jesus. She has Wait, a she's shit good beard. Mouth. She's got. She's got some five o'clock shadow of feces on her face. Oh no! Oh my god! She, her entire chest is covered in shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can send it again. Oh my send god! Again. Turn on your turn on how, your webcam. My question is, how much, much is money do you need to pay to do this? Oh, oh, that's that's drug, right. my friend. Wait, she's got two minutes thirty. She's got two full body skin in shit. She is literally drawing designs in her... Oh, no! You know, oh, you know they always God. talk about how, how like, yeah. what is it like for a father to see his daughter in a porn? She's wiping it on the glass! <laughs> go, to, go to three minutes what, what and seven seconds in. What would you do if you see your daughter she, doing this shit on Motherless? Hold on. Hold on. Three minutes and seven seconds in, you see her drawing a heart into the smear of shit she put on the bathroom oh, wall. I was oh. trying. I can't watch that shit. I don't know if you guys could see me on Skype. I was, I was, about, to, I was about to throw up. I picked it up where I left. Oh my god. I can't, I got it. Oh. Oh. I picked myself oh. some sort of expensive Japanese treatment. Should we give the people the link? Why is people she spearing it on the... It doesn't look it's, real, it's, though. Like, it could no, harass it. I saw where it came from. Have you ever seen her shit all over you? It was real. That's real. Oh, that's so real. I just saw the cute little... Wait, what? Okay, okay. Okay. She took the soft serve poop and spread it on the glass, which in itself was kind of yucky. And then she drew a heart in it, which is crazy. It. And then she started licking the insides of the heart out. And then oh. just... oh. Let me just say this. I don't like you, Kyle. If this chick has a <laughs> decent body, and she's mildly attractive. She could do but... way better than this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What she's doing to herself right now is, is just awful. If you can oh, imagine Arnold is... Schwarzenegger and the Predator when he rubbed the mud all over himself. Oh, God. <laughs> but Kyle, here's yeah. my question to you. Would you still do her? Like, clean? She like... Yeah, because it seems to me... The question that, like, is, Kyle, would you give her a French hang... kiss? Hang on, let me go back to the beginning well, and see what she looked but, like before but, the dude, poop. Here. The thing is, all cleaned up, this is a hot girl willing to do anything. If you could maybe just rein her in away from the scat play, then then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd hit it. Yeah, she's hot. She's I want to know it. what kind of diet this girl is on. That she's having like 
this much shit. Just imagine yeah. what it smells yeah. like in that fucking room. No, oh. I bet it smells like the kitchen of a white castle. <laughs> <laughs> she looks overjoyed to be doing this too. Like, like it's not one of those things where she's like, "All right, let's power through this." She's all for it. She's savoring every moment. I think it'd be better if connection. she looked disappointed. I want to see a girl like looking like she hates this. She just did it for the money, and like just like mom. Uh, let me find the one most... of those too. Oh, that link. You oh my god, there's a be chat. There? There's a chat section for. Oh god, who, who is in the chat section in motherless.com? That's what I want to know. <laughs> oh, James Rich, what's his screen book. name? What's Wait. his screen name? Oh, should we all go into the chat section? Can you? Oh, you need to laugh. Do you <laughs> really want to make an account on this website? <laughs> oh, you must log in. Fuck that. Just, just remember, oh, yeah, where's, yeah. where's the button back? to share this, this on right my Facebook? going to appear on your fucking feed. I want to know what it, like, how much money does it cost to get Wings to put it like on his Facebook page and you know tweet it out. You know, <laughs> yeah, like, there's always oh my, links there like, is, I like this. There's a picture. There's a little button that says share this with your Facebook friends. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right under the video. Oh my god! You can put it on Reddit. You can. I don't even know there what that is. second one is. You can tweet it. You can Facebook it. <laughs> Twitter and Reddit. You gotta have that self promotion. Oh my god. No, I think Dot Facebook com. is a fantastic idea. Yeah, oh. dude, Dan, click the link. Yeah. Put it on your face. No, no, no. As soon as I saw like her pick the nugget out of her ass, I closed oh. the screen. Ass nugget. <laughs> I couldn't Trust do me, it. Got it. it no, after you're, that, you're too good I, for it, are you? Those pizza Dude, rolls I made a little ass show are, nugget. Those pizza then. rolls are coming back. <laughs> oh. That wasn't enjoyable. That that was really, how do you think really she weird. feels? <laughs> she looked like she enjoyed it. I wonder how much oh she get God. paid to do what that kind of this? stuff. Oh, I don't if Merca stumble upon no, no. here. Legit if Merca is legitimately this. like what the fucking that I don't want to see it. Because he was oh, what's going on here. <laughs> it, the video is called Banana Shit Cake. There's going to be some baking. <laughs> Can we get off shit for now? Oh my, yeah, oh my god. The only way we get off of shit is if there's another pepper. <laughs> Continue on. Just, just, a little pe just a little pepper, Wings. Just a little bit. Just nibble it. I demand he sniffs it. So, that was a good question. Is there anything worse than shit play when it comes to, like, yes. internet videos? Yes. What's worse? Easily. Vore? What is that? Oh, it's, gore. Yeah. No, no, vor. V-O-R. It's where people get off on being, like, eaten. Like, legitimately eaten. Oh. Well, I mean, that doesn't really affect me too much. <laughs> what, did they cut off part of the skin and have somebody eat it? No, like, legitimately, like, just have someone eating your finger. Or like your arm attached to you. Why would you what? know that? There's no way. Who the I fuck, fuck gets off friend. on this shit? Do you just go around one day like, man, I'm kind of, I wonder if someone ate hard right now. But if I'd Germany really did... be fucking rock hard if somebody was starting eating my fucking elbow. <laughs> I mean, it feels kind of. I'd be get hard as fucking on. Chinese arithmetic, Maybe. son. Linda okay, Lovelace would choke dude. on this shit if somebody eat my arm. You guys know that story of the guy in Germany, right? The guy who had somebody consensually eat him like he asked them to kill him and eat him and so he did i think i did hear about heard that story that was a couple of years ago yeah so there are people out there maybe they're all german but they're out there <laughs> german. german people are weird man wait, wait how are you feeling now feeling bad dude i feel like i gotta throw up <laughs> you know yeah, what I helps watched, after you just watched that video <laughs> no, my Wings, it seems just... like your inhibitions are pretty high right now and so i think you need some alcohol Dude, if I drink mm -hmm. alcohol right now, they would be vomit on my microphone. Let's have a celebration. You know, PK100, Woody has a nice little drink over there. I have a drink right here. I, I, I can't tell you. Gets... I'm not good with Aww. drinks. Come on, everybody's going to have a drink. You can have some of your Crown Royal. I just want your inhibitions lowered to the point where you eat another pepper, because that was entertaining as shit. <laughs> 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 oh. I want... All I right, want every... you guys... Oh, go ahead, Woody. Woody. Oh, I wasn't gonna make a toast. I was just gonna virtually clink, and we'd all drink. Yeah, because I know his has drink. Alex has a drink. I have a drink mm -hmm. of water. Let's do it. Yeah, I got water. <laughs> water. I saw you. World. 
I have Crown Royal, but that's for special occasions. Yeah, he also has. This isn't a special yeah. occasion. Is it yeah. special wings? That's, baby? When, that's when I'm really stressed out. Is this is required? As you can see, Dude, stress you just ate a level ghost has been up lately. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he's got it in like the glass thing too, like like yeah. like he's a bar or like. Oh, this is great! Like it, like uh, that's awesome. I really want to see this. Is a, this is what you call a yeah. decanter, Kyle. So you could like drink that down, man, and and oh. I think that's a safe amount of liquor. Dude, that's some that Skyrim is, shit. Yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah, is is that what is it? Scumba? This is a nice uh, Scumba crystal liquor. Is that decanter. Scuma? Wings, how high is your alchemy that you get to make Crown Royal? A <laughs> hundred. He's got all the proficiencies. <laughs> I actually bought this at an antique store here in town. The Crown Royal? No, Damn. No, does, the, it the liquor does it have Nern root in it? Oh, God. It does have Nern root in it. Okay. You know, I don't have any glass bottles like that, but I have taken bottles of Grey Goose, filled it up with Popov, and then told girls that it was Grey Goose. Like, that's always a good college trick. You know? They don't know the difference. They're not going to call you out. They don't have a fucking clue. What? We get drunk? Better. Pull my titties out! <laughs> <laughs> uh, or you get, like, you get, like, blue Gatorade and fill up a Windex bottle and go into public and just, like, squirt it in your mouth. Or oh, shit all over yourself that. and rub it all over your body. Or, internet, you know, that's a you thing, know, too. That, that's a thing, too. I could just picture oh. that cameraman. He has, like, a fucking face mask and shit on behind him. Oh, he's not even looking. He's just, like, looking away, pulling the camera where he thinks there's gonna be a good shot. The cameraman had a, a gun. Is there He's really like, a good shot when like somebody's like eating shit? Uh, it's. I mean, do you, do you go you know? cut, 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 cut? We didn't get enough shit in the mouth in this shot. Let's get a different <laughs> angle. I mean, beauty so, is in the eye of the beholder. So, you what, do, what does what does Jackie think you're talking about in that room of yours? Oh God, that's a that's a good question. I, I she probably thinks we're talking about video games. Um, she could. She's <laughs> never been wrong. She has never been more wrong. Huh. Uh, dude, I was on a, a guest on another podcast on Tuesday, PTFO, and um, they had me call up a hooker who specialized in extreme fetishes and try and get her to do funny stuff. So like, I tried to get her to cut me into Burmese with hot wax, and she got all mad or scared or something, so she gave the phone to her master, and her master cr like criticized me because apparently my form of S and M is too extreme for them. <laughs> how? How? I, I was like, like, go on. I was saying, how does one specialize in extreme fetishes? Like, does she actually have an attraction to all those by happenstance, or is she just doing all this shit for money? I don't know. She was, like, 60 years old. Um, which, <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Truthfully, they were pretty mad at me. Like, I came at them too hard. They're like, are you in the lifestyle? And I was like, no, why don't you introduce me to the lifestyle? And they, they were just not willing mentors. I guess they... Well, yeah, Jackie. And you, yeah, you could have I had a lot of fun. <laughs> she she thought it was inappropriate for me to call hookers. Like, that's not good husband behavior. So there's that. Damn. You call a lot of stuff that goes on. Any time to get Jackie on here? Behavior. Um, I don't think she's coming on tonight. Oh, she's uh, not. We gonna do Blade mm. early then? Uh, good. Yeah, he's scheduled to come on in forty minutes. We could. I'll ping him on Skype and see if he's available. We should get Kitty if he isn't. A kitty, if he is. What do you think the best moment of uh, the last hundred episodes was? Favorite moment? That's a good question. Dude, there's a lot. Um, my favorite was the um, Road to Modern Warfare Three. Oh my that was gosh. really fun doing. I like those a lot. Oh, was pussy. <laughs> Road to Modern oh, Warfare Three was pretty big. It's it was a, it's almost it's as big as this show. It's almost time to do the Road to Black Ops Two. I mean, yeah. there there have been a lot of good moments, but I'd have to say the best episodes were 88, 65, 57, 31, <laughs> 72. Those were the best ones far I don't know, 93, don't know 94, 95, 96, 97, 98 were pretty good. <laughs> no, no, that's pussy shit, man. No. Dude, you were on 95. You were on 95, you piece of shit. Nope. Yeah, I know. So, something, something happened on that episode that really drug me down. I don't even know, man. That's why it didn't make my list. I'm not sure if you paid attention. I hope someone sneaks into your bathroom and starts pooping and rubbing it on themselves. <laughs> as long as it's on themselves and not me, it'll be oh my God, minimally cool. disturbing. And then doesn't clean yeah, it up. Remember? It's 4 o'clock in the Do morning. You have some I actually really like the Rape Squad Killer thing. I liked the one before, like not long ago, when I called the Home Depot guy and we put yeah. together like a, a preparedness kit. He was oh, like yeah. walking yeah. through the... 
Like, oh. you know, I got an angle here. That, Dude, I got a blowtorch. Not... Would that help you out? He's like, fuck yeah, yeah throw it in the box. My favorite, yeah, I was on that. My favorite that was the most painkiller already uh, was the panda porn. The panda porn? The what? He yeah. Got, he got the uh, guy I... to try to sell him some panda porn. Yeah, I did. Is that the, where you got the guy to oh, agree yeah. to gay sex for in chain? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yes. No, that was oh, a different no. one. That was a different uh, guy. No, Boy I called boys. this guy looking for Modern Warfare for uh, for Modern Warfare Three or something, and somehow it got into like the, there was this other place that had like I don't know illegal videos or like difficult to find ones, and I started asking about panda porn, and he's like, "You mean like National Geographic stuff with two animals?" I'm like, "No, no, no, I want to see a panda fuck a bitch." And this guy <laughs> <was there. laughs> it got weird from there. Yeah, yeah. He didn't have the reaction you would think. Like, oh no, fuck that man. He was like, well, <laughs> I'm gonna cost you. You know, yeah, it got really right. weird. And I was like, who's fucking pandas? Kyle, one of my favorite prank calls you've done is where you called the guy to get him to try and give a massage to your wife because you didn't want to touch her. Yeah, there's been a lot of funny ones. There's yeah, I, I'm trying to get in this the prank call. Kyle called a guy asking for like a stack of Playboy magazines. And he was willing to negotiate the price down by having gay sex with him. Yeah. <laughs> and it just, the guy was right. gay. And he's guy because he sounded really feminine. Kyle's like, oh, yeah, I know. And, uh, yeah, he was all ready to go over there. He got $25 for uh, a little wiki, wiki act. I think my favorite argument that you guys have had, or not argument, but search on the Internet was for the two midgets having sex. And so eventually <laughs> that code was cracked. But earlier <laughs> on that same episode, the thing that I take most pride in and all my PKAs is the fact that when no one else could, I found the video of a snake giving a man a blowjob. How did you find that? Oh, my friend. My friend. <laughs> All the things I could teach you. The things He's like, I, I just, I just clicked my favorites internet. tab and went to yeah. number 12. Yeah, I just, I just went to, I just went to my <laughs> desktop, clicked on the quick link over there, and then bam. I just had to blur out my face, and I uploaded it to YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On the same lines, uh, we, we couldn't find the midget on midget porn, because uh, if you look around, you'll find that's harder to find. Like, like, it's not hard to find regular person on midget porn with sexes either way, but midget on midget, that's tricky. And a team art linked it to us, and he was temporarily a legend. He was like, was like, oh my god, he did it! And Trevor was probably like 17 at the time. So, you know, like, for him to come up so big on the porn thing was, uh, was really remarkable. He got, like, Twitter famous for it and everything. And then it turns out that Mercury Taylor was behind it the whole way. And he gave the link to T-Mart <laughs> to feed us. That, that bastard. Was I could be the one with half a million subs now if it weren't for that. Mercury <laughs> 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 is still bitter. Yeah. <laughs> T-Mart. Glory stealer. <laughs> <laughs> you scumbag. Uh, it's not a PKA moment, but like in YouTube history, like I've done some. I remember one time, uh, Chris Trout, uh, he uploaded a vlog. And he had a V-neck T-shirt on. Somebody <laughs> said, "Is yeah. Chris Trout? You know Chris?" Yeah, Trout. yeah, yeah. I was just tweeting him. Yeah. So um, uh, he had a V-neck sweat or T-shirt. So I was like, "You're gay," and he's like, "I am gay. Why are you making a big deal out of it?" So I took it and I ran with it. I made a whole video like, dedicated to the topic, and, and it was all straight faced and like level toned. Like I never let on that it was a joke, but um, I congratulated him for coming out, you know, on the bravery that it takes, and he's the first in the community and etc. And I think to this day people still think that he's gay. Like it, it got like seventy five thousand views. Chris Trout coming out. Wait, if I search that on YouTube, it'll pop up then. Yeah, let's uh, here. I'll, I'll try. Wait, wait, wait. So Chris Trout oh, is isn't Trout gay? is gay. <laughs> Quest for Black Ops. Tris, Chris Trout comes out. Can we get Trout is gay uh, uh, trending on Twitter? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All you gotta do is have a tweet and it has to be, you know, um, hashtag Trout is gay. Yeah, Just blow it's him out there. <laughs> yeah. It only takes about a thousand. It only takes about a thousand of you out there. Just tweet and it doesn't it's matter what so you say. Today, though. Nothing you just tweet out. You just tweet out. I heard hashtag Trout is gay. He, he, he uh, just tweeted me as well saying, ha ha, gay, that, that ha gay thing. Ha gay. <laughs> it, it looks like the, the one that was on Trailer Park. Although I remember it being somewhere else. But yeah, I, that's that's the Chris Trout is gay video. And I it, remember it, we got... Go on. Oh, we got PK trending two, two PKs ago. 
That was a first. PKA was trending globally. That yeah. was that was a big deal. Oh, oh my gosh! I know that link you just sent. sent it <laughs> what it's link like the best link. Gay. Gay. <laughs> gay. Oh, it's open the gay. motherless one again on accident. Okay. Crazy. Dude, community is the shit. <laughs> uh. Ooh, <laughs> what the fuck um, was that website? Uh, what about um. When uh, you guys had um, FNG podcast come on and do like the double podcast, I liked that one. I thought that is the FNG podcast over, Alex. Are you guys still doing it? We are. Um, we are ended. Y'all yeah, didn't, ended. Y'all didn't end on me, did you? I don't know where we ended. To be honest, I just kind of came on every week. Um, I don't know what's going on with that. They Sick wrote I, me. And he was, he was really, by the way, Mr. I Try Hard is a really super guy. And he said, wanted to wish you a good 100th show. I know what it's like to run a podcast. I couldn't do it. You can, which is probably the reason you are where you are right now. Congrats. Which I thought was a pretty nice thing to say. That's but cool. I didn't realize that your podcast ended. What don't happened? bring it up, all right? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no, 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 what happened? I don't know. I, I have no idea. They did, Kelly and um, Seb just... They're just kind of their show, and they're like, oh, let's end it. It's not going the way we want it to go. What way did you want it to go? I don't know. I was, I was just on. For the, <laughs> My for boys the ride. I'd show up. I'd show up and tell me. <laughs> you, know, yeah, you, know, you, know I, you know what I really don't realize? When did Pink Hillary become this thing we did by ourselves to what it is now? I, that kind of just completely eluded me. It's slow, right? The the evolution. Yeah, it's like we went. We used to get like what two or three hundred guys show up to it. It just step by step, man. Then it got to be a thousand, then two thousand, then like lately it's been between five and seven. And I bet tonight would have been. I had I had about fifteen thousand my stream at one point. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you break twelve. I know I broke twelve too, but. Uh, you, fuck it, yeah. I'm just going to tweet Trout as gay. Do you think it'd be crazy it if there was like 100,000 people like fully dedicatedly watching it though? Like, Imagine if the, the gaming scene gets that and big where th- this every is just stream the people or that showed is like 100k people. Yeah, like dude, the the one with Blame Truth has like 800,000 views. Yeah, PKA there's a couple episode. actually. Yeah, I have a couple PKA episodes that did yeah. better than half a million. But um, I was saying like, wouldn't it be so strange if each like each YouTuber saying like, what, why buy us like over a million? What do you have close to a million? If you could actually have that power to be able to go right and live streaming, how much if you had like half a million people come and watch it? Live, live. That's a lot. Very nuts. Ima- just imagine <laughs> if we get power. half of people people watching Painkiller already, I'm gonna be questioning seriously why we can't get a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can control the internet. If you have like half a million people, you're like. This I, I want to see it happen with something. Though, yeah, I think it like goes so cool. down. You can just like the internet. at a at a click, everything on the internet crashes simultaneously. <laughs> yeah, hey guys, go to go to Facebook. Oh shit, down. Oh, God damn Somebody, it! I'm watching things' this chat, and someone wrote, "Why does Woody charge a hundred dollars for a dual com? I have literally never charged anybody ever for a dual com. Do you not get messages like, though of people saying like they'll pay you? Someone messaged me I get them all the time. Dollars for dual com, and I was like, no. I was yeah, just I, saying, I, 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 I always said you can come spend the night at my house and we can do it together. Jesus, <laughs> people want to buy dual cups all the time. But my fear is that that's like super toxic, and that you know, if I sold dual com, it would be just bad news. So I, I've never. Done I it. struggle giving dual coms done. away. Ah, uh, don't worry about them. I want to say not this year, but the year before. If they donated enough money to the March of Dimes, I would do dual comms with people, like as a thank you. But I mean, you can't hate on that. Well, actually, Taylor could. Mercadurka, you'd hate on that. I hate on <laughs> what? Giving money to charity. Oh yeah, I dude. Mean, screw that. Like, I hate charity. Dude, fuck hate scumbags. Charity. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> especially that total biscuit guy. Dude, what a scumbag for! Just oh, are you talking about charity. my uh, my? What was it called? King Don't of the you web? knock my total biscuit? Is a UK guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, dude, I don't know no. anything about him. I was just saying that it's silly yeah. how people just manipulate charity and are like, "Her, her, my content sucks, asshole!" But I'm gonna give it to charity, and so vote for me. It's like, well, what's the point of this? It's just seeing who can pander most efficiently. Wait, what? Like the whole point is to elicit people who are. 
providing quality content. The which game, is just why I would never run much because taken my that content website, sucks it? compared to most of their content. What you know? what happened? Yeah. I think if you got to run for charity, you got to run for like cute cats. That's you get all you get all the demographics. You get a million belts easy. <laughs> run to save cats or something. <laughs> I, I, you rock. Was run for pandas. What do you guys think about that dildos for Africa thing? That's all over YouTube. Oh yeah, my what is god. That? It's from the Bad Kids show. Uh, I'm a, who's on lead. that? Let's it's down. Because I've gotten a lot of it's, people saying I, I need to do that. Bad Kids show is um, Blade and Keemstar. I don't really know <laughs> Keemstar at all. <laughs> why do I, will give I mean, I didn't know him before. I mean, Keemstar is my bitch. I love Damn. him. <laughs> he is. I, we just tweet each other all the time because he even says like I'm the, like the one YouTuber who just doesn't give a crap how I talk to him. Just he's just a guy. I'm just a guy. So just have a bit of a laugh. Like I'll just tweet him like How's it going, Honey Bun? Or something. Just like joking around, trolling him because it's just funny. It's good to be able to just like have a laugh now and again. Um, but yeah, I think that Dildos for Africa. Um, Keemstar wants to run for King of the Web and use the money he wins to send. Uh, a bunch of black dildos to Africa to prevent people like to let women because the average woman has five kids. babies yeah Jesus and he and, and, he and Blade were gonna like vlog they were gonna like vlog style uh, film themselves buying like a shitload of dildos from uh, each like all the sex shops that near them it sounds pretty funny yeah, so that that's the idea. The idea is that if these women can have an orgasm without men, then they'll have fewer babies. The thing is, they're not doing anything to solve the male orgasm shortage, and I think in Africa, at least these parts of Africa, that's the real problem. I mean, if they don't start some sort of fleshlight co-campaign, they're not really going to make <laughs> the make. Yeah, the, a dildo they, won't fix anything. Hashtag flashlights for fathers. Well, maybe 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 <laughs> the girl will get hers and she'll give up more blowjobs. Who knows? It should be flashlight. It should be hashtag flashlights not fathers. That's the hashtag. Oh yeah. Flashlights not fathers. And then because yeah, if you just send dildos over there, the women are fine, but the guys still need something, and they're gonna make babies. So you gotta you gotta please both sides. I don't think hey. they thought their charity for exactly. Let's not get stuck on a new trending topic, Taylor, before we get Trout is gay trending. Oh, my bad. We can't have both? No, we can't have both. Poor Cam Everyone's talking about that gay trending. Is it just hash Trout is gay? Trout is gay. Yeah. Trout is gay. I'll just say, everyone please tweet. Everyone please tweet. Trout is gay. Aha, gay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? It's the inflection is what makes the difference. <laughs> God damn it, that link. It's been forever since I saw that. Kudos to you for reminding me of it. I don't watch Thank community. Do oh, not even Burka, get on that uh, shit, man. You don't know what you're missing. Okay. <sighs> That's what I said at okay. first. Oh, if you did. And now it's like, oh, jeez. I am too busy reading <laughs> okay. Game of Thrones right now <laughs> to do anything. I can't, I can't watch Community. Wait, you're I'm too busy it? not watching it. Game of Thrones is a book? Yeah. Uh, it, it was the a book Song series. of Ice and Fire is the book series. Yeah, it's, it was, it's fantastic. I'm really enjoying it. I'm on the fifth book right now, and oh, I just learned a couple months bad. ago. Your what? Everyone who's listening to this, hackers. go read a book. Oh, your hackers. I thought you said your pecker was back. <laughs> well, I mean, at Woody's age, that's a valid statement as well. Don't judge. <laughs> oh, maybe we should get Blade in now since we talk about the Bad Kid Show. <laughs> Woody Trout is gay. Retweet this. 156 in a minute. Christ. <laughs> I had a tweet that went pretty big. <laughs> that's like the biggest I've ever seen, though. 156 people. Wait, is it only? Wait, who said it only takes a thousand? Uh, it doesn't take a thousand. I was streaming today with a hashtag Syndicate Live, and it doesn't work off a thousand. Need a lot. Yeah. Do you need to be verified? No, it takes a no, thousand. No, no, tweets, no, dude, not anyone. retweets. Retweets don't count. No, no, no. People were tweeting it though, because they had to they had to use the hashtag Syndicate Live to pop up on my live stream so I could read the questions, um, and like it just wasn't trending at all. That's weird. And then, and then I, I got notifications through, and I was like the mo It was like the most popular thing that week as well. 
I like how they added the precise the number of retweets instead of that bullshit 50 plus. Yeah. Yeah, really. You know, somebody's asked me if I'm giving that $200 I earned to charity. That would make me an evil person in the YouTube community. Yeah, no, really. you should give my 130 bucks back, man. I, I gave it to you for, for the it. hopes of you eating the pepper. And you, you know what you're doing? You're stealing, you're stealing food from his cupboard this week. Yeah, uh, man, I could have been uh, giveaway money. <laughs> I could have gave away some Xbox. You know what? You know what, God? Both of you settle down. Just send it to me, and I'll put it to good use. Woody's got dropped out again, by the way. <laughs> Woody did? Yeah. Um, is there any of you guys going Eurogamer? Uh, or Gamescon, even? In I might be going. I might be I'm going. Go, I'm definitely going. Is it Gamescon in Germany? Yeah, Cologne. <laughs> I'm not as big. I'm not as big. If I leave my channel for a week, I'm, I'm pretty much done. You should schedule load. <laughs> That's what I'll Wait, do. Is, is Dan still here? I just checked. Yep. I got. I can see his video. Where's this? Where's is this Dan female no, friend? See him right now. <laughs> oh my. Let's let's Come see on. the the female friend. Let's see the smoking hot woman. Well, all right. <laughs> Hi. I mean, if she wa if she wants to get dressed up in a poo costume and do stuff with you, I say go full just forge ahead. You know, no more talking about poo, please. He's talking I about Winnie the Pooh. You Winnie the Pooh. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel about me shitting on your chest? Are you, are you okay with that? Well, you did mention some Saran wrap You're that would be involved, so I was I was counting on that. But after the whole conversation, the whole scatological um, conversation, scatological. That you I like your choice of vocabulary. Is that that's okay? It's an SAT. Oh, that was good. Okay, fair enough. Sure, that was like a fifty-letter word. You just won Scrabble for the night. <laughs> so, how you, so how do you feel about it? Right on. That's what I was going for. But yes. Um, so I have, have. Has anyone done any of this? Is the thing. No, yeah. I've had to look almost every single thing that 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 um, Dan texts me. I have to go and look up online to figure out what the hell he's saying. So the glass bottom boat as an example. Yeah, exactly. Party I table. have never heard of that before. That just sounds weird. That's like that's not even pleasurable. You just have shit on your coffee table. Right. Yeah. Someone told me about the Dutch rudder. Have you guys heard about that? <laughs> no. Yeah, I know what the Dutch rudder is. Yeah, tell me about that because that was something new that I heard the other day. It's, that was it's where you hold, you get your dick hard and you hold it, and she works your arm, so it's like she's jerking you off. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Now it, that's from a movie, isn't it? It's a uh, Zach and Kier and uh, Miri does the porn. Zach and Miri, yeah, dude, that was. Really oh, that's right. That's such a great, yeah. such a great movie. Where the other dude was like, "Hey, I'll do it for you." He's like, "It's not gay. It's a Dutch rudder, man." <laughs> See, I thought Dan was just supposed to go with his left hand, so it felt like somebody else. That's what no, I do. No, you fall asleep when like you oh. lean on your arm so it falls asleep. Right. Oh, that's right. called the stranger, right? You sit when you, when you, when you <laughs> the stranger. Like, you sit on your hand till it goes numb, and then you try to beat your dick. Yeah. All right, I have to run out and grab something real quick. My buddy Brennan, who just showed up, he's taking over for me for a sec. All right. All right, Brennan. You better be hey, bringing the Hey, what's up, you guys? Brennan, how's it going? Have All you right. ever you shit on someone's chest? <laughs> have I ever hit on someone's chest? No shit. shit as in people shit. matter. Shit. Ooh, I haven't. I wish oh, I could help you, you guys excited. out with that one. You got me excited. You were like, ooh, and then you were like, no. <sighs> All right, let's What's the weirdest thing, thing you've done with a girl, then? What's that? What's the weirdest thing you've done with a girl? Um, Actually, my freshman year of college, um, I was having sex with this girl in my dorm room, and I was on the top bunk, and I was pounding her really hard, and I broke the bunk. Nice. Um, but I ended up finishing off, and then we cleaned the mess up. So please tell me your roommate was underneath the. <laughs> uh, I wish he was there. He's like, dude, let me out. It's like, hold on, I'm so. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Like stepbrother style. Yeah, dude, stepbrother <laughs> status. That would have been great. <laughs> I can just picture the bed collapsing in though. There's so much more room <laughs> for activities. <laughs> <laughs> Did we just become best friends? Yup. Yep. <laughs> you know when Woody gets back, we should we should seriously like prank call Gamer Shore. Woody's not gonna make Ooh. that deal. You guys always try to prank call me, and I know when it's coming. <laughs> I don't pick it up. <laughs> I, I got I got spies listening. I'm like, oh, let's prank call White Boy. I get notified like eight times. I gotta prank call you. Okay. I put a few Craigslist um. Some uh, a few interesting Craigslist posts in the. Uh, that one. the yeah, what's the, the security one? Personal security. I don't know. I thought somebody could think of something. I don't know. Some what do you, weird. Doesn't isn't Pat doesn't don't they do some kind of Pax thing in Seattle? Yeah, like 
say something like, I'm getting my plaque delivered. Yeah, I'm going to pick up my <laughs> plaque. I have a bunch of YouTube people that are jealous. I want some protection. <laughs> Syndicate has a hit out on me because he wants a plaque. <laughs> Fuck you, white boy. I want that plaque. <laughs> <laughs> then there's a videography which um, we could probably do something like poop gobbler. We need a poop goblin thing in there. <laughs> oh, Hashtag poop goblin. You trying to say you go, you willing to shell out the 50 grand white boy? For a poop goblin, do I get the exclusive rights? <laughs> can, can I, I don't know how you can market that. that. You couldn't put that on YouTube. But can I get the exclusive rights? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna sell a DVD. Fifty grand, yeah. You can put the exclusive rights out. Kim Kardashian style, white boys monetizing that shit. Fifty grand, huh? Let me let me get back to you, man. I'm gonna play louder like, a little bit. That's like one bad day on a white boy video, though, white boy. Come on. Yeah, man. I make. Wing said I made three thousand bucks an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he was eating ghost stillies, wings could be eating having three thousand bucks an hour too. But no, yeah, it's costing wings us, isn't it's, co it's costing us three thousand dollars to have White Boy on the podcast tonight. Donate, yeah, <laughs> an hour, three thousand an hour. He's been in here two hours now, so we're six grand in. Wings, you better start chugging those ghost peppers, dude. You you act like those ghost peppers are like fucking like, you know, hot sauce. And I could I could drink a whole bottle of hot sauce. It wouldn't phase yeah, I know. me. Those ghost well, peppers. Yeah, Frank's, Frank's hot sauce isn't hot sauce. It's just like adds a little flavor to it. Yeah, but wait, but you, you talk to me about hot sauce. I've I seen you struggle on like a slice of pizza. It was no, <laughs> it was a slice of. It was filled with hot sauce, and it was a sandwich, and that's the hottest hot sauce. Oh, you talking about manner. you're it's talking like, about the sandwich that Kelly made you? Yeah, that was evil. No, fuck you. The, the chat's asking me about Slender. I don't want to talk about Slender. All what right? is Slender? They keep telling me to ask you about Slender. No, I don't want to talk. It's this guy, and he fucks with me, and he's scary, and he it's has not, no is face. It's not scary. Is it like it's a Slender Man game? Like, <laughs> is it the creepypasta Slender Man just in a game? Yeah. I don't, you just turn around and he catches you. Dude, fuck that. And then fucking Alex, Kelly help me. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Is it a, is this a game character? Is this it's, what the okay, hell is Slender Man? It's a PC game. You're in the middle of the forest. It's night. You only got a flashlight. You can only see so far in a distance. And then the sound is like do 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 do. And you have to find these pages. And then randomly, this guy will pop up and scare the shit out you. And then I was playing yes or two days ago. And then fucking Kelly comes in from the other room and screams as soon as it's getting intense, and I freak <laughs> out. I cried. I literally cried over over the game. Like, it, it's that scary. Really? When, you I cried, cried? yet. Yeah, uh, it's gay. <laughs> gay. <laughs> gay. It's fucking scary, man. It's that gay. It's that scary. Dude. You know, Steve, the, the, the scary, he didn't even talk about the scary dyma dynamic. When when the Slender Man is near you, your light starts flickering, and the only way to get rid of him and not die is to cut your light off and run head first into the woods blind. Wait, is that the way to actually complete it? Yeah. Didn't you tweet something out like say you played it and it didn't even scare you? No, I played Amnesia and it didn't scare me. Oh, oh, that's not scary. Am Amnesia, I, you yeah, pretty much can hear the you guys. music cues. I, I watch Paranormal Activity just like I turn like all the lights off a bled like I put I got a big TV you know. Black lights, speakers on the max, they could surround sound, and watched it. And yeah, it, I was jumping because it was funny to get you know like that tension build up and then you know like, j make you jump. But I literally I wasn't scared. You wouldn't walk to your refrigerator and think there's be. somebody going to be hit there waiting on you. No. You know what's funny? Um, I, I was at some. Do you guys remember the movie Dead Silence or yes. something yes. like that? So it's really okay. I was in the movie theater and I was playing. And then it was like a really dramatic scene. It was building up. It was silent. It was getting scary. And, and before like that that jump cut to, and like the big noise that scares you, I was like, "Hachu!" I sneezed on purpose, really loud, and everybody freaked <laughs> out in the theater. It was, it was so perfect. I could imagine that. That's the sort of thing I do actually. <laughs> I'm, I'm like a proper little adrenaline junkie though so stuff like that you know like where you can feel the tension building up I love the feeling of it that's why I really like scary films because it like really builds you up but Slender, Slender I just that. don't see it have you played it? I've seen it I haven't played it so I know it's hard well, to say that but 
play it, it you gotta f hate me for it. Oh no, yeah, I've I seen the comments, everyone's just like, play Slender, play Slender, but... I was just like, I looked at the game and it was like the same with DayZ. Everyone, you know, like zombie game, play DayZ, and I just thought, I just thought it was too slow to get into, so I'd rather. Oh, DayZ took me like five hours just to like install it and then finally get into a game, and then it's like five hours to like five know what's going on. Chased by zombies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, dude, but, white boy, when I, we I was playing, playing, son. Uh, huh? When we playing some DayZ. Man, I was in the Skype call with, or the Skype chat, but I was playing with somebody else. We can hook it up at, I'm at the we airfield need, right we now. Need, we need to player kill, son. We need to troll. Oh, I think I love. I had a eight kill streak going, and then my body glitched out. Oh, come on, dog. I've got a nineteen at one point. You gotta step your game 19. up. Nineteen. You were doing a, yeah. Mode. You were doing an ammo glitch, so you can shut up. Ammo glitch. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't do ammo glitch. I know that was like a full on call out, but you cheat. No, no, I put, that video, on I, I put that video up because I knew people would search for that kind of shit. <laughs> doesn't it? Doesn't matter. Daisy, here's my theory about that video. Daisy right now is in its infantile stages. It's only going to get bigger, and when people get bigger, they're going to want to see the cheat codes. Here's the fuck shit that was fucked up. Look it up. Yeah, I'm at the airfield. I'm at the airfield right now. I got a bus, which is, that's my first vehicle I ever drove. That's it's cool. You have, have to you, get fuel for that. Yes, you do. I it's came with it came with fuel, but eventually you do have to get fuel, uh -huh. I believe. I the airfield's get, shitty. Yeah, I like, like a college. Everyone yeah. says that DayZ is yeah. incredibly good, and like. They say it's slow paced, right? But I would have said that about Minecraft, and it turned out to be like a really popular game. And then once I played it, but dude, if you don't play Minecraft, you think it stinks. Everyone does that. And before they've played it, they all think Minecraft is terrible. And then once you play it, all of a sudden you're like skipping hygiene and nutrition because the thing is so addictive. Daisy is just like Daisy. That. Yeah, but not for me. Like I got, I just in installed it. it and first it, of all, it's not user you, friendly. The beauty of the console is that it just works. And then the first PC games I played, like I played Modern Warfare 3, I played some like small arcade type games. I'm like, dude, this just works too. And then Daisy came along. And it was hard, and I spent a few hours getting it set up. And then I get into the game, and I just run, 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 and, then, and zombies are chasing me. And it's like, what the hell am I supposed to do about this? I don't even know how to punch. If you're unarmed, do you have any defense against zombies? Dying. Nope. Your f your feet running, <laughs> your buildings. You right. Just gotta run. I just just thought maybe there was something I didn't know. I'm like going on wikis pages looking for stuff, and uh, uh, but you know if I could maybe grab a sub or grab some YouTube friends who are way ahead of me in the Daisy learning curve, that would be cool. You got to be cold hearted to play Daisy though. That's why backpacks. <laughs> I mean, you, gotta you kill everybody you see. Oh, you just kill everybody. Oh yeah. Yeah, I look. Too. I look at it this way: ninety-five percent of the people that kill you are gonna see you. They're gonna want your shit. If you mm -hmm. have anything be better than a hatchet, they're gonna. They're. They're not gonna pass you over. If you have a hatchet, they might but, not kill you. But Dude, what, no one what if kill you pick everything I, up I in the map? Have sneakers in that stupid <laughs> game. Like I, I, they probably see me running across the field like a baby buffalo, and they're like, "Nah, that jackass." Oh, you can tell who the bad players are. They're, they're the players that run straight down the road. The good players, the good players, hang in the tree lines. Daisy is Wait. too realistic. I don't want to have to search for a fucking water bottle every time I want to walk hundred yards. You, I just you don't know the zombies. you don't know the joy of busting a motherfucker in the leg with a shotgun and his legs breaking, and now he's sitting there crawling around, trying to like, oh, please don't do it. I mean, that, I guess I guess that's pretty sadistic. I mean, I may not find the pleasure in that, but I don't even need a video game. <laughs> maybe though. I don't see the draw. <laughs> I shot a guy. I was playing. I was playing Daisy right before this. Before we got on painkiller already, I shot a guy in the back, and it knocked him out. And he's like talking to me on the mic when I come up. He's like, "Please, dude, I got, I got good stuff. Please, please, please." And I shot him right in the head with a Makarov. Fucking <laughs> a. Is this is this like GTA rules where you can just indiscriminately rape other players? Yeah. What's the deal? Wings. What made you shoot the guy? I wanted his shit. <laughs> I'm like, well, well I said, wings. I, I watched your video of a wings. Basically, all you do is just shoot other players, steal all their <laughs> shit, and they just probably quit the game. And I'm like, fuck, that was a waste of money. <laughs> I'm not I an asshole, but I don't, I don't like camp. I don't play on the, the same spawns. server as wings if I ever do play. That's a sure thing. I don't, I don't camp the spawns. It's just that in my chat. Killers. Allow me to mention in my chat. I do recognize it's an alpha, and that you know, I just compared games that weren't alphas to games that were. So, Surely yeah. Minecraft Alpha was really bad. Yeah. Like, you was know, it? you couldn't be as creative, you couldn't sprint, you know, these sort of things. You couldn't enchant. 
so much you couldn't nope. do. I, I, that's I tried Minecraft and it was just so boring I couldn't play. But just just imagine though if like you had like a Call of Duty engine like running Daisy. I'm, I think how good that would be. Uh, I'm, I'm, wait wait can we get can we get Blade in right now so he can talk about his feelings about Minecraft? Oh God, I, Minecraft is not stuff. fun. Oh, it is not fun. It is. Have you Minecraft tried it? Is fun. Yeah, it I, is. I played it last Minecraft, year. Unless you're syndicate, like Minecraft week or Solo is not fun. Minecraft I mean, Solo I, I was, is awesome. I was playing with Captain Sparkles, C Nanners, all Sham No Wow, and I think S and D's, and it was like a year and a half ago, like when it first started getting big and C Nanners did all his videos. I played with them and then I played like a week after that and I just couldn't get into it. For me, it's a shit game. For other people <gasps> they just or just super content to just sit there and just <laughs> No, I'm I'm completely you, you with get you. Get in fuck out get in the fuck out. Fucking hate you! you, you <laughs> Damn! Fuck you! Yeah, I know. Fuck you! Play that fuck all you! The time now. Yeah, 1v1! 1v1! <laughs> yeah, 1v1. Fuck, I'm gonna fucking come around we there! Can, uh, 1v1 on, on Minecraft! Chest. I'm gonna shit on your chest! Dude, we could go to my world! I have shipment set up in Minecraft! Fucking shit! I was like, what? <laughs> no, no, I've got shipment! Like, uh, we made it on my... in my world. And we made bows yeah, and Minecraft arrows. Minecraft is so good, there's like, yeah. so many mods, it changes the game. Like, I install one mod. And like, even if it's just like um, you know, guns in the game, or like, I've put teleporters now in my game, so I can just like teleport from place to place, and Have it saves me just hours. It's amazing. I haven't got that actually. Dude, I'd love to. Oh, there, there's so been times fun. on playing Minecraft though. I wonder what the fuck I'm doing. Like when I was building Atlantis, that is such a fucking <laughs> time sink. You're like, dude, I've been sitting here eight hours digging at fucking dirt. This is not yep. enjoyable. Dude, pull a syndicate, man. Eight hours. Break that into 32 videos and upload it. <laughs> oh, no, you meant, you meant 82. No. I love, I actually love playing the game. Like, in between my videos, like, now, even if it's just going collecting resources for the next episode, I really enjoy just doing that because, like, like, anything could happen or it could be really simple what I'm going doing. But, like, I did an episode the other day and I was really into it. And I think that kind of showed in the views of it because that's the one that went viral. It was a video that was, like, the first one I recorded in ages. And, like, I got all my, like, really good armor back because, like, you can do enchanting on Minecraft, so, you know, like, you, you do better damage, you know, when you hit an enemy, they go flying sort of thing, you know, your armor does protect you against fire, that sort of stuff. And I had all this good enchanted stuff, and I did a video about it, and it hit 3.3 million views in a week. That's my touch. My favorite... Well, does that happen? Month. My favorite Minecraft video is the little white boy throws his diamond pickaxe into the lava. <laughs> yeah, I just got it. I'm digging for days. And fuck, then I, I, fuck, 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 Connor, I missed the bitch. key. Yeah, I did the wrong <laughs> key, and I fucking throw it. I'm like, oh, shit, that's my whole Dude, fucking life. The I only reason lava. I say I, that is because I did the ex literally the exact same thing. And it's like, oh, my God, I was so pissed. Probably disproportionately, too. Like, I punched my friend, and I got so mad. <laughs> Dude, Minecraft, Minecraft is so good, like... <laughs> Kitty just skyped me saying you better defend Minecraft. But like honestly, it's so good. People like people knock it all the time, and like so many of my friends were like, "It's a shit game." And you know, like even my subscribers who were like, my, you know, my zombie fans. Like I had such a big audience. I'd like four hundred to five hundred thousand people who just subscribed to me just for zombies. So I really understand where these guys are coming from. Like when they go, you turned your back on zombies because I went from playing zombies twenty four seven to playing Minecraft. Kind of like yeah, but if you play zombies twenty four seven, you're gonna start hating the fucking game. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I, I do not play a game or post content if I don't enjoy it. If I'm not enjoying Minecraft, I simply won't post a video on it about it. That's how people know I run my channel. But, like, I re you, you, if you get bored of Minecraft, you can install a mod, you can start a new world, you can do an adventure map, do this sort of stuff. You can go outside. Like, with zombies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with, zombies, with zombies, like, what can you change? Once you've done that, there's nothing else you can change. You've got the Have map you ever thought change. about getting it on PC and playing some of the mod maps? Zombies, yeah, there's a yeah, shitload of mobs. That's what I do. Yeah, there yeah, are tons of custom I've done, I've done like maps. everything you can do with zombies. You know, like setting records, doing challenges, stuff like that. That's why Minecraft's I'm put, so good. I'm, I'm going to put changing. this out here. For zombies and Black Ops 2, I want the Night of the Living Dead farmhouse. I don't know what that is, actually. you never uh, seen Night of the Living Dead? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I know what you're talking about, Wings. Night of the Living Dead, like the, it, the most popular zombie movie ever made. They were in a farmhouse yeah, and they yeah. boarded up. That's the George Romero movie. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, the one from Call of the Dead, that guy syndicate, that's like... Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's the guy, that's the director who directed, like, the first legitimate zombie movie. Are you guys looking forward to the new zombies? Like, did you guys play it at all? Because I know this is how Hell yeah. it last time wings, sensitivity talk, which turned into a 1v1, but did you not, <laughs> you not actually enjoy zombies? Uh, like, I, I, I just recently I started playing zombies what? when I started getting... I like zombies with a group. I picked zombies yeah. up with yeah. Modern Warfare 3 suck yeah. dick. That's like... 
Wait, what? I pick, I pick, I pick zombies up when Modern Warfare Three sucked ass. Wings, we Everyone should play zombies sometimes. Is bad. It I is like bad. Modern Warfare. 3. Nope. Dude, Modern Warfare 3 is so boring. I mean, I won't even pretend to say that I only play games and I'm having fun with it. Like, I play zombies because it's fun for me sometimes and because I can get a shit ton of videos and then just talk about whatever the hell I want and have a bunch of gameplay and not have to worry about it. Like, I literally think the last 10 videos I've posted of Modern Warfare 3 on my channel were someone else's gameplay. Like, I just I, I cannot remember the last time I played it. If I could it. take the gameplay aspect out of my channel, know. it'd be easy as shit to run. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Modern Warfare 3 is good. You guys are all crazy. And uh, if you want to worry, now, I like Black Ops. Would, would, I, I, would I, I be insulting you if I said it's because it tenders for noobs? It, it is a noob-friendly oh. game. <laughs> I'm joking. With it. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> one no. v one, no. buddy I mean, syndicate. Uh, oh, don't say I'm one v one, Woody. I don't I think it was high, higher in Black Ops. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, you Katie being higher in Black Ops means oh, nothing did, because no. Black Ops had less bullshit. <laughs> Modern Warfare 3 is a bad game. It's just a boring game to me. My Katie was hiring Black Ops 2. But people Black say the same thing about game. Black Ops this time last year as well. Like they're like, oh, it's so it's so boring. The, all the guns are the it's same. About Black Ops early, man. You know, no, Black I Ops. Love, I, so I love Black Ops play. throughout. Black Ops is way better than Modern Dude, Warfare Black 3, Ops, in my opinion. Black Ops gun game is superior. It had, it had maps designed I around it. I liked Black Ops when it came out, but I'll tell you. The, the maps do lend a slower gameplay. Do you not think the colors are just too boring now? Like, do, if every map was designed on the color template of Modern Warfare 2 Terminal, I think we'd all enjoy it a lot more. Like, okay, Cody, why than, did you have, like, a rainy map or something? It, no one likes them because they're miserable. Like, why, yes. why would you oh, want to make you feel I, like shit when you... Dude, anyone who's watched my channel knows that's one of my pets. <laughs> yeah. yeah. These, I wish they would get rid of all the ambient circle. noise. I would like to play in a completely <laughs> silent environment where, like, and then you yeah, get it was music. really quiet, and then you heard this the gunshots, and the gunshots meant something. That would be cool. Yeah. I like the train. That's kind of like DayZ, Kyle. Was... You probably like DayZ. <laughs> <laughs> that train was bullshit. Yeah, I'm going to down that, We can't let that just slide. The train was bullshit. The missile. The rocket, the rocket was, was the best. No, the rocket was the best. You could use <laughs> the rocket. To... For I love the fucking rocket. No, look, it's right up. No, <laughs> fucking no, I love the rocket. rocket. <laughs> shot this rocket. The rocket can't defend itself. I'm going to defend the rocket, all right? It's on the B flag, right? And at the midway point of the game, it will launch. So if you use that tactically, you can run away from the rocket, and defend, uh, the rocket will defend the B flag for you. Don't fucking talk shit about the rocket. It can't the defend rocket itself. Shit, dude. The well, rocket. boy, you gotta settle down, rocket. man. No, I you fucking love the rocket, man. You bullshit kills. The rockets are for people with bad aim because it levels the playing field, and it's for people who don't know how to sound whore. Rockets are for rookies. Oh, <gasps> an exceptional oh, game. I, I quit sound whoring back in Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah, I think, I'm with I think you that, that is a huge back. thing about Call of Duty. Like. Back in the day, everyone think about this, back in the day in the COD 4 days, not everyone had a gaming headset. So those people who got gaming headsets played so superior to everyone else because you had that upper hand. Now, nearly every nine-year-old who plays the freaking game has a gaming headset, like a whoa, Turtle whoa, Beach whoa. or whatever. So everyone is on the same playing field. It's, no one has the upper advantage. Well, it, it, I have like, a gaming that's headset. That's how COD 4 changed for me <laughs> so much. The, I mean, I wouldn't go that far. I'd say yeah. that... Um, I'd say that the game itself has degraded the sound to the point it's almost useless. That's I agree. Right. The rocket Hot in there to spice it up. Like the rocket. I, I consider no. myself so good at sound whoring, I can out sound whore a nine year old. I guarantee it. That is, you're <laughs> when they're screaming down the microphone. You wow. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so good at sound whoring. I'm better than nine year old. <laughs> We're dealing with a badass over here. Like, a nine-year-old <laughs> having a headset <laughs> does not affect me at all. It's that fucking train going by, going... Boop, boop. Driven by the same nine-year-old that you're trying to sound whore. Like the last 45 seconds or 30 seconds when the music kicks in, wouldn't you rather, when it's the last seconds, be able to really sound whore and concentrate? I there like should be an option to be able to turn it on and off. Treyarch has those options. You can turn music on and off. Like, fully? Yeah, fully. 100%. On Black Ops? On Black Ops, too, yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. That's amazing. But, uh, like in Modern Warfare 3, when I shoot a person, it's like, boom, headshot, boom, double kill, boom, prestige, boom, this, <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah, it's like being in an arcade. <laughs> Something's always going. Yeah, I, can I... I, I like can the I, pace oh. of Modern Warfare 3. I think it's 
less boring than Black Ops. Modern Warfare 3 videos but, for uh, me feel like uh, they should be on motherless.com because I'm getting shit all over my face all the time by, like, strikers and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. You get a little sprinkler gun. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't um, get what's going on with that image. I'm so confused. It's, I know she, I can see she has three boobs. It's from Total Recall. Uh, it's Tritetra. <laughs> she was a cop. Really looked like that. Yeah. Um, oh no! Can I? Can we go back for a second? I'm so sorry. To Call of Duty Four. Um, I saw. It might have been on the Bad Kids show that um, someone wanted to get a date where all the people in the COD community get on Call of Duty Four and like reclaim it for a day from all the hackers. Yeah. That'd be awesome. I died. I tried to. I, I, I don't want it banned. I try to do that with Black Ops. I um I tweet when I'm playing. Like, there's no one's on Black Ops on the PS3 anymore, really. I get, yeah. I get, I get a whole bunch of goats in there. Dude, how do you yeah. think I feel? I'm doing a race to prestige on COD 4, playing against the same 3,000 people <laughs> every game. <laughs> it's it's on Xbox? Yeah, play, I'm playing against like the same like 2,000 to 3,000 people. So like, no, like we different. need to get like a date and start a campaign of like reclaim call of duty 4 and all of us get on this day and just play and like not getting in like any hack lobbies or like fuck infection games just playing cod 4 when you know it was like what back in 2008 when it came out 2007 2007 yeah yeah, but it's better when your plan fails, and ten minutes into that, we all get in a hacked lobby, and then Wings leaves out of rage, and I turn off my Xbox or something. Like, what are we gonna and do? Then white boy Where, what's the it's like usual? What's the procedure from there? Oh no, that's the thing. Like, I was thinking with me, like, ju just because I've literally been speaking to some guys from Activision at the moment, from the actual, right, you know, community it. managers and stuff like that. Um, I was speaking to them, and I was thinking, like, what if I actually got, you know, banned or banned or deranked on my Race to Prestige account? Would they? Could I actually go to them? Give me some kind of support. Please, can you? you know, put my rank back. Would yeah. you reckon they would do that? Um, promoting the game, aren't you? Like, yeah. JD2020 would. JD2020 would. Would I know? Woody, I sent you a few Craigslist um, things. I'll, re I'll copy and paste them. I'll do okay. calls. If you want good Craigslist, you know, homosexual content, go to Craigslist Casual Encounters San Francisco. That's what I always oh, went God, to and we needed good prank call material. But uh, on that note, I have to leave. I'm going to go see Batman. So, You're late, happy Dan 100th son. episode. No, he's an hour behind I, I got us. My, oh. I got my ticket online, so I just got to walk in and print it out. Yeah, he's in Central Time, Wings. Yep. All right. Um, well, well, all right on the Craigslist Thanks. here, there's a guy willing to suck your dick at the Batman premiere. <laughs> <laughs> and talk like this. <laughs> Where's the lube? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck was that? Yeah. <laughs> so it's right here. It's like sucking dick at Batman premiere, male for male, twenty. Oh Here's the deal: if you're going to hey, be God. at the Batman premiere yeah. tonight at Frank's Theater, I want to suck your cock. I'm your guy. Email me a pick and phone number. We'll work something out. Check that first Craigslist link and tell me if it's interesting to you. I just the had first one. I just had butted my friend in bed to get up to like look at that. I'm sorry, sweet. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't on purpose or anything. Hit what? Um, <laughs> Why what? Wait a second. I think he's. Get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> um, the first one white boy put out the Seattle one. Yeah. Look at this fucked up shit. I want to see how far my hole will stretch. Male for male, thirty nine Myrtle Beach. I think uh. I can take it. At least I want to find out how little my butt pussy can go. Ah, oh, stop it. <laughs> Wait, I know. Oh, it gets better. Do you have tools? <laughs> Wings, then on FNG we talk about um something about you date trolling Craigslist for dates. Oh yeah, I said I, I said I wish I could do put Craigslist on YouTube because people were trolling like Call of Duty. I would troll Craigslist for fucking dates. Do this one. This is perfect. <laughs> Woody, uh, do, were, are you talking about the arm so security, the host, Woody? Uh, yes. I added him to the syndicate. Maybe I read it wrong. Yeah, well, I, was, I was thinking you could call him up, and the, and the idea would be that you were, like, a insane gun nut. Okay. And I would. And what are we hiring them for, though? To protect white are we boys' hiring plaque. them? Or or protect, yeah, my plaque. Protect white boys. Oh. Just be like, do you, know, do you know White Boy 7th Street, the uh, number one uh, source for Call of Duty videos on YouTube? <laughs> be like, would you be you know what? Suck Instead of hiring them... For me? Just as a thought, Kyle, instead of hiring him, you could challenge him. 1v1. 
Yeah, hey, like you, I, I be like, do you know my friend? I have my, my, I, <laughs> So hold on a second. You could be like, you know, I've got my whatever fortress here, and you guys come and invade it. You think they'd carry on a conversation? Maybe. What if I tell them I want to test my security system? Ooh, yeah, and I want yeah. them to try to break into my house. <laughs> like the movie Sneakers. So who's this call <laughs> in Skype right now? Uh, I added Blade. I'm here. Yeah. I invited. But in. the thing is, when you when you call people, it costs money. That's why I usually host it. Wait, it costs me money. Do you have any Skype credits? Um, no, I've got free calls to America. That's Dude, not an issue. Like I did a I did a podcast from my phone. I'm using Skype on my phone, and it was an issue. So there's no money no money changing. I can read it because I've got I've actually got free calls to American numbers because I got Skype Premium. Nice, make it so. Just ring that one. <laughs> yeah, Kyle wants to talk, and then we'll be quiet. Okay, one second. I think it's ringing. Somebody's <clears throat> breathing really hard. Just saying. Hello. I I'm calling because I saw the Craigslist ad for the uh, the event security. Yeah. Yeah. So um. Uh, I guess I was had a few questions about um, you know you guys and what you do. Could okay. you tell me a bit more yeah. about the services you provide? Yeah, hold on, just one second. Can you call okay. him back because he's here, um, and you can go ahead and have him come down. Okay, so um, well, we do all types of events, armed, unarmed. Um, any of our officers that are armed, they do have license. Um. We've done everything from concerts to weddings to birthdays to um, just clubs in Seattle. Okay. Um, we have 11 people total. Um, you know, it, we need we need a couple weeks in advance um, to have them all available at the same time. Okay, yeah, I think I would want them all. I guess I'm wondering, um, what kind of qualifications, I guess, do they have? Oh, well, I mean, they... Most of them have been doing security for a while. Um, do any of do they, any of them have like prior law enforcement or like military experience, anything like that? Military, yes. Law enforcement, not, I don't believe any okay. of them have been. That would be pretty good if some of them had military experience. Because let me run this by you, because this is probably an odd request. So, what I just put oh. a new. I, I've been having some issues with some pranksters and stuff. So I just installed this really big security system in my house. I've got. I've got electronics everywhere, I've got cameras everywhere, and I've, I've really beefed up security around, around the fort here. And what I'd like okay. to do is hire your guys, preferably all, 10 of them, because I've kind of planned for 10 attackers. I would like okay. all 10 of them to kind of try to break into my house late at night. But I don't want to know when it's coming. See, that's the thing. Like, I'd like it, you know, somewhere between, I don't know, July 30th and August 15th. Somewhere in there. I want them to storm into my house. You know, full like SWAT gear or something. Maybe you know, rough me up a little bit if they're able to. And I want to see if I can hold out. You think they would be up for serious? something like that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they would be. It would be something that I would need to run by all of them. And, because I, I'm prior and military, so I so so I've I've ran a lot of simulations. We could use like simunitions. I don't know if you're familiar with those, but they're basically like I bullets. Am. But yeah, we could use simunitions. And you know, I'll sign any waivers or anything. Like if they can take me down. They can beat the shit out of me. I don't really care, but I don't think they're going to be able to do okay. it. I've got, I think it'd be great. I think, we, you know, if nothing else, I mean, I'll pay them, but I think it'd be a fun training exercise for them. You know, to be honest with you, I'm not sure because some of them are, you know, have um, prior prison time. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm not worried about that. Hell, I, hey, who, do, who doesn't? Who doesn't? You know what I mean? To rough but, uh, up, I think it's their probation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, um, I mean, if they're not willing to come to my house, I will pay double if they'll go and do the same thing at my ex-wife's house. Oh, jeez. Look at you. Yeah, um, they'll do that. I, I, it would be, it would, I think they probably are going to, you know, call your bluff and think that you're full of shit. So until oh, no, you, they, like, come by, they can come by my place. They'll, they'll see what I got going on over here. They'll, they'll know right away when they see my place that, I, that I'm legit. Well, why don't you, do you have an email? Yes, I do. Okay, why don't you email me? like your contact information and tonight's a little late. I, I'm sure I can't probably get all of them a hold of them all tonight because they're doing different events and 
there's the Capitol Hill Music Festival that some of them are at right now. So um, I can speak with them tomorrow, and then I can let you know. Could you possibly involve, be involved in the scenario? I, we could almost film it even. Like, you could be like the evil general or something. You could send them after me or something. Hello? Hello? Maybe we could shoot some sort of, like, scenario-based pornography for, you know, they turn on you and they run, like, the huge gangbang on you. She hung up. She hung oh, up. my God. Do you want me to ring her oh, back? Oh, shit. <laughs> no. No, I think it's done with Oh, shit. That was Dude, good. That was brilliant. Maybe we could involve you somehow, and that's when she was out. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe you could come by and me and the other ten guys could try to invade you. See how you like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Kyle's out for his blood wings now but since he Edward. realized he got to step his game up. Okay, you got to start slow, man. That's what the prank call's all about. Too many people jump in and start, you know, getting all insane about it. Kyle, you yeah. know, he just works them. You know, you want to warm up. You want to become friends. Exactly. You got to become friends. You got to. You got to start slow. You can't find some common yeah. ground with that lady. She's like, well, some of them been in prison. Like, hey, who hasn't? That's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. That was perfect. That was exactly. <laughs> who hasn't? Uh, so, oh, wait, yeah, I should have been. Right? I should be like, you know what? Those little girls wearing their skirts so short, they they're asking for. You know what I mean? And just because the <laughs> state of wow. Florida says that it's not right, hey, hey, I answered I, God. I digest. Oh, God. <laughs> Kyle's pro rape, unsub Woody. <laughs> <laughs> not Obviously rape. Not child rape. molestation. Come on, get it right. Oh, he's he's the, one of the founding members of the Rape Squad Killers. Hmm. Hey, Blake, you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, dude, so I've got a problem with this dildos for uh, Africa thing. What's it, the problem? Be, well, you're only handling half of the problem. That's the deal. Like, if there's no fleshlights for Africa, then you're still going to have to deal with the other half of the sex drive. You've addressed the female side of the sex drive, which we all know is like 10% of the problem. <laughs> Right? So, like it, flashlights not I mean, I have an issue making it half uh, flashlights, half dildos. Yeah, I, well, I don't even know if half and half is there. It seems to me that the ratio should be like 70 30, mostly flashlights, because that, I think, is where the baby's, like, the, the initiative comes from. Yes. I mean, do you really think it's the women running around? What, more and more and more? I mean, the women are the ones having the kids, so yeah. I. I mean, do we, do, are we are we really thinking that a flashlight's gonna like stop like the rape count in like Africa? <laughs> really we thinking? Uh, I don't we weren't even like attempting to like stop the 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 rape issue in Africa. We were more so um, trying to make it so that they weren't having as many kids, so there wouldn't be as many starving children. That's you know what? I, everyone's I mean, yeah, more water when population control would work just as well. You know what? It would have been funny during what? the promo video of the uh, dildos for Africa. You should have like held up like a corn husk or something, and be like, oh, "This is God. what this is what they're using now. They're using inferior, you know, <laughs> sex toys. It's a danger." That is for true. Everybody. We didn't even address the 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 substandard sex toys that they were using. So. <laughs> Somebody in my right. chat who totally doesn't get it wrote lube for Africa. That's that's the opposite. That's the of opposite. Yeah. We're, <laughs> <laughs> You're just They're an enabler, man. Different. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, but I think if you were to like just airdrop tons and tons of fleshlights, you might get fewer babies. I don't know, like, why don't you just you spend the entire seventy five hundred dollars making an instructional video that it's nothing grows in sand, you should fucking move? Wow, that got racist I did, fast. I didn't hear what he said. That was racist. <laughs> nothing grows in fucking sand. Please move. How is that racist? Oh, that, ben? Okay, yeah, maybe, maybe, ben? Maybe, maybe racist was the wrong term. Um, uh, you know that Africans have babies just, like normal people. They don't, like, grow them. Yeah, they don't we, under, them. we understand that, but the reason their kids are starving because they have, like, no natural ag agriculture. Because they have, fuck, the, half their country is sand. Nothing grows in that shit. <laughs> Move somewhere with some dirt. Wow, man. <laughs> Geography lessons brought to you by Wings of Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> Later, when we're going over neurology with Wings of Redemption. 
Oh, Imagine pick some of that like fucking sand up and put it in their mouth or something. Like, look at this motherfucker. Oh, taste it. Take the high school teacher. Oh, it'd be so. I good. want wings. I want wings to do like a, a like a weekly upload of like lessons with wings. Just him talk <laughs> for like ten minutes about you know topic botany. Let, let it go wherever it goes. <laughs> yeah, like pick a bot topic. Like botany would be a good one. You know what? Remember this that, remember that painting? Remember that painting show shit? with the dude with the afro used to paint? Imagine dude, wings uh, trying to do oh, that. Oh yeah 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 um. That wasn't reading Rainbow. Um, oh God, what's his name? I know exactly you're talking Lamar about. Lamar Burton. He used to be like Happy Trees. These are Happy Trees. No, 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 oh, no. Like, Lamar. Yes, who paints? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what the fuck is his name? I don't know. I was watching him the other day. He was painting some trees. <laughs> what are we talking about? Oh, the the guy from PBS. Yeah. He's like, his, his, his name is Bob man. something. Bob. Fuck. This is killing me now. He's a guy that used to have a painting show. I think he actually died like a couple years ago. Oh, Bob Ross. Bob Ross, thank you. Yeah, Bob Ross. Yeah, and he was like amazingly patient and calm and yeah. chill. And stuff. He'd be very good. Yeah, we're just gonna, just gonna put a few trees in over here because it's <laughs> whatever. Trees always look be. And they looked rock. amazing. Oh, yeah, like at first it looked like shit and then he like does a brush technique and you're like, Holy fuck, it's a tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You like he's not even painting shit. He just takes like a paint scraper or something. And like, yeah, like scrapes I don't know. off the outer shell, turns out to be like a Picasso underneath. It's like what the yeah. fuck how did this happen? He's got like <laughs> a spon- he's got like a sponge and some yellow paint like blotting and all of a sudden you're like, Holy shit, he just did a whole field of flowers it was that fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was I was out of the house. What happened with the podcast? Uh we were getting uh, uh it was it was up and down a lot because people were giving us too much traffic. Oh. Wings uh, ate a hot pepper. Get people like DDoS stuff. Yeah, Wings ate a hot pepper. And then we a raised $200. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Have and you we ever had one? $200 to make him eat more, and he backed out on us. And I still don't have my money back, back, Wings. And he still got the $200. <laughs> <laughs> still wings, make it happen. You're feeling better now. Eat a pepper, Wings. No. Eat I a still, pepper, I still Wings. I got to eat dinner. Dude, you eat enough peppers, that's that's dinner for you. Yeah. Dude, just saute that shit with a couple onions. It'll be fine. <laughs> eat a pepper. No, I'm good. Pepper. Eat a pepper. pepper. I'm totally down for the pepper. pay me to do something weird pepper. thing. Pepper. Jordan, pepper. Pepper. You know, you have, a peer pressure don't mean shit to Jordan. Pepper. pepper. <laughs> Wings, I'm like, fuck. No, but, but chant it but like you're a zombie. <laughs> Pepper. 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 Right, it's got weird. Let's see Pepper in the chat. Pepper. Hashtag Pepper. <laughs> Hashtag Pepper. How about this? You don't even have to chew it, just swallow it. I'd be happy with a little nibble. Yeah, I'd yeah, just chew it up bite. real good. Rub it on his genitals and the thing do with the, the ghost pepper is it doesn't hurt until it goes down. Are you not streaming anymore, Wings? I'm streaming. It is. I'm watching them. I can't even find it on your channel right now. I'll link you, Kyle. Oh, yeah, I found it. Because you're liking videos. It's in your feed now. Okay, I see it. Dude, there's like a million peppers in my chat and a salt now and then. <laughs> <laughs> salt? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Some guys what? just won't watch the world burn. <laughs> How about I you shoot your pepper and spit it out? I saw a picture of Bill Nye. It says some men just want to watch the world learn. Why, why are people having trouble watching, finding my thing? I go to my channel. It's the first thing that pops up. That's because it's your channel. You've got, for me, I have to click the, the feed box, and then I have to go down like through five okay. videos and then find it. First world problems. Wait, has Wings put up five videos during the time this podcast has been going no, on? No, he's <laughs> <commented> on <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> Gotta meet that quota, son. It wouldn't be completely... A- Against wings like protocol either though. <laughs> wings, what what about destroying something? I I really want to see you tear your door off the hinges like crack. Seriously, crack. just fucking like Hulk smash that thing. Right, that just... door costs like seventy five bucks, and we got you two hundred. I think you should take your TV and smash a gun with it. Look here, <laughs> if you can give me eight hundred more dollars, that door will go. Oh down. my god. Eight hundred. You're pandering, man. This is bullshit. You said five hundred before. That's for a tonneau cover. Yeah. I might want a leveling kit too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Dude, I'm sorry, I just zoned out. I thought I was actually listening to PKA podcast. I forgot I was actually oh on it. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, sorry about that. That's where I've been gone all this time. Sorry, you're hey, a, a kid. A kid did that to me one time. I was at the um, I was at Best Buy buying Modern Warfare Three, and this kid was like, I was talking to a bunch of people because I put it on Twitter I was going to be there. There's probably like five or six people standing outside the Best Buy, and this kid just closed his eyes and just kind of like opened his mouth and like looked forward. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? He's like. <laughs> Like it's crazy. Like you're here, but like when I close my eyes, it sounds like you're doing like a Sunday chill commentary right now. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, bro. Uh, you can shake my hand. Why do you want to listen to me do a commentary? <laughs> yeah. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, I literally just sat there, and then my phone vi- like my phone went off, and I was just like, K- like Kate just went like, are you sleep sli- sleeping or streaming? And I was like, oh shit, I'm streaming. Ah, I'm actually in this. How's it going? <laughs> So yeah, I'm actually still here for people. People in the you chat. You fell room. asleep during PK. No, I was t- I was talking to Kitty actually. I was just talking to Kitty, but like I zoned out that much listening to you guys talk, and I was like, "Wow, this is a pretty good boring PKA. syndicate." You calling this boring syndicate? No, I want to do. I really want to do another prank call. I want Brian to do them. Rape squad killers. I'm I'm not a good prank caller. Come on, I can't. Well, anyone, because I think the f- I think they're so funny. As a viewer of PKA, prank calls are just outstanding. Let me check my Twitter. I'm sure there's some ideas in there. I, I, sent, I sent one more about a, a private uh, video. Oh, hey, I got to do one. I'm not doing this, but a great thing that I found on YouTube is people will call their mother and tell them that they're that he's like come out of the closet, like say I'm gay, and see they like to get the mother's reaction. <laughs> my mom's upstairs. That's not okay. <laughs> my just comes down like, yeah, I always knew it. Don't worry. What are you up for this? Oh god. The videography no. one? No. I was just looking at it. No, oh, calling I mean, your mom and coming out of the closet. <laughs> I mean, she probably already knows since she always, she watches every single one of your videos. You're like, I've yeah, really been thinking about it, and... You know, Mom, Jackie's not for me. I'm liking the D. <laughs> Somebody wrote me in, in my, like, YouTube comment, like, does your mom know you're gay? And I'm like, I didn't even know I was gay. Like, <laughs> Such See, you call out Chris game. Trout, and then you you deny that you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> that is so awesome. Uh, all right, let's do the videography call. Someone make it happen. Uh, give me the drop the number, and I'll call it. I got a perfect yeah. one here for Blade to call. I'm not a good friend caller. I'm just it, does, it doesn't matter. See, this right here is like, looking to suck some black or Latino dick. I don't have a black voice. You do. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm definitely not making that call, so... Where's Brian? <laughs> You're role-playing here, Pimp. Brian, I've got a role play like you that. and Geek Star together in a uh, gay bar on my Facebook page. You were in there taking the pictures. Reynolds. What's that? You were in there, and you figured, time to take pictures. So, like, I thought we were in a <laughs> so fucking just- pizzeria. I got, I got, to, I got, to, I got to ask. On, t- on I didn't Taylor, I realized there was a Burt Reynolds behind you, and I was like, "This is great." Taylor, what's so. up with all the boxes behind you? Oh, um, my family just moved into this house like last summer, and uh, so the, the house that has the best still there a year later. Room. Yeah, this is just extra shit that we don't really have any use for. Yeah, you know that you know the like still, attracts yeah. roaches and rats and shit, right? Um, you know, I only live here for the summer, so you know. <laughs> Whatever you know, I deal with I mean, rats. Whatever. Yeah, I live in you Atlanta. Doesn't, really, doesn't I live in Atlanta? Doesn't really phase me anymore. So, All right. what are, we need what, my picture. So you're definitely not gonna like tackle your door down off the hinges, wing. Is that where we're getting here? Come on, wing. Step up your game. Tackle the door. I want you to close the door. Walk out of the walk. I want you to walk out of the room. Close the door with the <laughs> camera panned slightly to the right, which would be your left. And I want you to do a water boy style scream like, <laughs> and I want you to like, they spit in the water, spit in the water cooler. Yeah. Hey, Have you ever whoa. seen Risky Business with Tom Cruise? Yes. Can yeah, you do that? Yes. Can you reenact that little dance thing? No, no, he can't. <laughs> but I do want you to like slide. Through. I want you to crash through that door like you just don't give a fuck. Oh God! Like Woody, that picture right over is that Keemstar or Blade? I think right yeah, over exactly. Blade's head. Camera. Oh my God. Why is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> My I eyes. think that's me right next to Blade in that blue shirt. It might Thank be. God. It might be. Oh, Thank God. Oh, God. You confused me
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I wasn't paying it. I was, I was, I was too busy looking at the picture of White Boy naked above. Uh... <laughs> I wish, man. I wish I had that stash. <laughs> White Boy, did you see this link? The one, the the the, uh, the tranny for male um, uh, Craigslist ad. Did you see what it says? Yeah. It says um, I love White Boy. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh god! <laughs> I love White Boy. No boys. shit! Oh. <laughs> I love White Boys. But the S is all cut off, and the edge of the Valentine as well. I love but my yeah. boy. <laughs> Wait, where is this? This where is, is Florence, this son. You ready to get you some? All right, I'm gonna let everybody. Uh, I'm gonna. Put it. You know, I, 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 I look at. I look, I'm looking at these ads. I'm like, why can't girls be like this? There, I know where right? look. Never see a girl post like I'm trying to suck some know, dick in the morning. Played by a stranger today. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna go give it away tonight. Who wants in? <laughs> yeah, the girls just never seem to do that. I blame this on Wings. media. Or if you bust, bust down, down that door, you get a million views by reposting the video. Yeah, like and That'll be your that'll be your next uh, bayonet video. Oh joy! <laughs> he does. Fuck it! I'm taking the idea. Here we go. Oh shit! Bust down my door. I switched over to Woody's streaming instantly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, be right back. Is he serious? What's he gonna do? He said he's gonna bust through the door. What, what Wings is or Woody is? Woody. <laughs> oh god, let me get to his channel. Wait, oh, yeah, wait, what the fuck, dude? Wait. I'm, I'm linking. I'm linking. Oh god, he walked outside. I still want to do the me getting stunned three times, three times stun spammed. That didn't do anything. <laughs> Wait, did you do it? I'm no things. Oh, yeah, no. did you catch the door? No, we didn't see it. I've got 15 second out. Cheers. Then it. <laughs> I want to see it. It's delayed enough that I can watch. Not for me. What are you just trolled me? You're like, hold on, I'll be right back after you go and say, yeah, shit, I'll do it. And then you go outside, and I'm like, oh my god, this is awesome. And he's like, nah. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. In my little world, like, the, the top and bottom of it both bowed. And, like,. The doorknob. Oh, barely wings doing out. something. What's wings doing? Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, is someone paid? Uh oh. Why are you doing oh that? I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I don't see it on the stream yet. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, there wasn't even any damage. That was it some pussy rain. Rain. No, he broke the door. Look at the door. Oh, <gasps> oh shit! Oh, Where? I see some more damage. Are you talking about like that? Oh damn! Finish the job, Wings. No. Yeah, did you put, did you put a crack what in the that? door, dude? It's already done. You gotta crack it. it. <laughs> yeah, you cracked it. Ah. Oh. In it, I'm sure. On the dude, front is that a big crack. Oh, Kitty recorded it. That stuff. Oh. Thank you. Fire and just do the fuck <laughs> down. Yeah, that'll like you're it. the devil. I could do the wall around. as long as I can figure out where the stud pattern's at, because I probably couldn't do the the two by four. Dude, get a stud finder right now. Go figure that shit out and then come back. <laughs> I love how you're being all technical and methodical. Oh, to, like, oh guys, 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 let's prank call Game of Sure. Do it. Quick. Quick. Wall, that thing probably had to sound epic. like an explosion going off. I don't think they have a phone number. They just have cells, right? Oh. I don't know. This uh, is the Game of Shore hotline. PKA. Uh, don't you think it. they know we're doing a podcast, though? Yeah. yeah, there's a chance that at least one of them's watching. <laughs> someone just someone just uh, sent me a Skype message. It's simple. We burn the house. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wings, just get one of those F-150 trucks, drive it in the middle of your house, then set it on fire. Boom, you have is, a new house and a new car. Is there any chance, Wings? Is there any chance, because I know most of the... I know a lot of some of the people who watch the stream, but maybe not all your videos have never seen your your cock. Could you go get it and show us? No, dude, I'm not. I'm not about to grab dude. one of those chickens without like. Do you have a wide points. angle lens to show us your cock wings? Why won't you show us your cock? A one. Don't, come on. One, cock, one, cock, 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 cock. Have you ever tried waking an ornery animal up? 
We want your. So, are you, you telling me it's an? Do you have? A, is it an angry cock? Like, is it? Is the head all red and is it just look mad? I think, well, I had to trim yeah. top of the head off. Yes. Dude, does it have Dildo like popping out of its head? Don't lie to me. You got to take part of the red part off. Where's the cock? Yes, I'm Kate Biddy. And I don't see why you're backing down. Was that back at the gay bar, Woody, with uh, Keemstar and Blade? <laughs> <laughs> Take it to a gay bar, gay bar. Right, Dude, Brian, 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 did you speak to um, the billionaire still? Yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't talked to him in a long time. Talking about uh, Alky. Alky David? Yeah, what's he up to How expensive nowadays? is that guitar you have there, Woody? Uh, $500. Yeah, so that's probably not one we want to smash. Like it's a rock concert on the floor, then, huh? <laughs> go, Pete, go Pete Townsend on that thing. Alki skyped me the other day, and he was like, "Ass," and I say, "Fuck face," and he was like, "I like you too, dumbass." And that was the that was our conversation. Entire conversation. <laughs> I like me right because I treated Alki with respect. I was like, "Dude, you know, I I can't do this thing for you. It's become too toxic." But I wish you the best. And uh, and then all the other people that were like getting hate in it, I threw them my support. Like, it's not for me, but they can do their thing. And I think Alki likes White Boy more than me. And it's like, what the fuck? White Boy like literally <laughs> burned the bridge behind him, and Alki's like, yeah. <laughs> I w- yeah, I was at uh, I was down in Georgia at Kyle's. I was like. Fuck you, you billionaire bitch! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was watching White Boy like on my porch doing this shit, and I looked through the window laughing my ass off. <laughs> that was cool. Did you check that off your bucket list, White Boy? Calling a billionaire bitch? I know. Yeah, that's that was pretty cool. Yeah, I got to more now. They just fucking replace? finished the job, Wings. What happened? No, I don't want to tear the frame of the door up, dude. You tear the frame Wait, of the door up, it's going to hit it down again. Blocks. The stream's not working. I yes, can't even see. Oh, no, I see it. It's up for me. What? Wings busted open again? No. Oh, you just you just investigated but, it. Can someone give me a link to it? I put it in the Skype chat. Before. So, it's probably I, I think Syndicate will pay for the repairs if you bust through something. Oh, he says he's down for me. Why am I down? You have I have changed Wing. exactly nothing. It's You're up not for me. I see you it's up. up. It's up. Yeah. It's, down. it's down. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's down. Re- it's really down. You've li- listen, right? You've linked me to it three times now, and it's still down. You're just gonna keep it hey, fresh. My stream has 1342 dislikes, so we need five people that disliked it to change the vote to like. So I have 1337 dislikes instead. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna go smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are they're you, gonna get you it just right on the for dislikes? Oh, that worked. <laughs> no, I just asked for likes. We need five people to change their mind because I have, I have five. I think everyone should dislike wings. Is <laughs> I need five <laughs> dislikes. That's what I need. Change them to likes, and we'll be set. I'm sure this will go smoothly. Yeah, really. <laughs> That's Dude, why I'm just pan- you're just so pandering your subs for likes. Fuck you. They're coordinating right now. Thank and, you. And I'm sure they'll get it right. It's like, okay, are you gonna like it? No, no, no. I'm gonna down. I'm gonna. Uh. Okay, okay. You guys messed it completely. Now I have 140 too many dislikes. You need to. You need to change 140 votes to like instead of dislike. Change oh, your the, mind. By the way, I'm gonna need somebody to rip that me running through the door as well. Kitty's got uh, it. I think Kitty recorded it. Yeah. Sweet. Do you know what the weirdest thing is like? On on YouTube, like I I've done like two videos now where I've asked for dislikes just because you know I just got bored of the whole asking for likes sort of thing. You know, please, you know if you enjoy I the videos, like give it a good rating. Likes, but but you when I do said it. <laughs> when I said can you know can you give me a dislike? Each video of them has had like fifty thousand dislikes, and I don't think I have one video that is over forty thousand or fifty thousand likes. But you were very clever with the dislike videos, right? Like you get like a five man kill in Last Stand, which you knew would not be well-liked. So then you asked for dislikes, as if <laughs> them all along. Like, it, it was... It, it was uh, it was well done. That's the thing, like, when I think about it, like, it, at first, it was initially never planned for anything, because, like, once, I, I... Like, my other one is, it's like, my... I called it, like, most epic care package kill ever, because I actually... You know, like, when you see someone do a clip where they throw a care package on a stairway and hopefully get a kill? Like, I did that, and I actually got the care package kill. Like epic care package, and I actually, got, I actually got the there. It is. Yeah, I got like forty thousand dislikes. Look, there it is. That video 
was actually a really good video. If it would have got likes and it would have got 4,000 likes, that would have been like one of them huge videos that like gets millions of views or whatever. But I just thought, you know, everyone just go and dislike the video for a joke. And I got, because I got a care package, threw it in a stairwell, and I actually got a kill with it. And I was just like so excited that I actually got a kill with it. But then I still asked for dislikes. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Look how cool the video is, though, Woody. It's amazing. I wasn't going. I if I watch it and have any sound, then it ruins everything. Oh, it's just forty <laughs> seconds. Up in then. Unsub, up. unsub, <laughs> unsub, Woody. <laughs> Volume <laughs> echoes. Watch all my videos. You don't have to actually listen to them. Just watch them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Pick my upload playlist. Kick it off and go to school. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> I, there's a reason I leave that playlist. I, I leave all my playlists right there on the right side. Just click one when you leave. <laughs> go to school. Watch like 60 videos while you're there. Hook me up. Appreciate when, your love. Okay. When, when I click on a video, like the most current video from somebody, and I like go off and do something, it'll play the previous video and the video before that. It's like memento version of their video timeline. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, that's... You have to go in and get that straight. They they have to go in and reorganize them as they go, or it'll do that. Okay. I I don't even mind. Whatever. Just <laughs> <laughs> it's just yeah. It, some people fuss about dead subs. I don't care if you watch one in every ten videos. Welcome aboard. Oh, I love you. <laughs> yeah, I've never understood that. I've heard I've heard other commentators are like, I'm gonna close down this channel because there's lots of dead subs. I'm like. I would like. Would you rather have a hundred thousand subs and ten thousand of them watch, or would you rather have a thousand subs and all of them watch? I'll take the ten. Like that's yeah, stupid. Absolutely. Hey, look, look you at hundred thousand subs. You're just killing yeah. off the other subs, so they're going to be dead anyways if you delete your channel. That doesn't make yeah. any sense at all. Plus, all your hard work's gone. Yeah. I made <laughs> fucking fifty channels. I didn't delete one of them ever. <laughs> Dude, oh man! Every so often, every so often, somebody, every so often, somebody would hate on me, and um, I'd look at Furniture Seventh Street, which has like more subs than they do. Furniture Seventh Street, you serious? <laughs> it would make, it would no. make you feel better. I'm like, yes, yeah. 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 Me and White Seventh Street. What was that? For? And, no, because me and White Boy were sitting on my porch and we were joking about this. I was, we were talking about how <laughs> funny it was that his cat had more subs than a lot of the haters that. Oh yeah. Well, all the haters that he has. And I was like, dude, let's make a let's make furniture seven street and the videos will just be our furniture sitting there not doing anything. And occasionally <laughs> you'll walk through, notice the camera, be like, What the fuck? and keep walking. Five minute videos. <laughs> dude, I need to do that. Like Holy Woody's shit. furniture tag. There's Woody, also gonna... Bug Seven Street, which was it's just a channel about a bug that we saw on my porch one day. <laughs> <laughs> it has, has fifteen thousand subscribers. Furniture Seven Street got five thousand. <laughs> Furniture Seven Street used to have like seven something. Then the, I bet Furniture Seven Street's about to have like a two hundred sub hour. It's never uploaded a video, but I don't care. It'll get the man one day. It's I want to know the people that subscribe to that. Like they're just white <laughs> boy fans. That makes sense to me. Yeah, like, I get uh, it. I, Furniture I'm, Seven Street for me has. Uh, like 5,600 subs unless I'm looking at the wrong one. Uh, there's you just know, like a week where I, I made like four channels. I got yeah. way too ahead of myself. Oh, we were drinking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little I bit. Mean, yeah. I mean, let's be honest. I was coming back with a case of beer just about every night. We, we had the Dos Equis rolling. And, yeah, you know, like, touch. we made some good decisions. We made some bad decisions. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I shot a hole in my porch. A, a, li a little, happen. a little, a uh, little advice. My channel, five point five two four point eight six percent of my fan base actually watches my videos. But wait, what percentage of your fan base is girls? Let's have a let's have a contest. It's like three See, or four the most percent. Girls. So you have like half a girl watch your videos. Is what you're saying. <laughs> let's see. Let me go to my analytics. And that half a girl is really just a guy pretending that he is a girl. <laughs> I want to see how many girls. I, I usually call them the three percent, like you know, a uh, an Occupy Wall Street reference. How, how can I find this so again? Start. Demographics. Ooh, dude, the chicks have been digging me lately. I'm at four point six percent girls right now. What? It's gone up it? huge. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm at three point two percent female. Uh, fuck. Get what on my level, baby. Bitches love Woody's gamer tag. <laughs> how do you <laughs> find it? Love That's Woody's a gamer tag. Oh. Bitches ready, love Woody's gamer one? tag. Do you want my Do you want my figure? 
Go ahead. Fourteen percent female. Ooh, shit. I mean, how many of those are actually female, though? I always yeah. say fifty percent. Take your number what and half it. Girl, do you have? I only I got the one girl I need. How can She's you find it? Ah. Oh, unsub. Analytics <laughs> demographic. <laughs> <laughs> Marry a motherfucker. Pretty Dude, gay. How many uh, girls? Are, like, <laughs> when you have eight hundred thousand subs and you go from three to four and a half, you're really kicking it with the girls lately. And it turns out, wait a minute, wait a minute. A lot of my girls are between 45 and 54 years old. This might just be like my mom. <laughs> it's the moms I, of your subscribers, dude. Oh I my have, god! Uh, no, it's I, all I, your mom's friends, Woody. Like your mom shows her. Oh my god! Look at my son. I'm in and the same like, ballpark. Almost all my girls are old. <laughs> when I was doing the um, the dance on competition, my mom had her whole church voting for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hook me up. I, I have 8.5% awesome. females. 8.5%? Yeah, I, I have my Fake. face in a lot of my videos. That's what I contribute it to. Yeah, probably. yeah definitely. <laughs> you see my hair long. lately? My hair lately has been Dude, fantastic. don't even start with hair. You're in my domain. <laughs> my hair, man. I got, I got a nice hair thing going. Really? What do you yeah. got going? I'm a, I don't know. I'm growing it out a little bit. And you I'm guys like, sound like a bunch of homos right now. Hey, man, this is serious talk. It's Hair is important. Damn, Blake, why are you so homophobic, bar? pimp? This is how you get the YouTube. I have a set? picture of you in a gay bar, sir. <laughs> you <laughs> gay? <laughs> we we understand guy. that you love the pussy blade. You can't, like, not pretend that you have a little homosexual tendencies. There's 10% of Here every least. man's homosexual. It's I had a hard time with, with Woody about this. I can't, I can't cuss on that one, guys. Like, that's... That's that's a cool opinion, but like I don't, you I can't ride porn, with that one. Have you ever, have you ever watched Porn Blade? Of course. Is that all that porn been girl on girl? No, but that doesn't mean that I want to like you see a dude like oh that dude's hot. Like I don't. You enjoy no, looking at a man's that's, penis. That's, that's How do you know logic. that makes him ten like, percent gay? Like it does. Like the yeah. dude can look like anything. I wouldn't give a fuck. Like I don't. I'm not gonna like really? turn off like porn because really the dude. So if it's like a homeless dude, like like dirty as shit, fucking with a crooked dick. You would, you yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't care. Drink That's it, what I look for. It, just admit it, it. It's a little bit hotter when there's a guy in there. No, it's not. Girl on girl is so much better. Just girl on girl does not get better. All right. Syndicate, I award you less than 5% gay. But Blade, he likes his little... You have little to have a choice about it. And yeah, you do. He likes little cock in his porn. Just saying. He likes yeah, cock that, that is a, Okay. Because I, if I'm watching gay. porn, I'm watching fucking uh, people fuck. I'm not saying, <laughs> okay, bring on the dudes. Like, I'm not like, I'm not thinking, okay, it'd be so much better if this girl would just scram. You know, like, if two dudes and a girl are fucking, I'm not like, get that girl out of here. I mean, that's not what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, okay. like, where is this yeah, shit, and yes. why is it not smeared all over this girl? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, When do they start pooping? That's what I want to know. I'm skipping ahead of the poop. Yeah, really. We're, I don't want the dicks or the girls. I just want the poop. Just a shot White of boy, the poop. I'm trying to remember real quick. White boy, were you with me in Seattle when me and Blade went on that walk up that hill? What? Hmm. What? I, what did I you remember do the when, hill? What did oh, you do the I remember hill? a certain somebody piggybacking somebody. And yeah, not, yeah. you say you're not gay? That was just like a non-homosexual piggyback ride? I'm considerate. My friend was tired. I was very <laughs> tired. And Blade oh, okay. carried me up. Let me say this. Blade's a big guy. Blade picked my... I weigh 200 pounds. Blade carried my ass up a fucking hill, stopped halfway, ate a, ate a hot dog, and then continued carrying me on. Got those bad boy muscles. <laughs> you could have had anything to eat a hot dog. <laughs> Blade did not give a fuck. No, I'm joking. Big guys can carry some stuff, man. Like, I remember I, we would talk about my calves, right? We joke about my calves all the time because there was that one guy at work who completely lusted over them. But, you know, when you compare them to, like, a big guy's calves, dude... They're weightlifting every day yeah. with that stuff. They're, yeah. They're Blade picked me up and carry me, and, uh, you know, he'd only be whatever, like 30% heavier than normal or something like that. Yeah, so I that, think I remember Blade eating, eating the hot dog, no homo. Blade I was there. Those hot, I had drank too much to be able to – that's the other thing I was impressed with. Like, like, me and Blade had drank the exact same amount, so I knew how drunk he must be. <laughs> but he was able to eat that hot dog, and I was, like, not having it. Wait, wait, Blade, what about um, at the IGAs? You and Grizz. Fucking hell, oh, that was God, hilarious. Yeah, we, oh, I don't know if you want to tell that story. I no. was fucked up at the IGAs. It was open bar. 
<laughs> you weren't so fucked up. No, no, no. Chris was so fucked up. I went up to this table and like asked this girl, like, "Can I have a sip of your water?" Slammed the water and threw it in her face, and then walked. Away. <laughs> that was the first time I ever met him, and he was just absolutely like belligerent. Dude, I thought you were gonna fucking like. No, in a bad way, but I thought you were going to eat me because you were staring at me as if, like, you were going to eat me. I was like, what are you doing? And, and that's like, why you have so a low God, female God. viewership, Blade. <laughs> oh, that was the first time I ever met you as well. I was Blade, like, oh my God, it's Blade. And you were like, fuck this. What's going we, on? Do we want to tell the story about what happened with Grizz? Uh, I think you might uh, have to do first. If you I'll can, I mean, so. leave out certain stuff, you know? Yeah, okay. So, um, <laughs> me and Blade and Grizz and Kitty and, uh... I don't remember who else was with us, but basically we went to this, uh, this little restaurant after uh, after an award show, and Grizz went to go to the bathroom, and I guess he had a couple drinks, and um, he made a wrong turn somewhere, and ended up on the streets of L.A., and we didn't see him for the rest of the night. <laughs> he, he called us, and we're like, dude, where are you? You've been in the bathroom a while, and it's like, I don't know where I am. <laughs> you, were like, Fuzzer. you were with Muzzle Fuzzer. You were with Muzzle because I, I bumped into Muzzle yeah, Fuzzer at the Fuzzer event, and he was yeah. like, he, he was tripping because he was like, "Dude, we lost Chris. <laughs> <laughs> we lost <laughs> the Chris." And like, we were all really hungry. I know I was starving, and like, me and Blade were on the same level. Like, I remember you got like a Philly cheesesteak sandwich, and I had like a burger and fries. And we were like, "Should we go find him?" And I and me and Blade were like, "Let's finish the food first, then we'll yeah. worry." About that. <laughs> See, the thing we, is, okay, um, I don't drink like I used to, but, like, as far as my drink goes, I think I'm a professional. And so when I go to these events, a lot of times there's these younger there's younger commentators that just haven't seen anything like that before. And so they get this thing, they're like, holy shit, he has a problem. I'm like, no, it's cool, let's kick it. It's fucking open bar, you know? Like, I feel, I feel if you go to open bar and you don't black out, then you're kind of, like, selling yourself short, you know? You're doing it wrong. If, if you're talking about blackouts, what about me, Kyle? Fuck. Ah, uh, I was I wouldn't bring that up in public. Dude, I don't even care about that. I was proud of that. You were proud of that? <laughs> Dude, yeah. That was such a good night. I had such a laugh, like going out in LA drinking, I like went out for a meal with Hutch, drinking with everyone and stuff like that, and it was like a proper good night. And then I just like where did we go? We went to like the, the W or something. And I was just drinking, drinking, and dude, my head was spinning because we were drinking like ten percent beer all the time. We have like five in the UK. I don't know if that's what you have there, but we were drinking like this ten percent German beer. And we were drinking it like normal beer, so we had like five pints of that, and I was gone at that. And then we went to the Wilson, and they were taking shots or something. And I was just gone, so I was just sat there for ages, just listening to these conversations go by, just like completely out of it. And then I just remember throwing up everywhere, and I was just like... Yeah, it was awesome. I threw up, and then we went outside, and we were all there chatting, but I felt normal. I didn't feel sick or anything like that, and I knew I weren't going to be sick again. And then after that point of not feeling sick again, and then we were all just outside talking... Like, Hex was so chilled to me, he's like, really sorry, because he didn't want to bring it up, but I wasn't bothered, you know, obviously I didn't mean to throw up or anything, but I was just, I just felt so good, I was in such a good mood, and then after that, dude, I don't know how I got in. Me I and, me and, me and Optic Hex put you in a, uh, in a cab and sent you on your way, and as you left, you were throwing up gang signs. You think the all, <laughs> right, you know where, like, a rocker would do that thing with a, it's like, you left. Yeah, it wasn't that, so though, hard. it was more like West Side. <laughs> <laughs> you look more like a West Side baller than a rocker. Okay, you look like you were ready to go to go do some drive-bys. Taxi. I didn't. I couldn't remember getting from the taxi to my room. Honestly, the next morning when I walked down to the um, the desk, I looked at the people and they were just smiling, like like really like some, I did something really stupid last night. And I was just like, you don't remember me, dude? And they were like, yeah, we saw you last night. And I was like, what happened? He was like, they, they didn't say anything. But honestly, they, I feel like someone fucking took me up to my room because I couldn't walk. I don't know if it was one of you guys, but I can't remember getting into my room. And I woke up and I, I couldn't find my phone. I didn't know where my passport was. When I found my phone, I had like six missed calls off um, Hex. Was and, that the like, first Hex time you ever played, you played Hungover Drunk Detective? <laughs> well, yeah, like looking for everything. So I was like trying to piece together the night. So then I hung, then I was texting him um, like Hex, and I was like, "What the fuck happened?" And he was like, "Dude, you were so gone." I was just like, at first I was like, like really worried that I did something bad. But when I spoke to Hex, I was like, "Was everything okay?" He was like, "Yeah." I remember throwing up, so that uh, luckily like that weren't too bad. It was but, bad for everyone but you, I guess. Then, <laughs> oh dear, we were all pretty time. freaked out. <laughs> was this at the IGAs or no? I know. This was in the bar at the, the W. Before. That was the, the day, day before, before. and he like uh, puked all over the table, like yeah. right in the middle of that really nice uh, hotel, and and then it was, fancy. it was dripping off the edges, and 
it that's was bad. how the UK guys do it. So oh, okay. <laughs> so you throw up and my bad cow. <laughs> No, I like so what did you throw up on? Like I've heard I that you've thrown up many times. I threw up in a, in a, in a glass. I just threw up in a glass, and then when I put the Wait, glass down, in a glass, like he missed sh- the glass a bit. No, 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 it wasn't <laughs> on the table. No, because I threw up on the. Gla- I threw up in. How the do you? Glass, and then I put wait the glass a second. Wait a second. Normally, when you throw up, you produce a lot of throw up. How do you just throw up just a little bit? I don't get oh, that. Dude, I was holding it back so bad. You know, I don't want to throw up in there. It was well fancy. You're crazy. It was well so fun. Look at everyone. everyone You're was well fancy. Everyone was pronounced to smoke or something like that. So I was just like, whilst everyone walked Did out, I lose I was, him again. I this back. I can hold this back. And I was like, no, I can't. Grab my fucking glass and just threw up in my glass. Put it on the table. And when I put it on the table, I caught it on the edge and it just spilled all over the table. And See, I was, when I get to that point where I feel like I'm going to throw up, I just take like a five minute break and then I have another shot. Like that's. Kind of what oh, you no, do. that's what I was trying to do. I was just holding a break, but because I got up to walk outside with everyone, not that I was smoking, but I went out. I went to join everyone just to be sociable. When I got up, I was like, "No, that was not a good idea." I so would, I casually turned around, threw up in a glass, put it on the table, and dropped it everywhere. So nuts. I would be so horrible at, at one of these meets. I'm an old man. <laughs> Wings, how about this? You you take the 130 bucks that I sent you, and you uh, you use it for a plane ticket to PAX. Yeah, I could, but oh, I need I, I need a lot more than 130 bucks. <laughs> well, that's my contribute. That's my, yeah. You know, yeah. Pax, Dude, it's gonna be fun this year, man. Pax will be good. When, Kyle, when that's it? why I said thanks to you because I appreciated you like making sure I got back okay, like putting me in a cab or something. At least you didn't. I'm actually doing fun. Pax oh, right yeah, this yeah. year, and I'm not going to the event. Sounds good. Oh, we didn't go to I Pax uh, at Boston. Me and Kelly, we just like we didn't go yeah, at all. I didn't really go. I never go to the events. I uh, I hang out in my hotel, drink at night, and have a good time. How, how easy is it to sort out um, ID for going to an event like that? Because hit up, hit up Machinima. Machinima should yeah. take care of you. For Trust guy, me, like, just, they would hook you up. Just just tell Machinima that you need your hotel, your flight, <laughs> and, uh, and the ticket, and they'll do it. No, I'm. I got an email ID. from uh, EA. EA is gonna send me out there. That's cool. Yeah, exactly. Send you where? Damn, get EA to send me I, I, somewhere. Uh, Damn, uh, fuck. <laughs> I've been up and down. Where where did they send you? Where what are we talking about? Pax. Everything's for a body from me. I'm sorry. Pax. I want I someone know. to put me up in a hotel out there because I'm not really trying to. Like I live like ten minutes out from Seattle, but it's probably dangerous. I don't want to drive because I'm gonna be probably drinking. So. <laughs> probably. No, you just. Yeah, dude. I'm There's taking it easy, I, lately, man. You know I'm what really I miss about Seattle? Lately. Huh? What I miss about Seattle is the uh, those hot dogs with cream cheese on them because they don't do that anywhere else. Amazing, amazing. They're Anybody great. ever come up to Seattle? Hot dogs with cream cheese is the fucking shit. It's amazing. Okay, so when is PAX? August. Oh, PAX Prime. Hello. All right, everybody needs to get a chip in fund for wings a plane ticket. Well, it's in August. Like, when's GamesCon in? Is it in conflict with uh, PAX? I doubt they'd Wait, be in what, conflict. What's it called? What what PAX is it? Pax Prime. Pax Prime. I'm sorry. Oh shit! That, no wait, that's wrong. Fifty bucks a head for the Cadillac ride from the hotel to August the thirty first till airport September the second. That's more expensive than a cab. No, it's not. It costs about a hundred bucks to go from the from the airport to Seattle. All right, I'm down. All right. <laughs> how about how about this? How about you show up with the car? I'll be sober and I'll drive you around for free. <laughs> Don't take him up on I'll, that. You have a rare car. Shit, I'll Dude, come I'm out with DD for I'm everyone. A, <laughs> I'm an excellent driver. I've never, ever had a car accident, fender bender, or any bullshit like that. You know, Jerry Sandusky never got caught for uh, sexually molesting boys until that first time. Yeah, but had oh, that's to- totally the same thing. Yeah, totally the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice comparison, Wings. I like it. Yeah, like just because you don't, just because do you, you haven't gotten a wreck doesn't do mean you, you don't to drive bad. Do you want to borrow my car? That's what you're saying. So, no, no, I, that would be like, no. Jerry was fucking the boys the whole time. That would be like if I was having car accidents and hiding them. No, no, no. <laughs> I just haven't just had Just in the car afterwards, buy a new one with that FPS McDuck money. Dude, uh, when Fwiz was in my car up here, he was so, like, just so rattled because Fwiz goes, like, a million miles an hour. Like, he's just, like, always, like, go, 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 you know? And I, I drive slow. I'm, I, I do. Like, I don't drive fast. I'm not a speed junkie at all. And he was just like, dude, fucking go. And then Hutch Hutch was tripping because Hutch was in my car. And this pedestrian was standing in the middle of the street. So I kind of gave him a little love tap on my bumper. I was like, come on, bro. <laughs> and he was just like, you just, you just hit people with your car? I was like, well, you know, not normally. But in that situation, yeah. <laughs> 
Eh, just, you know, just give him a little, uh, little come along. Imagine I'm he talking, went under the car. <laughs> like, the, let him make contact with the bumper real quick. He got the message and he moved along, you know? <laughs> I saw like Jericho's video or something like you just pulled up. Was it, is it a driver caddy or something? Like yeah. That? Yeah, you pulled up in that. I was like, no fucking way. But he drives that thing just like I thought it was so cool. Like, he just pulled up like sound system absolutely blaring. It was well, so here's funny. the thing. Like so, when I was in high school, I ended up taking this drunk girl home in her car, and she drove a '85 Cadillac Eldorado. And as I drove that, I'm like, yep, this is what I'm driving. Like I'm not messing with any other cars. So ever since then, I've always had caddies. Hmm. Like, why not be comfortable? Like, you what know? Do you get, what do you got dropped again? If you think you'll some comfort, your... Cadillac Escalade, son. That's what you want. Nah, I'm not, I'm not really into the trucks, though. Dude, I, you're the first big guy ever I've ever seen is not into the trucks. I don't, but I don't, like, trucks is more for people that need to, like, overcompensate for stuff. Like, I'm more I into, like... I overcompensate for anything, but the fact is, I like well, being comfortable. Just, uh, saying, oh, no, there's no reason to have this big, <laughs> truck, though. Like why not have like a uh, like a long I got, wheelbase I got, sedan? I got two trailers, and I also definitely overcompensating. <laughs> I was giving. Yeah, I don't. I don't mean that. But like also at the same time, dude, if you have a big truck like that, everyone's gonna ask you to move or hey. <coughs> you That's why you, you give know? me four hundred dollars to buy a tonneau cover. So I say, oh, got a tonneau cover, can't do it. <laughs> Wings, do you mind? Do you mind linking me to what one of them is? Uh, I've never seen you one before. Seen Was the call drop for everybody else? Yep. Did the show in? No. Call just dropped. All right. Well, Chuck, I guess I own the call for now. Let oh, me see couldn't. how my stream is doing. Who owned the call before? Syndicate. Syndicate. Did he drop it on purpose, you think? I had no clue. It, it looks like it's just us. Five hours later, and then there were two. They're saying that you're saying your stream's down, Woody. Oh, oh, there we go. I'm doing my best about that. Yeah, Woody, I got um a tweet saying that like you ended your stream and it uploaded the um the video. Not on purpose. Oh, okay. My stream is going to be scheduled to end in about two minutes. Oh, really? I always schedule mine for the next day. Like rather than set the hours, I just take it and make it tomorrow. Um, Wings, the chat saying you need to adjust your volume back. Yeah, every volume. time the Skype call does, Skype automatically drops everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Trying to it. figure out. I should fix that. Is my stream up or Is down? Is coming back? Should be. Uh, give me a second, Woody, I'll let you know. Yes, you are. You're up. I'm up. Yes, sir. I wanted to call uh, subs. Mm. All right, I'm up for now. We'll see oh, how long. I'm about to take a break here soon because I need to eat dinner. <laughs> All right, it's well, what I am. <laughs> we were scheduled to end at one. You want to? Um, uh, you want to do like a sub call or two, and then wrap up in the next fifteen minutes or so? I guess we could. Yeah, I just don't think it'd be a full podcast if we didn't call a sub. Um. We just lost like half the people on the call. That's a good point. Hold on, I'm See. re-adding. Uh, syndicate and Marker Dirk is gone. Blade. Uh, I think that white boy. There. We go. I think I got everyone. It, the host. Do a little roll call. All right, so we're just missing Kyle. Fuck Kyle. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, if, you want, if you want to see my car, there's um, you can you don't even have to go to my channel. You can just go type in Cadillac Fleetwood Limited, and my video is like the first one I got up when I had it shipped to me. So nice. All right, so I'm looking in my YouTube stream for phone numbers here. This guy has an epic cop story. 
Do we risk a subscriber telling a story? Uh, no. No? I, I don't want to talk about cops anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably going to be a party with like four people, and then the cops said, said turn it down, walked away. Like, that's going to be the story. See, <laughs> we had the cop of beer. If somebody has epic tax story, then I'm interested. Tax? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if somebody could tell me how to get out of back taxes, bring them in. Oh, you don't know how to do that? No, I don't. So, yeah, just, all the just YouTube don't money. Pay. No, yeah, well that. But all the YouTube money goes to the Cat Seven Street. Your YouTube money can go to Cat Seven Street too for like two percent fee. All right, and then you know she gets taxed. They can't really do anything to a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the same mannerism as a, uh, you know, a, a dog getting a credit card and you spending it. Yeah, pretty much. You can't get a dog a credit card. You can. It's funny. I like how, you, I like how you thought that was outrageous, but a cat having fucking <laughs> tons of YouTube money. Please. Because, you know, 2% fee on Cat 7th Street, that's that's way better than the 30% fee the IRS wants me to pay. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Are you there? See, you guys, it's all down, right? Anybody here? I'm still here, by the way. And you, this, this isn't our fault, dude. <laughs> Call fair. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my name. Uh, I'm a rapper. And I, I saw that you had um, security uh, for private events. Yeah. Yeah, my, my rap name is uh, Straight Bars. You might have heard of me uh, before. Right. Uh, and maybe not, I don't know. I'm kind of no, YouTube I'm YouTube famous. It doesn't matter. So I got this um, this really nice chain that uh, it's like this YouTube gold plaque. Um, and I'm going to shoot a music video, but I'm scared. She hung up on you. <laughs> <laughs> I try to go. Why'd she hang up on you for? That could have been a legitimate Straight call. Bars. Straight bars. I got eight cars. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm the amazing Caucasian rhyme invasion. You know I'm amazing. My lyrics. <laughs> The amazing Caucasian persuasion, the rhyme invasion, every lyric that I spit is borderline amazing. No, that's amazing twice, can't do that. You can do it. Straight bars would do it. Straight bars would do it. Man, I'm going to make a music video. So, I've been looking for a beat, and I cannot find a beat. Good. Red, good. Red Hook Noodles will make you a beat. Red Hook Noodles? Yeah. They're crazy, like son. <laughs> I just need one beat, and then straight bars to go fucking platinum. Red Hook Noodles let you use any of his beats. Just let, just let him know about it. Right, and I'm going to look at his thing. No, it, Is it a YouTube channel? Yeah. Just go to Thunder's page. He's probably, like, uh, boxed on his. Oh, I, I love Twitter drama. What's the Twitter drama now? You must, oh, yes, you must yes, love being subscribed to me on Twitter, then. Yesterday's Twitter. You don't get into Twitter. Well, I see you reply to some people like, 
fuck you and stuff like that. Maybe. No. Oh. The Twitter draw yesterday that I know of was El Presidor and Jive Turkey. Yeah. And then they were like friends afterwards. They're talking about like baseball. It's like I look at the Twitter drama like a boxing match. They hate each other for twelve rounds, and it's all good. Well, that's the thing. Like with with, with Jive and and Presidor, they were going back and forth for like a good four hours. <laughs> like it literally was like you go, I go, you go, I go. It was just back and forth. It was pretty awesome, actually. Like it was a really well done Twitter drama, you know. Yeah, I remember back in my days when I was in the the Twitter dramas. I try to I try to stay out of them. I I think that's PKA. I mean, everybody else has dropped. Man, that makes me sad. Well, we've been going five hours now. No, I know, no. It's like the tech issues that have been like. It's not something we can control. All right, well, guys, that's Painkiller already episode one hundred. Will we see a two hundred? Only time will tell. Will Blade have a cardiac heart attack? Who knows? What? Will White Boy <laughs> ever perfect the dolphin dive? Wide, bro. We all don't know. Will Straight Bars go platinum? How many times will he go platinum? How many doors will Wings of Redemption and how many hot chili peppers will he eat in the process? If White Boy goes platinum, will YouTube send him a platinum play button? Will YouTube be around in episode 200? Well, we keep on asking questions like this. YouTube will be around in episode 200, but will the game gaming community be around in episode 200? Will we get another $500 gift card by episode 200? <laughs> you know, that's fucking sweet. I got Cat 7 Street, White Boy 7 Street 2, and my channel. I'm getting a new camera. So you're actually getting like four or five 500 gift cards. Yeah, well, no, 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 no. That's for um, for channels with over 100K, though. Yeah, he does. Cat 7th Street, 111. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> White boy. Plus the four channels you guys don't know about. Elite Cat Shot of uh, 2008. <laughs> Who hung up? <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, guys, that's the stream. Peace and out. Love you. Peace.